Hi everybody, as always, it's me, Wendy, with Gigi. Say hello, Gigi. Hello, Gigi. <laughs> so this, <laughs> it's been a while since we've crafted. Um, so this evening, I want to do a walkthrough and finish this journal that I did while the internet was down. Look at how much I got. I actually made a, what would you call that, sister? The book part that goes mm. around it, the spine. So, she actually uh, made a real live book. I, I did. Fine and all. It was fabulous. So before I do this walkthrough, I am going to let you tell what you're doing, sister. So go ahead. Just working on this diamond painting. This is called Moonlight Baths. Oops, it's a Randall Spangler. It's Moonlight Bath from Diamond Art Club. He's adorable. Isn't he adorable? He ah. is beautiful. And we have um, Marie is over that. on YouTube. He's so you guys, yeah. I, I was going to let you know that if you're not seeing the chat, you can go over to YouTube and talk with one another over there. But yes, he is cute. So how how much have you done on that? Um, about, let's see. Um, pro... Well, get this row done right here will be probably about 15 inches or so. Mm. He's uh, 20 inches wide and what is that? 57 inches long. Nice. He's nice. a doozy. So He's a doozy, I'm, but it's cute. He's adorable. I am pulling my camera in just a little bit. So when I do this walkthrough, you guys can see it. Hi, Amy. Betty Davis is here. Janet Price, hello. And I believe Dee Dee, I saw her. There she is. Hi, Dee Dee. And we have Susan Yanni. Oops. Everybody um, just come bombing in. Everybody is. There's Donna. Hi, Donna. Um, so look what I did, you guys, while we had no internet. Um, there, Marie's coming on over from YouTube. Um, so you guys know the drill. Everything I did to the, all the inking I have done to this book mm -hmm. was done with the Distress Oxide from Ranger by Tim Holtz in the Aged Mahogany. So I did. Gorgeous. Yes, it's age. I just absolutely love this color. And to me, it's a perfect rose color. So let's look at this. I made the book mm. that went around this. Look at it's got it's like a real book. It's not done. We're going to finish this tonight, but we're just going to do a quick walkthrough. And as always, my famous uh, parchment paper. I like to put in here's the front and it looks like um, vintage uh, newspaper and then we have the paper doilies I love the paper doilies I know it's I do it to everything but I absolutely mm -hmm. love the paper doilies I can't I can't help myself it must be done <laughs> it, one can't yes. help it so um, I did put some um, I'm not even sure what language this is, but it's music paper, and I love anything with music notes and stuff on it. Another paper doily. Like French. There's Yes, there's lots of places to um, write in this journal. Some more um, newspaper, and this is French. But this is an actual newspaper, and it's from 1914. Isn't that neat? And then we have more mm -hmm. just letters words whatever you want to call them i love this paper the specialty paper is gorgeous and we're just going to keep moving on i have not embellished this book yet but i just wanted to share it with you um i did take some of the ephemera and i sewed it into the signature and this by the way does have a double signature sewed in right here um that's what um, inspired me and then this is the center of this signature you can see it's sewn right there um, it inspired me because this book was so thick I thought you know what I'm gonna quit being afraid and I am going to 
build the book around it. If I can get into the screen, we're on the opposite sides here. Um, thank uh -oh. you, Susan. So we're just going to keep looking. And like I said, this evening, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish embellishing this. Um, Marie's talking to you there, sister. I don't know if you can um, see. No, they are not hard. And if you've got one and it's in your, you best just jerk that package open. And whatever you do, please hold, sister. Whatever you You're do, fine. do not pull all the plastic off all at one time. Do not do that because that whole hoo-ha is totally and completely sticky. Mm -hmm. And when you get to this little waxy part and you're trying to put the put the pen in there, don't forget that it's got like this little plastic covering on both sides of it. You peel that back and then you can poke into the wax and it's got plastic on both sides. So whichever side you're choosing to use from, just pull that back and you can see sometimes it's just because of the way they the way they cut it, it's hard to get that little plastic off. You can see there's plastic on both sides. See? And you just it. poke your little pin through there and it'll leave a hole which is perfectly fine. Susan, just push Susan it in there. And if you have any that comes off, off the edge, just wipe it off. It'll be fine. Susan yep. says she's going to start with the diamond art coasters. Nice. I love nice. these. But I love yeah, these Marie, images. you just get that thing out, open it up, and just start on one corner or the other and just pull the corner back, match up the number with the number, and get her done. Just do it. Don't wait. Thank you, Lynn. So we're coming up on the end of this book. Like I said, this flip through was more for me. Um, I love this bicycle. I love bicycles. But look at this paper. This paper is amazing. Very and back here, I made a tuck spot to put stuff in here. So there is a tuck spot. There'll be a tuck spot in the front. But here's the back of the book. And I haven't decided if I want to put the corner pieces on it yet. Um, like I said, I did just get this done. This book is, it's not a book. I made it. I made it out of cardstock. And um, what's that called, sister? Card well, chipboard. Chipboard. Yeah. Yep. Chipboard and uh, chipboard and cardstock. Yes. Oh, I'm going to start book. the yawning already. So let's and get busy. That. And then because this is a junk journal, um, I am going, I made, um, I've been making extra folios and stuff to go in here. So this I worked on um, briefly last night while I had a little bit of light before the lights went back out again. So this is made entirely out of envelopes. It's, um, it has pockets. So there's a pocket turn it and there's more paper paper doilies this i'm still deciding on how i want to work this so this is something <laughs> that we will be working on I'll order back it'll go look at this cute little thing so what i did is i took a a piece of the ephemera and i fussy cut out this little envelope i love i love envelopes and then when you open it up and it's backwards <laughs> when you open it up it's got all kinds of little things. So there's a pocket here, and I found this cute paper. It's got, uh, I think it's called air mail. Yep, air mail. And it's just a place to write stuff. But isn't that cute? So there's a pocket there. And then we have little stamps for this little tiny pocket. This nice. is another envelope. Imagine that. And in here... I have folded up a piece of paper, but I wrote something on the inside. I don't want to show it. It's just a little surprise if somebody decides that they want this. And then this is a pocket, like a little hidey spot here. And um, then we have more pockets, pockets, more stamps, the airmail stamps. And then this little thing goes down. And look at this. It just closes right up 
And then back here, we added more pockets, more tuck spots, another little stamp, airmail stamp. And that will, what we'll do is we'll create a place to stick this in here. So that's what we're nice. working on. Currently, we're working, like we're working on stuff like this for that junk journal. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. We're working on this. I did start, and I don't know if I like this or not. This is envelopes, and if you can tell, this is actually the return envelope for my land taxes. <laughs> I'm using it. <laughs> so I, I have it. <laughs> you can tell Benton County didn't kiss, my, kiss me where I sent. I am not paying my taxes. It's in a junk journal. So these are <laughs> these are actually, and this, this big envelope is actually the return envelope for my house insurance. But because I don't pay anything by taxes anymore, it's all online. I just use the return envelope. So I haven't decided what, how we're completing this, but this is the inside. Last night I was not paying attention, and this, this little sum sum, was supposed to wrap around here, like yay, like this, and I didn't pay attention, and I have heartburn really bad. Hi uh -huh. Donna, how are you doing? So we're going to work on that. Good job. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> you know what I could do? What? I could open this part up. Nope, I think we're just going to leave it like that. We're going to tape that down and cut this off and call it good. And look what we have here. This is a big envelope right here. But I don't know if this will fit in this book very, very well. Because it's just supposed to meant to sit, to float in there. No, I think it'll, it'll go It'll be in okay. There. Yeah. It'll go. Yeah, I think. I absolutely love the image. Hey, guys, everybody, look. Slug bug. <laughs> <laughs> I love this little, this little Volkswagen. It's just, I think it's just the flowers and stuff around it. It's so cute. Slug bug. And then. The Mark's mom's got one of those sitting at her, uh, at her she, house. What year is it? You know, these remind uh, me of the people that. One of used, the ones that looks like that. I don't know. These, these remind me of the people that used to show up in Malawa that were the tree huggers. Remember, they'd go and wrap them, chain themselves to trees so nobody could cut them down. It's like, really, yep. people? Really? Those trees were grooved. It'll be okay. To Just harvest. Do it. Yep. The people that come and scream because you're eating your cows. Yeah, those people. <laughs> <laughs> But yet they go downtown while they're standing, and have while a they're standing there <laughs> eating their hamburger, but they're mad because we said we wanted to butcher our cows. It's like, well, yeah. I love that one lady told us. Do you remember that? She pulled up out there and she was mad because we were loading cows to take to the sale yard and she said you really need to stop doing that they need to not be butchering cows but she was eating a freaking hamburger i know i like the ones that is like do you think that meat just appears in the market oh she said she said we needed to not do that because if we wanted hamburger we could go to the store and it's like a pardon and she said, if we wanted hamburger, we could go to the store. And I said, well, where do you think the store gets it? And she said, from the manufacturer. And it's like, um, that would be us. I know it. I know That it. would be us. And she just didn't get it. It no. was funny. So I am going to cut this <laughs> off right here. Like my brother and I used to smack each other. <laughs> No, you know what? What's funny oh, is no. I like the Cadillac whack. I'll play. I will play slug bug with you, but be careful because Cadillac wax dictate a whole nother different stepped up version of punching. Hi, Linda. What is mom doing in there? 
I just got in trouble for not um, turning the dishwasher on. Uh oh. I didn't know it was full. Oops. I don't. I don't get in there. Because Are you grounded now? Did you I get in trouble? So. Because don't you know that the dishes just appear in the in the thing? Oh, oh, um, uh, dang it. I always see the S Taylor and I think of Taylor. But Sandra's over on YouTube. Um, oh. Sandra, we are also on Facebook. Um, this is will be the last night on Facebook. That's why I came over here to stream so I could drop my link again so that um you guys can find us i will always post a link on facebook but i just thought we would stream one more night over here i am i am, i don't know why but i am just exhausted my back is we worked you worked you like a dog i do Linda got a new bunny. Her um uh -oh. her daughter's bunny passed away. Oops. Yep. I used to sneak my rabbit into my room all the time. And my goat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That yeah. freaking little goat. The the link, Duncan D, is the picture. I didn't know I had to explain that, but when you see the picture, you click on the picture, that's the link. Yep. But um, I'll explain that in the next post if we do it. Oh, uh, Sandra. See, I, I see it. I want to say Sandra, but it, then it wants to come out Sandra Taylor. <laughs> here, Sandra's here now. Hi, Sandra. Oh, she's, she's here. There she is. Don't she's you have like a middle who. name? She's the little who comes running in. Very nice, Marie. <laughs> we're here. So we're on. here. We're here. I hope so, because I mowed my lawn today. Or I didn't. Marcus did. I did. No, the hell I did. I did. I pushed the, I did the perimeter with the push mower. I saw you. I saw you out the window. I love my, so it's Sandra K. Taylor. I love that. I was going to make a, too bad you didn't have an A in there. It would be S-A-K-T. Okay. I was trying to, well, because when I see it says S. Taylor, I think of Taylor. Um, Linda said, I didn't want another, but Brooklyn wants to move in, so I'm getting her room ready. Very nice, Linda. I'm happy for you. By Lynn, they're coloring Easter eggs tonight. Ooh, Very nice. Very nice. We went, I went to the park where the kids were hiding Easter eggs, and I went and found some Easter eggs. <laughs> bring that bring the eggs home from the park i don't have to buy them i don't have to boil them and i don't have to color them but i'm ready to hide eggs <laughs> working on it no taylor uh, see see there see? it happened sandra you did it no sandra yes please change that you won't be able to honey um <laughs> Toady, Goldie, Gigi knows how to do it. Um, what? But you don't, Sandra says, this, she says, I'll see if I can change that. But see, it's because my eye just automatically catches Taylor. And don't be telling Taylor that because it'll go straight to her head. She'll be like, see, nah. I knew you loved me. All right, let's get busy, you guys. I'm sitting around my face. I did that with the granddaughter today. You stole her Easter eggs and brought them home, Linda. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I didn't steal no Easter eggs. I stole all the Easter eggs. Don't you believe it? She did too. <laughs> oh, maybe not this year, but yeah. In oh, the they're past. telling the little kids, "Hey, I will give you a dollar an egg if you fill fill this basket for me." Let's see. Dee Dee took six for a walk today. They had a rabies clinic at the fire department. Oh, very nice. Nice. Linda colored eggs. You know, I just, I don't know. Oh, I nope. can't even remember the last time I did that. Colored eggs. 
Last yes, time I last time Stubbs I, was like just like little. Last time I showed Weenie an Easter egg, he tried to run off with it. Could you imagine feeding a dog an, a hard boiled egg? Ugh. Um, let's 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 don't. He would, and not even say that we didn't. He would be it's like, so let's just don't. Gassy, Mr. Weenie's gassy anyways. He's Oh. Don't ever feed him an egg and then expect to lay down and sleep. He will have some nasty wiener gas and it's it's his superpower. It's the wind. Grandma mm -hmm. mom always says this dog has the wind. <laughs> Yes. It's not just Very spelling. wretched. We don't do it. Yeah. Like it's not happening anymore. <laughs> Part City is right, Sandra. <laughs> yep. Instead of, will you take me to Funky Town? It's, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think it's bad enough when Winnie does that, that he's like, can you get me out of Funky Town? I know. Because, yeah, he's like, he can't even stand his own... Yeah. He looks He's at such me a like sweet boy. He'll look at you like I fought it. <laughs> uh -huh. It's not farted. Couldn't I, help it. It's I fought it. I'm making a tiny yeah. house. Dogs love them. Eggs are there, honey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Seen a bunny today and was barking and gassing at the same time. Oh no. <laughs> That's what happens when you get up in the morning and you feel old. You sneeze, fart, and fall down all at the same time. <laughs> mm. Think you're going to just sneeze and everything lets loose. You pee your pants. Like these things happen. It does. <laughs> it just becomes musical. <laughs> I felt old this morning. When I got up, I was like, God, you old bag, go back to bed. But I couldn't. Mr. Weenie was looking at me like, can you please hurry, Mommy? I never make him wait. In fact, I don't even go potty before I take them out. Because Weenie will stand in there banging his tail on the... Um... Okay, guys, right there when Benton County wants to know why I didn't pay my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the first payment. I hey. don't believe you. I know. I pay mine electronically. But it's very nice of them to send some envelopes. I need to go back and ask for my third class mail back because you get envelopes with third class mail. That's how you know who your friends are when you can do that in front. That's true. It is, Sandra. It is. Mm -hmm. Not that I, I, if I fart in front of you, it's because I love you. And it's not fart, it's fought it. <laughs> I There's fought no it. R in that word. No, I fought it in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> then it's not so vile because I didn't fart, I fought it. Yeah. Anyways, no, Weenie will stand there with his tail up next to my leather chair in my bedroom. Thump, 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 thump. And he's like, uh, listen, uh, Donna says, so we can say Wendy said it was OK. It It is. Nice. You tell him, hey, as always, it's me. Wendy says I can fight in front of you if I want. And it's not fart. It's fought. I fought <laughs> it. Yep. Just a little. It done it a little. <laughs> just a little. It just a little come out. <laughs> just don't use the lighter. See? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so we almost have this. It's almost free. And I think we are going to open up this edge, maybe. But we got to get this off of here. Then we'll ink this up a little bit. And aside from there, I'm going to have to open one of these edges. Because as usual, I was talking instead of paying mm -hmm. attention to what I was doing. And I... All of a sudden, I just, I'm like, dang it, I messed up. Okay, so this side is done. What I did here is I just uh, ripped the edges and inked around it. I intentionally left the white just for that little pop of white. This paper is strange paper because no matter which way you turn it, 
every something's upside down and i think they did it on purpose that way however this one is yeah. not um so it has to go this way let's see what words do we have there and i'm so disappointed but you know what i might do sister is what just put some paper over that and oh god i've got some massive heartburn Give me a second. I've I got to take care of this. That Italian sandwich. Yep. Um, I only lost power for a short period of time. Um, we're on different, uh, different grids as far as the power goes. Um, so it's not, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't often lose my power, but if I do the, the grocery store, that's the closest to where I'm at, they lose power too, as does, uh, one of the quickie marts but um yeah um, so th this is the new diamond painting that i'm doing d this is called um moonlight bath and it's really it really is a long because see that's the little paper that comes from the diamond art club and it's a little it's a little dragon taking a bath in a I tub i love the feet Speaking. But yeah, I only lost power for a little while. We didn't. We but because were. I'm closer to the I'm closer to the power company. Shit. I'm closer to Benton PUD, so if anything goes on with that, this is why um it takes quite a bit for me to lose power just because of where I'm where I'm located in conjunction to uh the PUD. So <clears throat> Where we live, like I said, it uh, was a storm that you had. It wasn't really bad, you guys. It's just the um, the wind that came up with it because we had thunder, lightning. It looked like a cone hanging in the air, which we don't have tornadoes here. But it, we do get the tornado wind, if you will, with You'd it. You'd swear. You'd swear we could have had a freaking tornado but we didn't but it yeah. darn sure looked like it didn't it but the wind blew all night and um it, the wind was just flickering but they did warn us that we were gonna have bad weather and so we prepared for it um <clears throat> i sat here till the that one battery went out and then i was like okay no more electricity let's go to bed because <laughs> i have a <laughs> i have a light that runs on batteries so i just sat here and stupid me i knew i i i figured we'd have electricity in the morning where i could rev my phone up so i sat here mm -hmm. and watched tv on my phone and then when i i slept with mom i said mama let's watch tv on your phone <laughs> <laughs> woke up to no power no power to charge the phones and i was like but that was really stupid so we went for over 12 hours with no phone no power there we go but i did fill the bathtub with water so we could flush the toilet because i am on a <laughs> i have my own well so if there's no power you can't even flush the you can flush the toilet but because it we, doesn't like it <laughs> well you don't want to you'll gav the you'll cause the pump to gavitate suck air um that pulls the water up out of my well 
anyways, so yeah, it was great. Cause usually we mm -hmm. lose, usually we we lose electricity, but we have that right back in the morning, and we didn't. So I had to go out and charge my phone in the car. Which, by the way, my phone. Have you looked into a generator? There's really no reason for a generator here. I've I've wanted one, but there's. Oh, I don't know. We probably should. <laughs> <laughs> I should. Hi, Joyce. Um, but no, we made it. Hell, we just sat and stared they're at Generally, them. Generally, they're pretty good about getting out there and jumping to and fixing the getting, fixing the power outages. Getting um, something hooked up, but we yeah. made it. Now, Spectrum. Yeah, we're not even going to go That's there. a whole nother story there. The internet, they take their sweet time about doing whatever it is that they do. Well, let let town be without internet, and then, oh my god, they're right on it. But out here where we live, I guess we're just the hicks out here in Kentucky. <laughs> That's okay. It doesn't matter. Look what I have made. <laughs> Look what you continue to do. Yes. I even though we messed up, but you know what? At least it won't build all that uh you know, that big lump in there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I think maybe I have come to the top of my um needing an Italian sub sandwich. I have Horrible heartburn. I just went and got a Prevacid, uh -huh. but I need to take some Tums. Oh, I just had fiber optics put in, so I now have better internet. You know, I've been thinking about that, but they don't offer that out here. So I've been thinking about going back to the satellite so that we have internet. I did just order their pucks. Um, yes, yeah, Spectrum is the only one for this area. Now, in town, Gigi can get just about anything. But out here in Finley, where we leave, we still live and leave it to Beaverland, still like the 1950s. Well, we can... sometimes it depends. Um, we had something called Clear once upon a time mm -hmm. that was really, really good. But even if you have... We paid for a dedicated T1 line, which means, you know, should have been able to should have been able to run an entire city off of our dedicated T1 line mm -hmm. that we paid for. That was supposed to be ours and ours alone. And then before you know it, there were all kinds of people that were using it because the particular company Gave everybody our password and told us we nice. had to share. And I said, um, I don't think so, Scooter. I paid for that. I don't want to have to share with anybody. Sharing is not and so caring. they basically gave us our money back and we changed companies again. But yeah. But they were not supposed to give our information to anybody else. That was ridiculous. Oh, they can have my information. I don't give a shit while you're in there looking at it. Pay some bills. That's all I ask. Well, there were enough people using it. Like I said, it was like half the city here using our internet. And it's like, um, no. Why not? I didn't have, I didn't have very what good service after that. What is wrong with you? If you've got something, everybody should have it. No one Apparently. should be any better than anybody. What is wrong with you? <laughs> if you've made a dollar more than everyone in your neighborhood, you need to go disperse that dollar. Lauren James, get your ass over here to Facebook. He's over there on YouTube. I love that my <laughs> that everything is going, everything's working. I just turn around and now starting the first, you guys, we will be streaming on YouTube only, but I will post a link on Facebook. All you got to do is click on the picture. It'll be a picture of Sage and it'll bring you right over. Red Rover, Red mm -hmm. Rover, send Lauren James right over. He might have left already. I don't know. 
he probably Maybe. snuck. He snuck in, and now he's thinking, "Shit, she saw me." <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn my light on. If my camera gets weird, turn your head until I can fix it. Shut, Give me a second. Just shut up about it. Oh. I don't like well, that. I think those are the weirdest so far, colors so that I've ever seen together. And what wow. I did, you guys, is I just had extra paper, so I just, and rather than printing something new and wasting paper, I just used what I had. So, we're just going to like it. It is now officially a junk journal, because a junk journal is not supposed to match. It's just supposed to have really pretty things that possibly don't go together, but they're really pretty. So, I have officially made a junk journal good job yes and here we go we're gonna stick this sucker down right here in the middle did the babies go with you to see this uh, elizabeth did but i didn't take sage or weenie sage does not do well in um, public settings it gives her anxiety and she pants so i don't we don't do that to her she stayed home um, I don't know and if Weenie wants to pierce everybody's nose. Yes, he does. He wants to go and be held. And should somebody pick him up, he, um, will immediately start piercing nose. Did the babies go with you to see the Elizabeth did. And when the little kids took off, started running, <laughs> little shit, she started barking. She's like, get away from me. <laughs> I have got to really get. Elizabeth out and about more in public because um, she, well, she used to love being in the public and now now she's like not so much I well, like my yard the one thing that I absolutely love she don't like strangers anymore she used to would go to anybody and let them hold her yep. not, hold. not anymore Sorry. What, are you, what are you doing sister I mean, she's not vicious with anybody, but um, at least she doesn't run at strangers anymore. So, like, if she got a hold of me, or she got away from me, which she doesn't, but um, it's just she's not as willing. Elizabeth used to be one of those ones that, like, the creeper pulls up in the white van, and she'd be like, oh, take me. <laughs> oh, he's got candy. <laughs> That's Elizabeth. Sage would be like, back Yay. off. Back off, Satan. <laughs> Sage doesn't She's like, like nobody. Me. Sage is like, nobody likes candy that much. Get out of here. That's right. Nobody tries to hump me. Get out of here. <laughs> That's, <laughs> Sage. That's Sage. Yeah. Yeah. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. And yeah. she says she'll gladly eat some somebody's liver for them if that's what they want <laughs> well the one thing i will say is mr weenie like we said he likes to be held and picked up he'll let you pick him up but then as you get close to the face he will pierce your nose so just know if and the any... weird thing is the weird thing is it's not like he's a biter because that's not no. it at all it's just he nose just piercing like time. he gives you the lick lick and then chomp and then he's done i think yep. he's just you know, tasting for later or something. So here's but the he second. Doesn't really, he doesn't really bite. This is the second half of my house taxes right here that we're going to do something with. And I think I'm going to make the cascading thingy here, sister. I wish I hadn't have cut this in half. I could have maybe, I was just excited and said, I'm cutting this in half. And I did it. And then I was like, oh, shit. Should have waited, but that's okay. I'm trying to think of how I could get, I might just put this one down on the paper here. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I don't care for that paper. It's ugly. <laughs> huh? That's funny. It is. It's ugly. It's weird. I, you know, I, I always try to print the way that, and I'm not saying anything bad about these people's specialty papers, but 
do you have some vision? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know what I I'm think saying? some of them just, I think some of them do it that way on purpose. You know, you can put it this way, you can turn it that way, you can do whatever you want. That way, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're forward you know or back or upside you? down. But you didn't hear me. I hear you talking to me. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> G? Do you hear me talking to you? Ah. Every single time. Every time. She hits me with that. Did you start a new diamond painting, sister? And um, yes, I did. Duncan D wants to. Oh, did you show the picture? Well, I did, but um, show it again. Everybody was gone. They were not here yet. So this is this is called Moonlight mm. Bath by Randall Spangler. Nice. And it's a diamond art club. It's 20 inches wide from side to side. And it's 57 inches long. So she's going to be a doozy. But here's a better close-up picture. This is just the cutest See, it's got this big cathedral window at the top, mm -hmm. and he's laying back here with the candles lit, and it's this cute little dragon taking a bath in the moonlight, screaming through the window. I love the big old toes. It looks like Elizabeth's feet <laughs> sticking does. out. Got his little hands behind his head. It really does. It's a cute sister. little dragon. I love the towels. Towels sitting on either side here. And all the bubbles. Oh my gosh, I just keep yawning. Why? They're never gonna know. That's what I keep saying, <laughs> but I just I just keep yawning and yawn. This is like a huge pocket. What in the hell would somebody put in this? I don't know. I don't know if Anything? I want it this way. But why would you put something upside down? I don't understand that. Maybe if we did it this way, this way, and then this way. That would work, sister. Look at. Mm -hmm. We'll even stack that out just a little bit so that would come all the way across. But Sandra says put money in it. Oh, honey, money, honey. Yes, uh -huh. we were talking about living that royal purple life with purple money. And my sister says, my money's green. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Oh, like, you... My money's green. Does that count? You made me laugh. No, your money sucks. It's not as good. That green money. Nope. Your money sucks. So I have was reading online this morning and it said that there is a new class of middle class people so if you mm -hmm. don't make 260 some thousand dollars a year you are lower middle class so i guess mm -hmm. the 165,000 i made i'm low class I ain't worth a shit. Not worth the powder to blow me to hell. So, mm, if something. you want to mingle with the upper class and rub elbows with the upper middle class. I didn't know there were three levels of middle class people. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, evidently, there's lower class middle people. There's middle class. And then there's <laughs> upper class. Lower, lower class middle people. <laughs> That's what Upper we class that's what people. we are in order for <laughs> middle, you middle now, people in order for you to be middle class people you have to make uh, over 200 and some thousand dollars <laughs> me too Sandra some bitch why are we working I mean damn I'm gonna go stand in the bread line for my hundred and thirty some thousand dollars <laughs> You know, I thought I was, I thought I was shitting in tall cotton when I seen how much I made. I was like, damn, I didn't do too good. Then I seen that and I was like, shit, I need to go back to work. <laughs> yeah, I guess I need to go take my middle class, lower middle class ass back to work. <laughs> yeah. 
I saw Judy come in. Good evening, Judy. Okay, you guys, Judy is in the stream. All journals go to $45. I was going to say $45,000. $45. Okay. Yeah, I We're seen just winging it exactly where I, we are. I saw that, and I was like, and guess where I saw that it was on CNN. I was like, are we? Am I on the right channel? Because I'm, actually, I'm not because I don't watch CNN. However, but I was like, are they saying that? <laughs> yep, that's yeah. what they're saying. Yeah, I was like, wow, it's a brand new day. What a way to start your day. Why not? So, you know, I've always thought that, you know, we're doing well, but evidently, I guess we're poor people. Okay. Can I get a loan? I need all of you people to send me a dollar so I can make <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need some money. Just one dollar. Just one dollar. One dollar gets me to the next rung. And then, ah. in order for me to hang in there, I need you to send $5 after that. But they will not change Whatever. the governments. I don't know what it's called. Um, I could tell you, but it would start a fight, so I won't. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. Okay. okay. I, I didn't mean to bring up politics. I'm sorry, you guys. That's the fastest way to make people fight is politics. My bad. Oops. I done it a little. Well, uh, see, you know, they say this thing that one is supposed to have separation from church and state. And yet, hello, those are the two things that make people fight the fastest. Hey, don't be beat politics. on my Don't be politics on and uh, Politics and religion. And yet, it's like we're supposed to have separation from church and state. And look what happens. It's like, it just it is what it is. No, no, it's I like, didn't say how there about was... You just, no, yeah. I'm saying it's no, no, always it's been what that way. Dee Dee, it's what uh, Duncan D said. You know what, you guys? We're not poor. Look at no. what we have. We have a freaking cell phones or computers in our hands, and we're sitting here talking online, and I'm wasting paper faster than most probably little kids in Africa wipe their ass with it. We are not poor. Um, so there it is. Let me show you the big bag. Oh, did I cuss? No, yeah. you said something about wiping your butt. Well, it's true. I Cut waste more paper I know. and shake a stick. Yeah, we are blessed, you guys. That's just them being stupid. Stupid just, is, is as stupid does, is. Mrs. Blue. You guys are not poor. We're not poor. Poor is a nope. state of being. Should you choose to be poor, then by God, you're poor. We're no, not. it's a state of mind. Uh -huh. If you don't mind, it don't matter. And that's kind of how I feel. I'm just like, it is what it is. I managed to get my you know bills what? paid. I wouldn't mind I being don't, poor. I'm not starving to death by any means. I don't want to pay the taxes. I don't want to pay the man anymore. I'm done. Uncle Sam, me and you are splitting up. <laughs> <laughs> you take He's Uncle Sam. The that's Splitting right. Splitting the sheets with Uncle Sam is Uncle this what Sam's happens? been touching me on my no nos for many years, and I'm done with it. <laughs> We're done. I am Not done. I'm tired of him touching my no nos, and that's my money. That's a no no. <laughs> I'm teasing. That's funny. She's not teasing. She literally means that. She's like, don't be touching my You know no what? I, I can't help it, but I'm pissed because I have to pay this year. I'm tired of paying. I need some tax deductions. Anybody want to come be my kid? I got three of them running around here on the floor. I'm just tired. I'm tired of it. Paid over 20 some thousand dollars and I got to pay another eight. It's bullshit. And I am going to stand Lay here down. and stomp my feet. Okay, go ahead. Huh? I said, go ahead. I know it. I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm, I got it out of my system. At least I'm okay. not crying about the other stuff. Damn, I got to cry about something. Got to cry. Oh, mommy, I'll be your baby. See, there's my Judy. 
Always there to say, okay, I love you, Judy. You get your ass home before them lights come on. <laughs> um. Gail says, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you can be my kid, too, Gail, or Gina. <laughs> come on, Gina. We're going to Sears. Put your good clothes on. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <Decent>. <laughs> is, really? there, is Sears even yeah. open anymore? Um. Well, not here anymore. Do they have Sears back east or down south? No, I don't know. I would do it, not know. It would be great, Donna, if we could claim the puppies. I would love <laughs> that. Lord knows I spent, oh my gosh, what was it we spent on Weenie's mouth last year was $12,000 just on his teeth. Mm -hmm. Well, on his teeth, his eyes, and uh, just in general. Do I have to wear my bloomers? Yes, you do. Wherever we go, you have to look decked out. No Sears close to here. Just need yeah, to be home. You only have to put your bloomers on when we go to town. Yep. When you come home, everybody strips off and you're in your house clothes. Bras come off at the door and are hung up just like jackets. <laughs> That way there, if you got to go outside your bras right there, you can just put it on. Oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot believe you did that. <laughs> I think it was oh Judy. I think it was Judy that always used to spot my bra on top of that little heater because she'd always say, nice bra, Wendy. Because I always, I take my bra off as soon as I get to the front door in the house. And I set it right there. So that way there, if I have to go outside, <laughs> it's right there with my coat. I put my bra on and my coat and I go out. Well, after all of these years of lifetime of having to wear a bra, because I just absolutely could not not have a bra. Dee Dee doesn't own it's a nice. bra. After my surgery, that I I don't need one anymore. Monkey Ward is still around by catalog. I see Nat. I remember. Um, I think we still have a catalog somewhere. Remember when Mom used to give us a pencil, and we got to circle. That's how she kept us busy. We got to circle what toys we wanted for Christmas. Not uh -huh. that we didn't get all of them, but Mom would tell us to sit down. And be still so that we could, I don't know, probably leave her alone so she could have a moment to herself. So. For five seconds. Five whole minutes. Yep. I have sports bras. You know, I, I wear, I still wear a bra when it's, ne when it's necessary. Because I do have men friends friends like tim that comes drops by the house and uh one should always be i don't know dressed. yes we do not just uh go outside you know, yeah. flopping in the wind we're out there nope. running hi <laughs> <laughs> not Now, Not everybody today. that is just coming in, for those of you jumping in and out of the stream, if you're looking for Elizabeth Sage or Mr. Weenie, I will be live with them again on Monday um, at 10 a.m. Um, tomorrow is Sunday, so everybody's going to spend time with their families, and we're going to do our family thing. We're going to go out and have Chinese food. <laughs> Because mom wants Chinese food. Where are you going, baby? Hmm? Say, Dur. I think we got a, a leg that's asleep. She's limping just a little bit. Say, Dur. Say, Dur, you better quit sitting up. Her leg's asleep. She needs to quit sitting on her butt. It's starting to get big. You watch. You know what? I was having such a problem through that video. It was finally going well. And then Elizabeth, I spotted a piece of grass in Elizabeth's eye. And 
I wanted that out of there because that's how Weenie's eye infection started was from the grass. Make sure they cut the duck's heads off. Oh, <laughs> Judy. Yeah, we're not eating duck. No. I don't think you could get no. Toad to eat duck. I'm going to go have some general sows. Mom will probably have um, beef. Broccoli bro beef. Broccoli beef, yes. I don't know what mouse. Mouse probably... Sage. Mom will probably six. Mouse will have uh, egg foo young. Come here, Major. Give me a second, sister. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get her a remedil. Okay. Hmm. Nice, Marie. Get that diamond painting out and get started with it. Yeah. Good night, Marie. She has uh -huh. bread and buns. I saw I, that. I told I her she needed to get that diamond painting out and get it started. That's right. Pictures. Don't Pictures or it didn't happen. Don't hesitate. <laughs> um, Sager's limping. I wonder if that's why she didn't go out into the yard, sister, today. She was out in the yard. Well, that she, could be. Maybe she ran too she hard. She was out there. She just got too much work done today. She was out there bombing around with Marcus. Oh. When he was done and he just wandering around kind of checking everything out, she was out there walking right behind him, just checking oh. everything out. Well, maybe she just laid making too sure, long. Making sure he did everything right. Homemade French bread. That sounds amazing. I think I am going to plug this table back in and raise it so I can stand at this table rather than sit down. Okay, so look here, sister. Are you ready for it? Mm hmm So we have a flip here with a pocket. And nice. then an envelope, which is upside down. <laughs> and then... <laughs> A just tuck, flicks it the other a way. A tuck here. <laughs> I swear. Just, this just, thing. <laughs> and then this for something different. I am going to stick this. Oh, excuse me. What a pig. Oh, man. That that uh, Italian thingy is going to get the best of me. Marie says okay, she'll Marie. See. We're gonna. I'm going to be waiting. Waiting for pictures. She's going to show up at your house, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> to see over here we always say gotta have some pictures show some proof it didn't happen otherwise uh -huh. so get some pictures yeah okay. i gotta move this there. camera i feel like i'm reaching halfway across this table and i'm just gonna pull this to me there you go tell me if you can see me where i'm sitting uh -huh. there now hmm. shit i feel like i was reaching way out like that Okay, what was I doing? We were doing this. No yawning, sister. Sorry. It's been a long day already. Mm -hmm. God, I was having such a... I was sleeping so good this morning. I just... Mm -hmm. I did not want to get up. I just felt like bawling. I was like, no... For the love of God, go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Little Satan dog, lay down. But I can't. I can't do that to Weenie. I'm, I get up. It's like, oh, little dog, please go home. <laughs> Your mom's <laughs> waiting for you. <laughs> Your mom's calling you. <laughs> uh, you know why he gets up so early? because he sleeps all day 
I went in there the other day and I told mom, I said, wake him up. And she says, no, he's sleeping good. I said, wake him up. <laughs> he sleeps all day and then he's up all night. And then, oh, well, let's go out and go potty. Yes, happy Easter, Eddie. I didn't see you come in. Just so you don't. <laughs> how can you forget Easter, Eddie? Don't you forget Easter. Mm -mm. Did he... Did he change his time with the... I'm thinking he did this time. Of course, anything that gets us to eat faster. Uh, Sandra. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that's just my Mr. Weenie. I think he can... Because the birds start chirping here before it even gets daylight, as it does anywhere. And I think he hears that. <clears throat> sometimes... He's funny. I, sometimes I take him... And I'll take the him and the girls out to go potty and I'll pick him up and Elizabeth and I'll stick uh, Elizabeth in Margaret's house and I put Weenie in bed with me and make them go back to sleep it's like no we're not eating at 4 o'clock in the morning just a lot going on with the move I bet you are it is exhausting to move Eddie Especially if wherever you've lived, you've lived there for a while. It's like, gosh. We I are... don't have to pack. Did I say that out loud? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I was being mean, but I yes. mean it in a nice way. Happy Easter to you as well, Susan. Now, sister, look. Envelope. Uh -huh. I got a new medicine I take at night. That's nice, Dee Dee. There for a while, she wasn't sleeping. So I like the way that turned out. Now these little um, these little things that you make that go inside the junk journals, I've watched women make them where they flip out this way, they flip this way, they flip that way, and then they flip again. And it's like these women are amazing with envelopes. I got to tell you, I'm mm -hmm. good enough to get three or four in there. But look what I have done. I'm so pleased. I don't care for the paper, but... Um, Yay. <laughs> Good job, Shmi. I'm such a dork. Look, we have another envelope. <gasps> and another envelope. Look. No, we're done with this. Nice. So let's... get it all sorted out. Yes. Oh, uh, Sandra didn't get to see my book. Look at my book, Sandra, if she's still there. And I made this. I made every bit of this. I'm very pleased with myself. Right down to the cover. She made the cover. cover too. Yes, that's what that's called. So this is what I wanted to ask you. Do you think that is too big, sister? Or no, I do not. That that sticks up funny? No. Okay. Well, I'm just going to leave it that way. I know. Slug bug, Sandra. Look at the slug bug on the back. It's the big old daddy slug bug. It's where you put them in a headlock and thump them right in the top of the head. <laughs> uh, so it has two signatures in it. You can see they're sewn in right there. And I absolutely love this rose color with this paper. And this one has more places to actually write in. Um, I'm thinking, what have I forgotten? I need to get some, uh, what was I going to Nothing. Gonna... You know what? There needs to be something right here, sister. Let me see. What? what... Nothing right here. Break that up. Hmm. It's like yeah. kind of obnoxious. What put a, say? put a, like you could put a belly band or something. No, not a belly band. You could put a, a... well, I thought yeah, about that. Fuss, I thought about fussy cutting that out. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. This paper drives me crazy. Okay, so if we're gonna hold this, I gotta quit twisting that in my hand. I've done that how many times now? Mm, too many to count. Just a couple. So I think I'm going to fussy cut this out and I'll actually fussy cut because I need this and then I need this to sit closer. Maybe. Let 
Does that look funny on top of that, do you think? No. All right. We're going to do the it. The Eiffel Tower. I know it. <clears throat> Watch what we're going to do. I'm not fussy cutting nothing. Fussy cut nothing. Although it it's not as bad. So no, we'll go straight on with it. Get this lined up here. I gotta use this. You made me do this the other night and now I can't. You've ruined <laughs> me. Huh? I didn't say anything. You did. You ruined I me. did not. Helk, you did Just twisted her arm. All kinds of out of shape. Ta-da! <laughs> that sounded like I was dying. That one sounded a little like uh, you weren't real sure about that, ta-da, for a minute. I'm not. I've just been, like, because I know this is just paper that I was going to throw away anyways, because I printed it just to see what it looked like. And rather than throw them away, I thought, oh, I'll just save them for that. And so, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Look ta -da. what happened. Look what I have continued to do. So we're going to exactly. actually, give me one second here. Um, my youngin is going to be here in just literally a second. You're fine if you Because that loud noise you're hearing is the motorcycle. Oh. Can you hear it? Yeah, well, if you have to <laughs> mute your thing and leave for a minute, then <clears throat> I will. By all means, sister. Just give me a minute. Marcus got here first. Oh, I'm sure Zach's out there probably waiting. Not yet. Not yet. What is that? Joy said, sorry, my grandson called to tell me and his little brother are okay. spending I'll the be night. back in a second. Oh, very nice, Joyce. How much fun is that? So I think we're going to rip this right. We'll get that nice sharp edge on that green. Right in. Come on. Right in there. And here we go. I almost sat down. Oh, Elizabeth, you need to move your tail. I'm stepping all over her tail. <laughs> oh, my baby. She didn't even move. Her feet are just hanging out of bed. She, uh, I put my feet in her bed and she lays on top of my feet. And it's nice when it's cold out. So that's very busy. I don't like that. There's no way it's like the eye doesn't have anywhere to focus. Let's see what it looks like. I don't like that either. That's too busy. We won't throw that away. It's just, it's too busy. I think that's why I don't like this. My daughter is watching with me. What's your daughter's name, Gina? I hope it's not a little child. Here, I've been talking horrible. <clears throat> we need something on here. There needs to be something here. Gotta find it. Um, maybe, is that too big? Actually, no. Daniel, oh, she's 35. We'll tell her I said hi. How is she doing? I don't know. There's just something about that paper is so busy. We're going to set that aside and we'll come back to it. Um... I need to make a few more envelopes. Could we stick this on here? Hi, weenie. What you doing, baby? Hi, baby. You want to see? It's just an envelope. Somebody's coming out because he's thinking that he can ex have... 
Oh, I don't like that either. Huh. I don't like this period, and it's going to end up in the garbage. Let's see if we went this way. No, it has to go this way. It's because I wasn't paying attention when I put those two together. Um, it needs something in there to calm that down, maybe. Weenie, what are you doing, baby? Wiener dog. I think we'll go off at this end. Elizabeth is in here just a snoring. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have went to bed when I started this mess. <clears throat> that might work on that. Oops. So let's rip this. Gonna rip this down the center. I can find it. It's right there. What, baby? Nope, you can't have no more. We're fresh out. We're fresh out, baby. Yes, we are, my baby. <clears throat> okay, give me one second, you guys. I really have to think about this. Weenie baby, he's trying to tell me that he needs more food, and he doesn't. So what I'm trying to do is just rip this paper here and get it halfway straight because I just want the words. But you know what I had to do is wait here. I'm going to mess up. Elizabeth is laying at my feet snoring okay so we're gonna go to the top here yep that's what we're gonna do These guys were really hungry tonight because we had been in the yard all day. Not that I make them stay outside because if they want inside, I let them go in. Um, and Mr. Weenie, he, he's too old to make him stay outside too long. If he wants to stay outside with me, I let him. If he wants in the house, I let him because he is an elderly. He is an elderly dog now. Same thing with Sage. And uh, they usually will stay out for about 30, 40 minutes. But it's Elizabeth that stays outside with me. 
she'll go and lay down and watch me, but, um, Mr. Weenie, I don't make him stay outside. He says, no, no, mommy. It's this one. I'm waiting for Goldie to come back. So if you guys will just, I think Weenie might have to go potty. I was hoping she would come back in. If you'll give me just a second, I will be right back. I can't make him wait to go potty. I got to take him. So you guys will see the be back soon screen. I'll be right back. I have to take Weenie to go potty. Huh? Don't, 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 don't. Hey, Cindy. <laughs> Mouse is calling me Wendy. The what?
Okay, so I just got off the phone with Mad Mouse. She is putting her groceries away, and she'll be here. Be back in about 20 minutes. I'll still be here playing with this same stupid envelope, Mousy. So I think we are going to stick this on there. Just so we got something different. We got to cover up that green. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I think it's almost easier just to use an envelope, make an envelope, instead of all this fussy fussing with this and fussing with that. But I'm trying it. I'm trying the the junk journal effect, I guess, if it if you will. You're supposed to repurpose the things that you find. <clears throat> I watched a lady make flowers out of the toilet paper rolls. And I don't know that I would want that junk journal knowing that it's been in her bathroom. <laughs> Germs flies around in the bathroom. But yeah, she did make some pretty flowers out of the toilet paper rolls. It was pretty. And then there's videos that I watch where people actually go to the dump and they pick up stuff to put in their junk journals. <laughs> and so I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not for me. For those of you jumping in and out of the stream, if you are looking for Elizabeth Sage or Mr. Weenie, we will be live with them again on Monday as we will be taking Easter off to spend time with our family. I'm not sure if we're going to stream my messy desk. Oh, she crochets the roses. Oh, I bet that's pretty. I bet that is pretty, Susan. Anything handmade is beautiful. You can't beat handmade. But we got to cover up this ugly green envelope. Poor Mr. Weenie. Where'd he go? He went back with Grandma. <laughs> know what I'm saying, Donna? <laughs> I I don't know. There's just something about... Uh, I don't know. I am going to ink this just a little bit so I can see that edge. So I don't go past that edge. And that's just because I'm blind. Here comes Patty Baker. <clears throat> Cause you'd think that I was starving these puppies to death when he's st standing in there looking at the door like, hello, food. Oh, you just made yourself a cup of hot tea. That sounds amazing. Sager, you get in here and lay down or I'm going to have to put you at Margaret's house. Come on. I gave her a remedil. Come here. Get under here. Come on. Get in that bed or you're going to go get in a night-night. Get in there. Night-night. Good girl. Oh, Mommy's baby. Jesus, I don't want to go to Margaret's house, Mommy. Okay, so this is going to go this way. So, yeah, we want this on here. Like, yay. But we're going to ink this first. I love this color, you guys. It's beautiful. This rose color is just gorgeous. But I don't think we need the edge yet because we're going to cut that off. Oh, we can ink down this side. We'll just line it up. So how was your day, Patty? Oh, cinnamon tea is good for you. I'd have heartburn all night long, I tell ya. I'm going to be mad if I don't line this up and I'm going to throw it away. <laughs> I'm tired of messing with it. It's just easy just to make a new envelope. Whoever gets this journal, just you'll know it has my uh, the envelopes from my bills. I didn't pay no bills. I just used the envelopes. 
Okay, there we got that laid down there. Maybe, just maybe. Look at that. Dun, dun, dun. I had enough to fold it over. Got to hide that ugly yellow. You think it's good for heartburn? Ooh, I don't know anything with nutmeg or cinnamon in it. Just gives me horrible, horrible heartburn. Okay. So before we go gluing that down, I got to trim this edge. So I know where the edge is at. You, every time it seems like, Susan, that I see you on a live, you've got heartburn. I took Prevacid, and it's that fast, fast acting Prevacid. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that it, this heartburn goes away fast. And I think I'm done with, um, what's that called? Uh, Italian sandwiches for a while. <laughs> There for a while, I could not, I could eat my weight in Italian sandwiches. I just couldn't get enough. So we're going to slide right in here and get rid of that. Let's see. It'll go down this way. We'll put the pocket. No. Put the pocket here. Oh, I know what I'm going to do with it. We're just going to slice a new one. <clears throat> Today is not my day. But Gigi must be enjoying her little visit with her son. Okay, we need we need this. So we can't tape that down, but I need, I'm going to ink that so I can see where that edge is. There it is. And there, I almost went on the wrong side. See? Was not meant to craft today. I love this double-sided sticky tape. It's so much better than using glue, and I've become very spoiled. It's a little more expensive, but you know what? I'd rather deal with that than glue. You grow the mint in your garden. That's nice. That's always nice when you can grow every and eat what you grow. Nicey nice. Omeprazole. You know, I can't take mo Omeprazole, um, Betty. There's just something, something about it. I, I, it makes me gag. I, <laughs> I know that sounds nasty, but I cannot take it. 
Makes me sick. Yarrow is good for heartburn. I didn't know that. All right, you guys, I got to stop and think about where I'm going to put this. But we're not, this is not the paper that'll go on this. I was just, had to cover up. And we want that to go this way. Because this is a pocket. See, this is a big pocket. I just got to slip something else in there. And this will go here. And then we got to find something. I just need another little piece of paper. That's the part. I don't know. I don't know if using all these little pieces are good or not. It's like you're sitting here trying not to waste paper. But it uses more. is better off just to print another piece of paper. I've spent more time touching this little thing than I would anything. Yarrow is also good if you cut yourself to stop the bleeding. I didn't know that. That's very good to know. survival well for shit sakes that's not long enough I just cut it out where is it my desk is already a mess I can't find anything where'd that piece of paper go you guys just watched me cut it out did I throw it away? Oh, dang it. I think I did. No? Let me see. So who do we have here with us still? Let me see who's here. Type your name in, guys. What's Yarrow? It's good for the Yang. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'm just teasing Sandra. Ah. You guys remember on Eddie Murphy, the golden child, when they, they, they said that to him, I'm, I'm sorry, that wasn't nice. I shouldn't have said that. That was wrong. Damn it. I've, I've lost completely Judy. Hi, Judy. Duncan D is here. Miss Patty Baker. It's, it's our um, Miss America. Well, I think Gigi's coming back in. It made me mm -hmm. laugh. <laughs> Sister, what's Yarrow? Is it good for the Yang? Mm, yeah. What is Yarrow? You know that, that plant that is normal? It's really, really tall. It's got kind of almost furry looking leaves. It's real tall and it kind of the leaves go up and out like this. Yeah. And it's got that real tall kind of probably about yay big around uh, like a flower bloom. Shit. And it's yellow. Yeah. It sticks up on that. But if you take the yarrow leaves and uh, hi, Patty Baker, take the yarrow leaves and kind of rub them between your hands like this. Mm -hmm. If you like have a bruise or a cut or something like that, you know, obviously you want to wash it, but you rub it between your fingers. And slap it on the bruise or whatever. Mm -hmm. Helps take the swelling out. Um, keeps you from getting an infection. And you can wrap it around your, wrap it around an owie just like, uh, just like a bandage. See, but so you kind of got to, you got to kind of rough it up first. You could use it on your yang if you needed to, then, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, that's yes, nice. You could. We were just discussing what the yarrow is good for. 
Um, yeah. Evidently, it's good for heartburn. I just cut mm -hmm. something and I cannot find it. I'm. Uh oh. Well, I was gonna take Weenie out to go potty, and those oh. people are back next door, and they're actually mm. out there fighting in that field. They're yelling at one another, and I don't want to go out there. It doesn't really not like a fern. It's more uh, it's more bulky, I think, than a fern. Um. Hmm. Let's yeah. look it up. Look at here. Look at this. Look <laughs> at all like, the look. the missed opportunities that we have Ow. right here in our hands. We're going to use technology. Images <laughs> of oh. Yaru. Right there. Check this out. <gasps> Ta-da! <laughs> you have your golden Yaru. Now you have the earth care seeds of Yarrow White, Yarrow White, mm -hmm. um, it is a perennial, um, okay. let me see, yeah, it's all in these, ew, it stinks if it's in the, uh, marigold, yuck, <laughs> no, the queen lace, the queen Anne's lace, mm-hmm. Ew, if that's Queen what that... Anne's, Queen Anne's lace is uh, actually deadly for right your there. animals. She is right. It, she is right. Um, Duncan is right. It says, uh, oh, let's see, plant-based chemicals that increase saliva and stomach acid to help improve digestion. Ooh, maybe we mm -hmm. should be using it. Um, it is also good for your menstrual cramps. Um, what are the cons of yarrow? We'll give you diarrhea. No, I'm just teasing. Yarrow is gen generally considered safe to use medically, but possible side effects may include, but not limited to, skin irritation when used. Oh, well, yeah, nobody's going to put that in there. Um, increased urine will be colored. And yarrow has a something effect in a rat model. So, in other words, they oh, used hmm. it on a rat mom. I'm just teasing. <laughs> I, I don't even know what it said. I just glossed over it, saw the word rat and model. Um, it does also come in, oh, it comes in all colors. That's amazing. Yep. See there, kids? As seen on, as always, it's me, Wendy, <laughs> three sisters crafting. When Yarrow, when you need some help with your yang, it's always Yarrow. Get in there. <laughs> ah, that's terrible. <laughs> Sorry, I was, oh talk I was talking to Sage when I said, if you don't get in at night night and stay there, I'm going to put you in Margaret's house. She's high. Uh -huh. Get in there. Lay down. Night night. She said, I don't think so, Scooter. She says, stick your Yarrow in your Yarrow. Get away from me. I cut up uh, some words uh -huh. and I can't find it, sister. Uh oh. Now I, you've lost it. Well, Mama come in here and was I'm blaming Mama. Mama oh, come oh. in here and was talking to me and I don't know what I did with it. Oops. Shoot. I learned something today. You are so welcome, Sandra. Make sure to tell your friends where you heard that. You heard it here. You heard it here. Right here. Three bitches crap sisters crafting. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. <laughs> I didn't hear it. <laughs> I was going to say, so when your wang is stanky, it's Yarrow. Oh. <laughs> it's Yarrow. It's Yarrow time. Hey. They don't know if I'm saying thing or staying or wang or something. Something. Some sort of something. <laughs> Sandra says I sure will. <laughs> I've always wanted to do commercials. Mm. I want to do the. You sound like you're doing freaking commercials. I want to do your announcements. I want to do the. Uh, um, the infomercials, you know, 
Like, okay. Once upon a time, I was a decrepit old bitch. I couldn't move. Oh. Then I got Yarrow. Yarrow helped me to move freely, and now look what I can do. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. See what I'm saying? She's like out there doing calisthenics and stuff. Like, <laughs> look what I can do. Jumping around <laughs> and, then, and then late at night, I'm laying there going, oh, Lord, I hurt. Please just put me out of my... I cannot find that. I swear. Uh, did I glue it down already, you guys? Uh... I've got such a mess on my desk. It's not funny. My hubby and I always look for natural plants to use instead of taking pills. Keep going, Duncan. That sounds like the intro. Then I watched, as always, It's Me, Wendy, where they discussed the benefits of yarrow. Now, For it's... your yang. It's Yarrow all day long. You can pee in uh, colors. Oh, Judy. And look what I can do. <laughs> uh, when you care enough to send the very best, it's Yarrow. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Lord. Oh, that's funny. That's a good one. We have to keep that one. <laughs> Actually, look at how much enjoyment Yarrow has brought us. Just saying the very word, Yarrow. Can you imagine Yarrow. the possibilities? Just repeat after me. Yarrow. Yarrow. They are endless. Everybody put the word Yarrow and think of the endless possibilities of Yarrow. Mm -hmm. From top to bottom, it's Yarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have to think. I can't find that. I just, you guys watch me just rip that. Um, okay, I, I missed it. I can't, I'm sorry. I can't talk and craft at the same time. When I was making that cover for that journal, I kept telling mom, mom, stay out. I'm busy. She's like, just give me a second. So I think we're going to steal these words and we'll put that on there. <laughs> Oh, I still have heartburn. <laughs> Donna writes Yarrow. So when you guys go to work in the morning, or when she Monday, comes in here generally and says, What? <laughs> I know that's Donna. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> that was Yarrow a good one. for your yang and pee, a rainbow. <gasps> there it is. Um, when lovely. It, when you're sad. I like it. When you're sliding into first and you see it. <laughs> I just see oh. it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like your vote spot. Do you, slug bug? Set it first. <laughs> know what I'm saying, G? Say it. Like it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know it. That was classic. I'm over Perfect. here screaming. Perfect. Just a screaming. So. Oh, I could. So is mine. So is mine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I can hear those people. You know, I'm not going to put up with that shit all night. They need to fight. What it. are they? Just what are they doing? They're fighting, physically fighting. Oh. Like they're running from Ew. one another. They need to stand up in the field, exchange punches, and be done. Hmm. Stop fighting and running from one another. Get it done. Oh, Just... I look at it like this. Go ahead. You go first because it's my turn next. Oh, there's no way Where's I'm going to let somebody hit Where's me Where's the bat? No, I meant that. Like, no, they could stand and take punches at each other, but then I'm going to go over there with a the bat and say, okay. That didn't work very well because y'all are still doing it. But now we're just going to fix it and make it be quiet. Now One it's good punch turn. with the bat for you. One good punch with the bat for you. And now we're going to be quiet. It's like, be still. It's mm. okay. So we're going to mm -hmm. do this again. No, I just... Uh, I'm... Don't like I that. was being facetious, but you know, it was one of those, you know, we'll just, we'll share. Everybody can have one, one I smack do. for you, one like if, smack if you, for you. If you all want to fight, go in your house and fight. I can't even, I can't even take the, the puppies out. Nancy Lou Who, you little watcher. Oh, this paper's slippery. 
Nancy Lou who who Nancy Lou's who who is here <laughs> I'm just teasing Nancy Lou is here are you at Disneyland Nancy Lou for Easter wouldn't that be fun to go to Disneyland for Easter um, yeah but they got eggs everywhere she writes he 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 hello Nancy Nancy I got something on display in my kitchen, Nancy. <laughs> nope, all by myself. Oh, so your honey is off saving the world. Her honey. I is, see. He is a. I was gonna say paraplegic. <laughs> um, paramedic. Paramedic. I am so sorry. That almost came out. He rescues people all day long. Mm -hmm. He's a hero. Nice, Nance. So you get some little rest and relaxation all to yourself. So what are you doing? She's laying in the middle of the floor eating cake. She's having her cake and eating it too. Oh, I see how that works that's always nice my son-in-law my son is a paramedic the ten commandments are coming on i seen that donna and um i i own it already on um what's that called uh amazon i watched that last night talk to tawny yay very nice nance she talked to Tony for nice, nice two and a half hours. Perfect. So are you going to see the children? Very nice, Nancy. That's good. It's a good sign. Good sign of hope. Mm -hmm. that. That's good. Very happy. These nails are too thick. I can't. You can't pick anything up. No, it's time for a, um, a fill. I have my tickets for June. Very nice. Very, very nice. See? All is not lost. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job, Shmi. Good form. <laughs> so let's see what that looks like what do you think of that sister yes no maybe so. yeah did you find your thing you were looking for your no that you i can't took? i don't know what the hell i did with it it's it's lost in all this paper <laughs> i have a mess i need to figure out some way to um show my desk when i'm done because it is a mess it was a mess when i started so before nancy leaves i want to show her my what is that sound what oh elizabeth she's barking in her sleep Oh, lovely. Okay, Betty, we love you. Go get something to eat. So, Nancy, let me know if you're still here. I just want to show you the book I made. I made the... Hi, Betty. What's this called, sister? We'll see you soon. I made the cover myself. Yeah. Yes. Wendy did a whole reel. I did. I won't Journal show book. you. I won't show you what's inside, but... And I got to finish that pocket on the other side. I am so pleased. So here's the front, slug bug, and here's the back, <laughs> slug bug. <laughs> it's just got it's got two signatures in it right here, Nance, and it it is it has a happy Easter to you too, Betty. We love you. It's got the the images in it. They look just like the other ones, only it's just slightly different paper. And it's got the, the same old, same old in it. 
I'm just trying to finish it. It's got a few different things in it, but uh, yeah, that's what we're working on right now. So there it is. Ta -da. She's making me look bad is what she's doing. Who? You. Just what? making me look bad because I'm, I'm just over here diamond painting and I should be doing other crafting, but I just yeah. over here diamond painting. She's just over there doing nothing, guys. Uh -huh. You know what? Just sitting here. Who remembers when she forced me to make a journal? <coughs> and I didn't want to. And I sat there and I did it anyways. And you know how many journals I've made? I've made 68 journals. She made one and I've made 68 cents. Why she diamond paints. So. Get the yarrow out. And we are going to torture her. <laughs> I kind of like that, sister, on top of that. Because that's do too. what that I is do supposed too. to look like. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to leave that that way. Now, if you guys ever go on and look at some of the junk journals that people actually make, and they call it a junk journal because it's used repurposed things is what they um, is what they uh, use like envelopes like what I'm using right now <laughs> and repurposed paper she wanted you to do the journal so she could diamond I think so because so far she's bringing me all the stuff she hasn't made um, mm -hmm. as soon as I'm done with this... actually what it is, is it's paybacks or a bitch because I, uh, I used to spend all the years. I was the one doing the big time crafting and Wendy was being the big time out of the house person working. She didn't have time to craft because she was working. She was out of the house. Well, I got her now. Yeah. It's, it's like, ha, you're stuck. Stuck here. Now so, you got to craft like the rest of us. Securing a place to but, live. Yeah. So as soon as I'm done with this, which will be tonight, I will move on and make um, Judy's, um, the one, you know, the purple, the lavender that Judy spoke for already. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Judy. It's just flat, or Dee Dee, just flat threw me under the bus right there with that little comment. So let me ask you something. Look at the screen. What? Would it be okay if something pulled from this side? Yeah. Rather than, okay, because that side's open mm -hmm. all the red. But I got to run, grab me a different hole punch. I'll be right back. Wendy has all of the crafty toys these days. She does, she does. You're not sorry, Dee Dee. You know you're not. Not sorry a bit. So that's where you can say I'm not sorry, just like we do. <laughs> it used to be difficult to get Wendy to do crafty things. She would start something crafty, but then never had a chance to finish it. And it wasn't that she didn't want to finish it she just never had a chance to finish it so the the sheriff's department is there and the state finally and the state cops are there too the street is nice full. it's full of police and uh i bet you somebody called the cops on the neighbors for fighting you know what i i can tell you this when they pulled up last night that one waved great bag at me. I didn't wave mm -hmm. at him. I just turned around because I thought, you know what? I don't want nothing to do with your drama bullshit. <laughs> I don't. Stay in your yard and stay away. What happened? Oh, my gosh, Nancy. It's bad. Bad, bad. The neighbors lost their kid at 4 o'clock in the morning. When they found the child, it had the skin literally burned off his face, Nancy, where um, 
they had a camp stove in the house in their trailer where they were using gas to cook on on a camp stove and the child pulled something greasy off and it went down the whole side of his face his skin gone anyways so evidently county gave the kid back because they have the kid but now those two are out there fighting and I seen them fighting I mean standing up there fighting I just that's why I didn't take um, weenie out so hopefully they take that and go away now I mm -hmm. just I don't want to see it I don't <laughs> want nothing to do with it <laughs> what sister what Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye is sorry is serious. You know what? Uh, you know it's like the other neighbors that lived over there in the house. I watched that guy kick the shit out of that woman. I mean, punch her in the face like you would a man. Mm -hmm. And when when the cops got there, she just started, "Oh, don't take him." And yeah, that only happened one time. One little, time only. Those little kids came to the house. Please help my mom. Okay, I called the cops. What else do you want me to do? I'm not going to go over and fight with him. And every weekend thereafter, she'd let him back in, and they were fighting. That's why I don't go outside. I don't want to see it, and don't involve me in it. Remember you when I... he drove the vehicle through the front of the house? Yeah, that guy did. He he did. He put his vehicle right, and we were streaming. I don't know if anybody remembers that. But, yeah, uh -huh. I just, whatever. You want to fight? Go in the house. I don't want to see it. And now you've trapped me in my house. I just, I don't care to see it. I don't want involved in it. I don't care. If I cared the first time, you want that, you want it back, you take it back, that's fine. But I don't want to see it. Leave me out of it. And I think Yes, it's this man and this woman are physically fighting. Yeah, they were like, he was chasing her, she was chasing him. Why don't you just stand still and exchange punches and be done with it? Shut up and go to bed, because they fight all night long, too. I want to go out there, and, and but no, I don't. I'm just, I'm going to stay in my yard, and if it comes in my yard, I'll bite its head off. Other than that, leave me out of it. I don't want to see it, nor do I care. All right, Ozzy, calm down. Oh, I, I I'm not upset. I, I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. I was. It was more. That was more of a joke, sister. You know, Ozzy think... Osbourne. You said you were gonna bite its head off. <laughs> oh, the little rat. <laughs> no, it was supposed to have been a bat. Oh, a bat. Yeah. Or something. Don't you remember? You know, Ozzy. You know, I remember way back when there. that video came out on MTV, and mom, mm -hmm. mom got mad because James was watching that. Now mom watches MTV. I can't believe that. I know so, it. you know what? No more do we waste time on colored envelopes, especially this ugly green one. That's true, Donna. Yeah. Yep, it is true. And it's, it's, it, it is all very sad. That's why I'm not, well, I am still nosy. If you guys noticed, I came back with information but <laughs> how can you not see that there's the street? Is well, cold? that's the part. That's the part that is is the sad part is that even try as one might to keep your nose to yourself, you you just almost can't because they're out in their own yard screaming and ranting and making enough noise that you even over the sound of your own television being on, you can still hear them. Mm -hmm. There's no getting away from it well, because they're making that kind of noise. Say Elizabeth freaking barked and growled all night because she could hear it. And I had to turn the TV up really loud. But, hey, Tammy Lantis is here. Hi, Tammy. What you been doing, girl, in your car? I'm out getting speeding tickets. Mm -hmm. Tempting, tempting <laughs> faith. It's, it's a game. She goes out to see... How many times she can get away with what she's doing. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Yes, hello, Tammy. What are you doing, girl? Did you bring me a glass of wine? Well, that's true. And Susan Yanni 
Pete's neighbor is blasting his music. I'm sorry. Your your neighbors must be connected to mine because every time mine do something, your neighbors blast their music. Amazing. It's rude what neighbors. What are you all about? What are we chatting about? Just the neighbors mm. are fighting. They're, they have Kennewick's finest over there helping them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I would be embarrassed if I had the police in my yard all the time. Yep. Love you too, Nancy Lou. Where's she going? Don't you leave. Don't you even leave. You started this. You asked me what happened. Now you're wanting to leave. Mm -mm. Nancy. Nancy. Bye, Nance. Enjoy your you time. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> Tell Tawny we love her. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, No, I had enough wine tonight. Very nice, girl. So you're tanked up, geared up. Are you dressed up and ready to go out? Shake that thing all over. Okay, so let's see. Show them what mama gave you. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> really? I'm just That teasing. was fabulous. Well, it is true. Who else gave it to you? Your daddy? Uh -huh. I don't think so. Your mama gave it to you. Okay, I'm liking the way that looks. And we're going to slap this little sum sum. But I don't think it should be words on top of words. If I could find my little beetle bug, I would put my beetle bug right there. But I can't find it. I have a mess. I have a mess. Okay. Okay, I'm going to look one more time. What do we have? Checking around, seeing so if I, you can find it. Yes, so I looked over yonder onto the dresser. I really like this little beetle bug, but we'd have to cut half of him off. Thank you. Got my PJs on, and my honey is going. Oh, that's right. Her honey. They, they, mm -hmm. like, they like to play this mysterious. Who's calling? Oh, you caught me in my pajamas on a video call. That's what they do. Mm. That's how they keep the love alive. They play Who's Calling? <laughs> Jesus. That's how you do it, folks. Yep. Right here, as seen mm -hmm. on, as always, it's me, Wendy. How to keep the love alive. Play strangers. When you answer the phone, wearing only a smile. Um. Oh, oh, I just gave and you myself. you suddenly realize it was a... <laughs> It was a prank call. <laughs> I just gave myself a cramp leaning over like that. <laughs> Shoot. Ow. I cannot find what I, where in the hell is it? I'm going to start, I'm going to accuse some people. Who got in here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It I was know. James. It's Peekaboo. Oh, there he is. Peekaboo James is here. Peekaboo you who? Hello. What'd you do with my pictures? Like, he's like, I didn't do nothing. Damn it. I didn't take your pictures. Oh, you know Don't what? Don't know where your pictures are. Look at this. <gasps> Look at. Did you find it? No, I'm going to use that piece of ephemera there. What do you think? Oh, okay. That works. It's, it's sized Ooh, yeah. down. Everything rhymes. Look at that. Oh, I mm -hmm. just love it. Okay, James, what have you been doing? We're over here talking about video cameras, Yarrow. What else? The neighbors. Your yin and yang. Not yours specifically, <laughs> unless you choose it to be. But, I mean, yes. you know, just, just the yin and yang of everything. If your yin needs a yang, if it does, get some Yarrow. Can't hear Every yin at the racetrack. Every requires a yang. Oh, he's at the racetrack. Okay, you guys. It's oh. all on. Say whatever you want. I'm just teasing. He can't hear us. Shit. God dang Oops. it. 911. I have a 
crafting emergency. No, I made it through. It's okay, people. Calm down. Shit. Mm -hmm. You know what? I don't like this tape. Mel said she'd be on here in about 20 minutes. Okay. She said she had to, they must have bought a lot. She said she had to put the groceries away from Costco. Ooh, I wonder if she got any of that. Uh, I just love that cinnamon bread. What's that called? The strudel mm. bread. Mama loves that strudel bread from Costco. Mm -hmm. It's the best. That could be some distinct possibility. It's very, very sucky. And sucky means good in our house. It's not a bad thing. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Sucky is just like, that's one of those delicious make your eyes roll up in your head kind of things. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's a good thing. Tammy wants to know what you're making. I am making a mess. Oh, I'm just teasing. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm making for this journal. We're just making some extra. Uh, it's like little pockets and stuff. So don't judge me. This I have been talking. And as you know, when I talk, things don't go well. But this is just an extra little to put. It has uh, pockets in it. Right here. There's pockets. Oops. More places to write. There's pocket here, pocket here, pocket, and so I'm I'm gonna take this over here just to kind of break this up a little bit, and I'm gonna stick a flip right here with a pocket. Imagine that, and it'll open this way. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, that was me, you guys. I told James hi. That's not mouse. That was me. It was me. Um, I don't think yes. Mouse is in here yet. No, that was me. I'm Not the yet. one that said, hi, James. Happy Easter. Because he wrote on there that he is... couldn't hear anything. Exactly. And you know what I think I will do, sister, is I'll move that over and we can actually make that a tuck also. <gasps> Imagine Okay. That. Yes. So he must be uh, really taking this racing stuff pretty, pretty serious because he's still at the racetrack. He's just a busy body. He is. Doing the thing. But that's okay. It's a Saturday. Exactly. Just do it. So you know what? Because I do have... Um, there's 50 pieces of ephemera, so, yeah, and so rather than shove them all in, like, let's see if that works. So, look, sister, to make a tuck. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that nice. actually, I like that. Yep, but yet there's a pocket there. There we go. Who's texting us? He's texting us. Oh, it's James. Oh, very nice. I'm not allowed to show like I did the other night. I'm not allowed to show the cars. I don't know why. Just not. Very nice. Very, very nice. We'll look at that after a while. We're crafting. Um, for those of you jumping in and out of the stream, if you are looking for Elizabeth Sage or Mr. Weenie, um, as always, it's me, Wendy. I'm their mom. I will be live with them again on Monday at 10 a.m. when we will resume our regular posting schedule. Hopefully we don't have the wind knock anything out. And now Mr. Weenie is telling mommy, I really got, I'm going to have to take him. I just hope, <laughs> I'm thinking of, I'm going to grab a leash and take him out the back door so I don't have to deal, I just don't want them coming over and saying, did you see anything? Yep. I'm going to have to say, no, I don't want involved. Good night, Eddie. Happy uh, mm -hmm. happy Easter. And we will see you. Oh, he's got company. We will see you later. Nice. So look at this, guys, what we made. 
He said, okay, my friends, I hate to leave good company, meaning all oh. of us, we're all good company. Oh, sorry. Like, Thank I've... you, Eddie. So we have That's a, right. a pocket, look, sister, pocket. and Wendy a... was reading on the fly. And a um, tuck. What do you think nice. of that? Good job, sister. So, and then when, when we flip it up, I think I'm going to make a tuck right here. So okay. I'll be right back. I have to take the weenie to go potty. Um, I'm going to grab a leash and take him out the back door because I don't want to look at those people. I'll be right back. Okay. All righty. You know, far be it from us to get in the way of the big wiener dog taking a pee. Because when you got to go, you got to go. And when he says I need out, he means right now. He's such a good boy. Okay. Is anybody else crafting or doing anything wonderfully fun or just watching us do? Nobody? Anybody? Nobody? We're just hanging out. Ooh, Sandra, what was for dinner? Supper. Dinner. Nice. Is it the Charlton Heston Ten Commandments? That one's my favorite. I don't know why anybody ever thought they could remake that movie. It's like, what's the matter with you people? That is just, it's virtually impossible. It just, it's Charlton Heston. It just has to be. <laughs> Being crafty, diamond painting, watching videos, and watching the Ten Commandments. What more could a body ask for on a Saturday evening? Nice. Baked fish, mac and cheese, and pickled beets. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. You know, I could just eat pickled beets just cold. Right out of the container. I'm a little weird like that. Yes, yes, she is. All those ladies from back then, just absolutely gorgeous. So incredibly ladylike.
24 pints of pickled beets. Nice. Are you there, sister? Uh huh. What are you doing? Um, was sitting here thinking to myself that uh, let's see, D made twenty four pints of pickled beets last fall, <laughs> and who did? Uh, let's see, D. Who's D? And Duncan D. Oh, Duncan D. And, Sorry. Yeah, and Susan Gernigan's eating ribs, and let's see. Oh, I could open I could open a jar and eat the whole thing. I certainly could. I love pickled beets. Oh, just regular beets too. I I don't mind. I don't even need them warmed up or anything. I just eat them right out of the container. Oh, I love pickled <laughs> beets. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Pickled no, beets. No, Sandra said she was eating supper and I was like, All right, what everybody having? What are we having? Ooh, what us eating? So what us gonna eat? Yes. Um, God, I have, <laughs> I should have sat down and cleaned this mess up a little bit. I, when I was done last night, I just got up and went to bed. I didn't, I just shut the light off and walked away. Because usually when I start cleaning my desk up, I'll sit down and I'll start looking at what I just did again. And then. Oh, Sandra. What? Mm. Rib, ribeye. Oh my Shh. God. Don't tell. Shame on you for saying like making that. my mouth water. <laughs> I know it. Shame up on your hide. Look at this. This little petal pocket could hide back here, sister. What do you think? Or do you think it would be too much? No, I like it. I love those little pockets. They're just they just amazing. Just as and of themselves, you know? I'm not doing anything. I'm just so glad you are here. Well, thank you. We're glad you're here to keep us company, too, Why we waste our time crafting. Is it wasting time when you're crafting? No. What's the matter with you? I keep telling you that. <laughs> it's been years and years of telling you that it is not wasted time. Wasted time is standing around day after day after day saying, I wish I could. You know, and it's right there. It's right in front of you. Well, I wish I'd start that. I wish I'd start. It's like, stop saying it. Just go do it. Do it. Shut go do it. It is not wasted time. Because if it's something that makes you relaxed and happy, do it. Now, if that involves, like, mmm say injuring somebody who's being obnoxious but it would give you satisfaction to still do it yeah resist the urge just don't do that because the, the pleasure is not worth the misery that comes after that like when somebody decides that <laughs> you probably shouldn't have done that yeah that's just just that yeah don't do that <laughs> don't mind me that was that was just a haha. -ha. See, Dee Dee said, if you want to do it, then it's not wasting time. Well, I really don't have anybody other than mom to have to please. So, um, no, I'm not wasting time. And yes, it's a way of spending time, us all spending time together. Um, I would love to, to host a Zoom where, you know, if you want to come in and we can hear you guys talk too. That would be that would be fun. Gonna make homemade lotions this summer and what is that? T I can't see it, sister. Something floral. Uh, and tinctures, floral scents. What's a tincture? Um, you know. Okay, I just literally stuttered for a second there. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Ouch. 
I gotta find something to. What is that, Duncan? Because I have no idea what it is. I have to be careful when I say things like that because, you know, I have these tattoos and they make some people upset when I say things like that. Urges? I thought you were gonna say you have urges. Yeah. No. She, she has urges, people. <laughs> no. You know, potions. Oh, because you're a witch? Oh, she... She's not a supposed witch. to tell people that. She's a witch, people. I get in trouble. I don't want to be burned at the stake again. No. Um. <laughs> oh, guys, to burn the witch <laughs> is to believe in magic, uh, so it's okay. No, it's, it's to burn the witch is to believe that magic exists, and there are people who don't like to believe that. But yet, they say, mm -hmm. make a wish and blow out the candle. But, it's your soul. Yeah. You believe in what you want. If you want to believe yeah. in magic, believe in it. Just don't. don't. It's okay. All right. Don't. Let's see. No. Um. Doctors way back in the day used to say, "Here's a little tincture," you know. But um. They uh. It's like if you're gonna make a. Um, like he or all of that sort of thing. And I like that D says put dried flowers in alcohol. Yes. But there's all kinds of, like for medicine and stuff, they used to make a tincture. Huh. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I, but yeah. I get it. <clears throat> Got it. <laughs> I'm thinking about, and I think I am going to slide that pocket, that pedal pocket in there. I'm just looking through this ephemera. There really isn't anything else. What kind of alcohol? Like isopropyl. Oh. Why not just alcohol. say rubbing, rubbing alcohol? Because there's a difference. Rubbing alcohol and isopropyl Shh. alcohol are not the same thing. They are not. Well, some bitch. As seen on, yeah. as always, it's me, Wendy. <laughs> um, mm. But no, that is a fact. Isopropyl and rubbing alcohol are not the same thing. <laughs> They're just huh. not. I'll be damned. I, well, yeah. I don't know. How can you remember shit like that, but you can't remember what I told you a couple days ago? I'll uh, never understand that. Because I have a head injury. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have sorry. a head injury. It was, the perfect, it was the perfect timing to actually say that. Yes, I even have this big stupid bruise to prove it. Oh, that's right. I just re I just realized when I was at the doctor's office and he was like, you know, the like listening to your heart and what the way he was standing when I said it, I said it to Marcus. I was like, was I just mistaken the fact that he just kept like eyeballing my forehead? And Mark's like, nope, he was eyeballing your forehead. <laughs> but that was funny. But he did everything. Uh, he did everything like twice. As he's looking at my head and then listening to my heart. <laughs> but just the fact that he was standing there. And I could tell he was trying not to be rude. And eyeball my forehead. But <laughs> just the way that he did it. Well. Because he glanced and then he looked down really fast. And then he glanced again. He looked down real fast. <laughs> I don't think he wanted to be rude. But yeah. <sighs> that, yeah. But for instance, you rake the flowers of the mullen plant and put it in olive oil, and it's good for earaches. That's neat. Uh -huh. That's really that's really neat, Duncan. Um, <clears throat> I think that would be neat to live that way. But it also sounds very time-consuming. 
as I sit here and waste my time with paper and score tape. <laughs> so I think, sister, I am going to make a double pocket out of this as well. And this is just going to be a strange little book. I can't okay. Huh? I said, okay. I can't wait for Mouse to make her. Jur I, I wish I could get her to make a junk journal. Because that thing was amazing. So look at this. This is a pedal pocket here. But wait for it as... As we fold this sucker back up without ripping it. Rip it. Wait. <laughs> we want it this way. Wait for it. But, oh. It's like folding a box. Get in there. There it is. But see, look at here. We also have a tuck here. And we have a tuck here. Look at that. Did he look at your scabby knees? Yes, she is scabby knees walking scar. That is Gigi's oh, yeah. name. Yeah. Um, you know the funny thing is, is that particular doctor does know that I'm a heck of a klutz, but uh, he <laughs> he wasn't quite sure because the the bruise is sort of faded, but it's still there, and I got a big old goose egg still, but. I didn't say anything when I when he first walked in other than, you know, how you doing, basically. And then he kind of just glanced at me because usually when he walks in the room, Wendy knows, he walks in the room, he's always looking down at the file that he's got in his hand when he comes walking in. So he just kind of glanced up and he just glanced at me really quick. And because we're close enough sitting there, you can't miss this big old goose egg on my forehead. And he kind of... <laughs> It's like he looked, but then he tried really hard not to, like, stare, so he looked right back down again at his paper, but, yeah. It was just comical. Because you could tell he wanted to, you could tell he wanted to look, but he wasn't being, he didn't want to be rude either, so, yeah. <laughs> Marcus just thought it was funny. Nice. Did you mute yourself or something? No, my I was oh. plugging my headset in. Do you like on top or under, sister? Um, you know, I kind of like the little the van on top of the Eiffel Tower. Like that. It, probably yeah. Sandra, that's what I was thinking this that the the um the nurse has already ratted you out that Marcus has been beating you. Oh, well, maybe. Trying to be polit No, this doctor doesn't care if he's politi politically correct. I I was going to say the same thing. He no. doesn't. He's uh he's kind of He doesn't mind telling you that he is not everybody's cup of tea. He is strange, but I will tell mm -hmm. you he the man is good at what he does and I respect him for that because when you go in there, he doesn't talk about himself. He, it's not that he doesn't give a shit what is going on in your life, but is, he's. If anybody, if anybody's ever watched uh, the Adams Family, he's and all seen business. Wednesday, Wednesday, the daughter from the Adams Family, she's so stoic and has absolutely no sense of humor whatsoever. Yeah, that's and if she does, doctor. it's only her. That's that's him, and it's not like he's very dark like that. He just literally he doesn't care about being politically correct or being anything. He's just very much it's what he does. He's not there to make anybody happy. He's there to do his job he's and a, do it properly. He's and, actually a top surgeon in this in this state. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Not that he he doesn't hold a conversation, because when our oldest sister passed away, he was our oldest sister's heart doctor. That doctor actually called mom and had a long conversation with her. He didn't have to, but he did. 
Mm -hmm. And he was, he's very, very compassionate man, but just only at the, you know, the given time. And he was good to our sister. He was, he was the one, one of the ones that worked on her and they just didn't get her back. Yep. But he is, yeah. He's just very stoic. He's just very stoic. Say it again. And I said he's very stoic. And what absolutely cracks me up is I have to tell you, I do try really, really hard to get him to laugh. And I've got him to snicker a couple of times over the years. But, uh, yeah. I reminded him the other day of when I came in to see him once. And he had his own little freaking goose egg. And he told me about the dog. Uh, yeah, that had was... The, some about walking this big dog on a leash mm -hmm. and the dog uh, ran around the side of the hot tub and um, tripped him, tripped him with the leash and he hit his, hit his face on the side of the hot tub. <laughs> and I was like, oh, dog gone it. I said, that had to hurt. And he looked at me and he says, it did. And that was his idea of he kind of chuckled and ha ha a little bit about the fact that the dog knocked him down. Should have told him, and, oh, slow uh, down there, Trigger. You're having way too much fun. <laughs> Calm down. Yep. yep. No, he's a nice guy. Was, he is, but he just, the man is, uh, it's like he said, it's not everybody's cup of tea. And I remember telling him, not everybody likes tea. <laughs> Some people like coffee. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Once in a while, you just make him smile, and that's about all you ever get. But it's all right good at what he does sometimes I don't like going to doctors that like my family physician our general our PT or whatever he'll yeah. say so so how have you been and it's like obviously not good because I'm sitting here can we just get this done I want I have shit to do <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad talking to him that way but it's like Dude, I didn't come in here to hear your woes and my woes mixed together. Can we just get this done? I've got mm -hmm. puppies at home and need to... Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. I was thinking I put that on the wrong side. It's like, oops. Yeah, he is a good doctor. He's a very good doctor. Dr. Zorowski. Try him out if you come to the Tri-Cities. And let him know that you heard it on, as always, it's me, Wendy. No. <laughs> just, uh, just. Someday, you guys, I'm going to get to do a professional thing. No, okay. it's that one when you sound like you're announcing the horse races or something. Oh, or you're going to, like, all of a sudden start calling at an auction or whatever. I would love to be an announcer for, like, a fight. And in this corner, he's big. He's blonde. And he's blind, so he's going to get his ass kicked. It's so-and-so. And then in this corner, <laughs> yep. he just pissed his pants because he thinks he's big. But he doesn't know he's blind. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? I would love Two to Two blind be. guys fighting? That's, uh, <laughs> <just> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, wouldn't that be fun? It'd be funny. It would be funny. It'd be perfect, actually. Which I one know. are you going to bet on? It's like, I don't know, maybe the blind guy. And in the lime green shorts, you can't see it, but the man has crapped his pants. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Stop <laughs> it. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, I feel better now. Uh I don't feel so bad. I'm sorry. I'm giggly. It's because I have low blood sugar, people. Remember on Bad Santa when he's like, oh, Willie has bl low blood sugar. <laughs> yeah. You just can't help it. I just get a little <laughs> giggly sometimes. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bored with what I'm doing right here. It's because I don't know. I, I don't have a heading. I don't know where I'm going with this. And I can't, you, you know, can't get left. Is that what it is? No, it's because it, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I made this. I made that. Now I got to get the rest of the shit in this book. And, and I'm remembering what that lady said that 
you know you're making a true junk journal when you just keep making little shit and things to stuff here and stuff there. But that's the fun part of a junk journal because when you're going through it, I mean, look, so if you guys came across this, this, just this pocket and it's right here, right? So just this mm -hmm. pocket has four things going on with it. And I'm going to scream at my downstairs neighbor. Well, I'm sorry. Order a pizza for them. Maybe they'll sit down and shut up. So we have no, a, a jump, up and, jump up and down on the floor. So look, we have a tuck spot here and you can tuck it here or you could tuck it here like this. Then plus we have a pocket. So whoever's looking at this. Okay, so now you can pull here, pull here. There's there's what four th two things going on. Then when you tip this up, there's a pedal pocket here. But not only is there a pedal pocket there, you also have a pocket here. And I remember that lady mm -hmm. saying that that's what makes a true junk journal is like little pockets and places to slide stuff. Plus, you can put stuff inside this little pedal pocket like that. Little girl, little girl. <laughs> everywhere. everywhere, right? She's got like pockets everywhere. And breathe them. <laughs> Don't sing that. We'll violate the strain. No. So. Okay, Susan Yanni, you need a baseball bat. And what you do with the baseball bat is you hold the bat with the part that you would normally hit the ball with facing the floor and go to wherever it is they're loudest. And on your apartment floor, bang the bat on the floor. Bam, bang. bam, 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 bam. And I would bang that bat on the floor until they turn their music off. No, I'd And if wait. they don't turn their music off, I'd wait until it's really, really quiet and they're not making noise. And then I would go bang that bat on the floor. Oh, and then yeah. when they want to bitch about the fact that you're banging that bat on the floor and making noise, tell them, now you know how I fucking feel. Ooh. Yes, and I said the F-bomb. Don't Ooh. say that. Yeah. Tomorrow is Sorry. Easter. Well, it's, tomorrow's Easter. It's today's Saturday before, so I'm good. Don't. But that being said, I would tell them, if you don't want to hear this bat when you need some quiet, I would like to not hear your music. And it's like, fine, play the music, but can you freaking turn it down? Exactly. Because now you're just being rude. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So I don't think I'm going to put anything here. There I, I, there needs to be something. We need some of this, Toad. <laughs> boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, uh. I know what? We should put some paper here. What do you think? And I thought about making a smaller journal to go in here. Yes, 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 yes. Why not? Don't you think there should that be cute some... little that cute little thing that you made would fit in there, wouldn't it? That one. If I could find it, this. This actually yeah. goes in here, like so. Or actually, we'll put it in this one because it'll fits better. See, ta da. Yeah. Dink. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good job. So there is something in there. See, there it's hiding. Ta-da. There it is. It's gone. It's out. It's in. No, I'm just teasing. Um, and then there's stuff that can go in here. Um, see this paper right here? I was thinking about cutting some of that and sticking it here. What do you think? Or yeah. maybe there needs to be another flap that covers over this. Let me grab another envelope and we'll let's manufacture something here. Um, oh, you know what? I actually have black cardstock. All I got to do is make a, yeah, hang on a second. Instead of messing, I still cannot find that thing that I cut out and I'm about to scream this actually will work just perfect look at this <gasps> yes 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 
so it just needs a hinge glued on it. What do you think? Mm-hmm. And then, so we have that, that, and I was also thinking, even though that's the, so I want to pull this out while I'm working on it. I saw mooses in sight and sound. Moses. Oh, sorry. Mooses. I am so sorry. It's Moses. Pardon me. I did not mean to say that. I just looked up and I was reading what I saw. Um, I like it when they all look up and say, It's Moses. You know, when he comes out in the the beginning, mm -hmm. like after he's an adult. Moses? Yep. Yes. I was hoping Mouse would come on here. Did she text me? Yep. Oh. I didn't hear your phone making any noises. No, she didn't, and I'm glad you said that because I forgot to mute my phone. Um, God, I'm thinking so hard on this. It makes me tired. Um, we need a different, let me see. You know what? That would work. I'm thinking way too hard. You can tell. No, I'm just, I'm wondering how to, I wish, you know what I might have to do is slice that open and make that a pocket. That's what I'm going to do. It has to be done. So then I can hide something. And, oh, I found it. It's right here. Oh man. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do? No, no, I wasn't. No, I will cover this. Not with black. It's the cardstock that I'm, I'll put paper over it. I won't, no, I won't put just black on that. That's, no, what's wrong with you? No. No, no. Nope, I was just measuring. But we got to go like this real quick. And we're going to open this up so I can slide something inside there. And wait for it. It's going to happen right now. Oh. Wow. I need a new there. Okay. What'd you do? Nothing. Just, yeah. Oh. Nothing, okay. nothing. Okay. So now we have a. Oh my and God. I forgot my... that was all yellow, all green in there. I'm Ooh. using my cute little Easter gnome. It says Happy Easter on it. Mm. He's cute. He is cute, sister. So I want it to go this way. Sager, it's okay, baby. Sage is high. I can tell it. Shit. I was going to say I forgot what color I was doing. Mm. <clears throat> Where is it? It's right here. Oops, I went the wrong way. We got to go this way. crack myself up. It's like, which direction is it I needed to go to line us back up here? This image right here is weird. It's, I think that's what's throwing me off. Why is and that? I don't know. It's just, it's so stark white. Mm -hmm. 
see, I want to put one more under here like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to work on that before we come over here. Um, I think it just needs to fold out one more time because okay. it it'll set right here inside this. Right here. Ta-da. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. My eyes itch. And I think it's from being outside in the in that. <laughs> oh well, that. Oh. That. I know. <laughs> I love it <laughs> when she says that. Oh. God, this paper throws me off because it's upside down no matter how you hold it. It's weird. Thank you, Dee Dee. Well, that's kind of what it's like doing this, trying to move this one direction or the other, because sometimes it's like, um, I can move it to the right and it actually goes to the right. And other times I move it to the right and on the screen it goes left. And it's like, oh, I can't believe I just did that, you know? It's like it can't make up its mind which direction we're going. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll do. Instead of, I'll put one there and then I'll hang one. Here's Mouse is calling. Needed a Tylenol. Mm. No Mad Mouse tonight. <sighs> oh. Yeah, she's... They're busy, busy, busy bees. It's probably what the rest of the summer is going to look like. Mm -hmm. I got to do something right there. What the hell am I going to do? That's going to bother me. So I got to dig in what envelopes. I don't have very many envelopes. I've got these uh, greeting card envelopes. <laughs> well, you could use one of those. Well, it's not not? A, then it's not a true... I can't use it. I can't send it to that lady. Because, see, that's what I really? wanted to... Yeah. That you lady... know what makes it a junk mail? What? Is the fact that the actual greeting cards are no longer part of the set with the envelope. <laughs> oh. I well, use the greeting cards for something else. Oh, good job. Susan made a complaint. Good night, Mouse. I love you. My hubby just gave me one of my peanut clusters. Oh, nice. Oh. Nicey, nice. But I don't know that I want them all just to lay that way. I was thinking, I wish I had a really long envelope. Because then I would make the flips all right here. Night, Mouse. Love okay. you. I'm going to have to move. Okay, hang on. We got to move some furniture in this room. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do it. But I got to do it. I got to do it so I can get in here. Oh. <sighs> envelope. Oh, ta-da! <laughs> I didn't want to have to reach in there, but I made it. Okay, here we go, guys. Look, we got two. I only grabbed two. You'd think I'd have grabbed more. Made my arm hurt to move that. Such a baby. Such a boob. Okay. I need somebody to just, like... I don't know, to help move shit, live in the house. Um, it's like, here, just pick this up and put it over there for a second. Yeah, can you, can you, can you help a sister out? You know, see what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> now put okay. it back. So look at sister, this is what I'm thinking. 
is to make, I can get one, two, and then three in there, cascade folds. Yes. But we need some different paper because I Definitely. Do it. Okay, so give me one second. I got to find some different paper. I don't, that, that paper is very busy. I don't know what possessed me to use it other than the fact I was being lazy. I thought, you know what, I can use up my extra paper. And um, it, sister. Are you there, Toad? Oh, okay, so we keep dropping the video. Toad. Are you there, Toady? Yes, I'm oh, right here. No, we keep dropping the um the video. We dropped it. I but, saw that. but we're back. We made it. Everybody survived. We missing and anybody? We're back. And we're back. And I should have said, if I'd have known it was going to be drop, I just said, after these messages, I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like my neighbors have either gone in and gone to bed, or one has gone to the pokey. I think I'm going to have a Pepsi to celebrate that. Are you there? Mm-hmm. Okay, you just know every five minutes I'm going to ask, are you still there? And I think our mommy went, I heard mom shut the TV off, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So we're not sure what went on, but it got a little weird for about a minute there, but it's back. Yep. We're still here, still kicking. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Back to Gigi now. fickle every now and then can't decide if she wants it to be hot or cold or what it is that it's going to be and once she makes up her mind we'll you know we'll go with summer and until then we just kind of mess around with whatever it is that is going on because she can't make up her mind what the weather's going to be So we're just kind of winging it with what we got going on. All right, I'm back. Okay. We kind of bounced out again. Wind's starting to blow. 
I was going to say, did the wind come back up? Mm-hmm. Um. You're umming me. What are we umming? It's just because um, I'm, I'm thinking. That's all. No, that's all right. Um. Getting it figured out. Mom's... One little piece of junk mail at a time. Yeah, sorry. That is not a song. <laughs> I love it. Sing to me, sister. No. Why? You get in trouble for singing. I love when somebody sings to me. I don't even care if you can carry a tune <laughs> in a bucket. Was like, uh, yeah. You know, when somebody will sing to you just because they love you, it doesn't matter if they can carry a tune in a bucket. I would love hey, for you please to sing hold. to me. Sorry. Give me one second, savages. I'm looking for something to print here. Um, pages. And I'm eating a piece of candy. This is usually what I do before we get online. I go through and I get everything ready. And tonight, I'm, I'm not prepared. Okay, I had to plug my headset back in. It died. I'm sorry. I was over here talking to myself again. Um, I'm looking for something. Kind of stuck myself with those flowers right there. Um, I want out of here. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, I'm lost in my computer. That's wrong. Nope, not that. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is it. Okay, sorry. You're okay. All right. Just over there thinking. The man is son. on his way home, finally. Your man or just some man? <laughs> Uh, well, okay, I don't know. He's mine, but, you know, maybe we're loaning him off to the neighborhood or something. Who knows? I doubt that. If he doesn't behave himself, I'll farm him out to the neighborhood. No. <laughs> no. Funny tone. We all know better than that. He wouldn't know what to do. Mm-mm. He tell him, okay, what do you need done? I'll fix it, and then I need to go home. But yeah. He's Helpy Helperton, you know that. I um <laughs> I bought some vintage ephemera. And I'll Did be you? damned if I can find it. Oh, like you're talking like actual real vintage ephemera, or are we talking vintage ephemera you can Dig it. It's digital. Oh, I see. And I'm nice. shoving whoppers in my mouth. <gasps> mm -hmm. 
been full. You know, those are pretty good, but they're not actual Whoppers. They may, they're they good malted milk balls, but they're not an actual Whopper. And how do you know that? You know, sometimes, well, because, you know, if you think about it, sometimes you bite a Whopper and it's just crusty, dusty. Mm-hmm. So far, I haven't been into one of these that's a crusty, dusty. So my brain kind of went, it's not a real Whopper. Every now and then, you got to have that crusty, dusty thing that's like, it, it's just crusty. It doesn't taste like Whopper. Oh. You know, it's a little crunchy. But oh. yeah, that was a joke, though. I see. Marcus laughed at me when I told him that. I said, that's not real Whoppers. And he's like, why? I said, well, do you remember when you bite into a Whopper every now and then? It's like, it's just, you get crusty dust. And the look on his face was like, oh my God, you're right. <laughs> He's like, these ones are all really good. They're very fresh. And I was like, damn yeah. it. I'm going to, I'm going to scream. Just, I'm no sorry, screaming. you guys. Just give me just a second. I will find ephemera box. No. Uh. So look on your, uh. Exactly. See, she says it's true or it's empty. Who? <laughs> Sandra. Sandra. Yeah. I... Or, oops, unless we were talking about something else. Were you talking about something else, Sandra? She's talking about my heart. <laughs> uh -oh. Oops. Two sizes too small. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, you just left yourself wide open. I couldn't help it. I had to say it. Who? You, you said, you know, you said yet, you know. Sandra's talking about my heart. It's empty. <laughs> I, it's something. That's why I said it was like I couldn't help it. I couldn't resist it. It was two sizes, too small. You know, mm -hmm. the Grinch thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, she says Whoppers. <laughs> She's like Whoppers, Wendy. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, sometimes it literally, sometimes it's like you just bite into the dang thing and there's nothing there. It's crusty chocolate or something. They'll never or, know. That's what they're thinking. I know it. It's like, it's, I don't know. They're just sometimes there's just nothing to it. And these ones, every single one is like freaking perfect. Just this the right one's amount got of some chocolate, just enough little fluffy whatnot on the inside. The, it just, they're, there's nothing crusty about them at all. I told Marcus, I'm like, they're fake Whoppers. <laughs> <laughs> but that mm. was funny. She says, but that was funny, but true in your heart. And then she's like, not. <laughs> Sandra's like... I've been in Wendy's heart. It's a cold, lonely place. Run. <laughs> Two sizes too small. <laughs> I was kidding. Nothing was in its right spots. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to curse here in a minute. Okay. So open up your wherever you bought it from, your Etsy, and then whichever download it is, then you can see what it's called. That way you know where to find it. I have no In idea, your, uh, sister. You would shit if you've seen what I've bought lately. Were you messy? Or is there just too many to choose from? You haven't seen all of mine yet. I don't know what you're talking about. What's with the asking me if I'm messy? I, I didn't say you were messy. Who said you were messy? You did. Oh, no. Oh, I found it. I found it. Okay. okay. <laughs> found you. Let me scream it a little louder. I found it. Okay. For heaven's sakes. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Did you call it real ephemera? Is that what you called it? Or did you call it something different? I called it whatever they said. Oh. I don't really pay that much attention. I just save it. But I always save it to its, you know, you know. But I mm -hmm. just couldn't find it. And what I mean by... I couldn't find it is I couldn't freaking find it. Okay, so we need page one, two, <laughs> just two. Page one and two. Give me a sec. We don't want to print the whole oh. son bitch. Look and at the look at the comment. Was, look at the comment on the chat. Look. Hello, messy desk. 
Here I am. <laughs> yep. <Ta -da. laughs> exactly. That's it. Mm. Exactly. On. I gotta go put these waffles up. I've stuffed like six of those in my mouth. <sighs> Stop it. Here, look at her big bag. Look at... I know it. See? She's the Whopper Queen. I love them. But there's nothing dusty over here. My shit's full. Oh, that's <laughs> what I mean. I'm like, there's no... <laughs> damn it. They're... They're freaking good. I'll tell I could you one be in thing that makes too me... much trouble eating those. Is I bought some meat sticks... <laughs> and I bought Easy the, now. the sausage. <laughs> I wanted the meat sticks, but I ended up with sausages. The sausage sticks. See, see, we're back around to that whole thing again. I never realized you guys called that round meat. Oh, I round <laughs> meat? Yes, that's not what we yeah, called it. Yeah, but... when you said round meat, I'm like, pardon? <laughs> Round meat. I won't and say what we call it. took me a minute to figure out what the what we were. It was like, um, yeah, I missed out on that one somewhere. It's round meat, but yep. When Sarah was baby, before she could really even know what we were saying, we called it something else. But when Sissy learned to talk, <laughs> we couldn't call it horse cock anymore because <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> Sarah would say, Mambo, you want me to, you want me to cut the round meat? And can you imagine her saying that? Because I remember telling oh, Sissy, we yeah. can't call it that anymore. <laughs> 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 That's why we call it round meat. Mm-hmm. See, I wondered where that came from. And now, I know. Wendy has waffers, beef sticks, and sausage. What have you been doing, Wendy, without Sandra? No, I'm just <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> Tammy's like, wait, wait what? what? <laughs> yeah, you guys heard me say it. I can't say that word again. But that's what we uh, always called it. And it's a summer sausage. And my husband, my first husband, called it horse cock. He'd say, cut some of that up. And I'm like, I never questioned. I just did. And so mm -hmm. as Sarah Jane... Cindy's daughter, as she got older, we did not call it that because we didn't need her to say that word or even uh -huh. want to know why it's referred to a horse's dork. Yeah. That's why it's now. Oh, my known, Lord. That's um, why it's now known as round meat. What? When, when Zach was, when Zach was little and, you know. That friend of mine, her husband wanted, you know, jalapenos or something like that. He used to call them dog peckers. Oh. And I can't help it, but that has stuck after all these years. I, I, I catch myself. I don't say jalapeno. I say the other word. And it catches me off guard every single time because Marcus will look at me like, say what? And you're absolutely it, right, Sondra, because mom did live. Yeah. Mom lived with me and we never yep. talked like that in front of my mom. But <clears throat> I don't know why they called it that. I've just, it, it from, just the stuck. Moment, from the moment I met my husband, that's what that was known as. Because believe me, <laughs> the first time he's like, hey, put some of that in my um, omelet. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta realize I was, just, I was just a young girl, innocent, full of hope. The world hadn't got a hold of me yet, and then I hear those words. Can you imagine? You're like, what are we doing? <laughs> Needless to say, the innocence was I gone. Beg that your day. Beg your pardon. Mm. <laughs> I I'm wistful for that young girl again. Not really. I could not. You'd be slap her right in the <laughs> face. You know what? You'd, I'd you'd probably. Tell her, if I, you'd, <laughs> tell her, you'd tell her, shut up and sit down. I'd probably <laughs> go back and say, you 
flipping idiot. Who gives a shit <laughs> what a man wants? <laughs> Be lucky you're in my presence. That's what you get. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You're Isn't getting it? your wishes. So I'm not saying sit down. I'm not saying that you shouldn't whoever your mate <laughs> is, you should fawn, you know, you should take good care of him. However, I don't <laughs> no, we're not going there. We're not doing words to live by by as always it's me, Wendy. We're gonna stay sweet. You remember that <laughs> young and sweet, innocent, full of hope. Her ass was up where it was supposed to be, same as her boobies right up under her chin. That girl does not exist. <laughs> Sorry. But we're gonna act like that girl again. I had a nice butt and it was it was where it was supposed to be. Now it's just about mm, a little further down past Liverpool. So it's okay. It's still there. It's still where it's supposed to be. It I don't know jumps, what you're talking about. It just jumps up and down a little more when you walk. <laughs> <laughs> Two puppies racing in a gunny sack. But it's still there. You're full of hooey. I'm just teasing. Don't believe her. Don't believe her. It's not either. It's not okay. either. You know, I've just gotten to where I've it's lost. Still my, where it's supposed to be. I've lost my zest. That young, innocent girl. Memories. <laughs> okay, I won't do it. I'm sorry. Hey, cut it out. I'm going to slap you next. This is like, we'll just take turns. I'm going to smack you. You can smack me. It'll Boo all be good. It'll be fine. Boo on you. Shit. Yep. Disgrace on you. Disgrace on your cow. All of it. <laughs> yep. No, I love Whoppers, and I love to eat them when I get in bed. Stuff my mouth full and lay down. Lay there. We went to bed last night, and I told Marcus, I said, you know, because we turned the light Go off. Go get the Whoppers. He turns on, uh, no, he turned on, um, uh, what the hell were we watching? Uh, Blue Bloods. Turns oh, on Blue nice. Bloods. And I kind of leaned back and I fluffed the pillow up and he got, he climbed in bed and I said, I said, what the heck? And he says, what? And I said, I don't see a single Whopper anywhere. Mm. And I said, and there are no like Reese's peanut butter cups. There's no, no That's peanut butter. For no you better chocolate. get to moving. I told him, I said, there isn't any in this room. I said, what is wrong with this picture? Yeah. And he says, uh, I didn't know that you wanted any. Oh. And I said, well, duh. <laughs> he was bolting out of the bed and he comes in and he says, uh, he's got the bag of Whoppers and the bag of the, the, peanut butter Easter eggs, you know, the Reese's peanut butter Easter eggs. Oh, the I looked kiss. at him and then I was like, what the heck? Get that here. <laughs> you don't bring that in here. And he says, well, you just said you wanted some. I said, Whoppers. I lied. I, I said, I lied. And he goes, what do you mean you lied? And I said, I can't have chocolate before I go to bed. And he's like, since when? And I said, well, since we're trying to behave ourselves and watch our blood sugar. And he's like, oh, for Pete's sake, here. And he just threw both the bags at me. You wanted to be forced. <laughs> That's what it was. And you talk it about was. me wanting to spank somebody. You see it that? It was. He was just she like, wants here. To He's be like, forced. here, just take it. She wants to be forced with chocolate, but it's wrong for me to want to tie somebody up and spank them. What's wrong? <laughs> What's the di Tell me what the difference is. Well, there, there isn't any, but, you know, is, it sounded good. There it is a big good. difference. It sounded like, good, though, see? I want, I, I. Denial all the way around the board. I can, I can claim denial. It's a place in Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm not allowed to tie anybody up and do out no. my way, but she's allowed to have somebody force chocolate on her. Yep. Not fair. Yeah. I did have her. I was very good. I didn't eat any. I did not. I waited until in the morning. <laughs> Didi help spanking again. It's going to happen. And it could happen live one of these days. You never know. So don't ever miss a notification. It could just be me standing there in a dominatrix 
gunny sack yeah. with a gunny sack gunny over sack. my head. Yes. Mm. I don't want nobody. Just so to somebody see. can't see. It's about the time. So so you guys know it's like this. When you see, when you see somebody in a gunny sack, it is windy. So you know it's perfectly fine. We know that it's her. She's <laughs> going to be beating somebody. <laughs> You know what? There is no way I could be a submissive. About the first time somebody smacked me and made it hurt, I think mm, we'd, mm. we'd get up and just exchange a few blows. So I'd be like, oh, no, uh, how sexy am I now, you son of a bitch, when I got him in a headlock? <laughs> Not. Exactly. Not happening. <laughs> Pretty sexy, huh? No. Okay, this. <sighs> Why? Why did I cut the edge off that? It would have. Been... I don't know. I'm gonna. Scream. And that song will be playing in the background. I'm too sexy for my gunny sack while she's beating them stupid. Because yeah. No, I don't. No, yeah. I don't want to beat because I don't want them to go away. It has to be pleasurable, just a, just a bit. Every once in just a while. Just a little bit of a sting. Yes, every once in a while it just needs to sting a little bit. Whatever, sister. You should have been in that movie. What movie? What was it? Fifty Shades of Grey or whatever was, it is? That was stupid. I'm no, sorry, I'm talking I, like you get to be Christian. What's his face? I don't want to be a guy. I want to be a girl. No, I, nobody said you were a guy. I'm saying, but you get to be that part. We'll make it in the reverse thing, you know? You know, I and think... And you get to, you get was, to tell him, welcome to my red room and like oh. smack him a little just for fun. I don't want to do it in the red room. We're going to do it out in the public. Public. Oh, publicly. I see. We're killing two birds okay. with one stone. No, I'm just teasing. All right. You know, voyeurism. It sounded good anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm Lord. Just teasing. I'm just Lord. teasing. Lord. I have to say, Dee Dee, I, I kind of, I preferred reading the book to watching the movie because I got to tell you, about the time he smacked her on the rear end and she jumped I think I would have like exactly like what Wendy said. Nope, it would have come into exchange and blows because there's no way I'm gonna stand there and let somebody smack me like that. Mm -mm. Not gonna happen. Well, you know what? Maybe once, but I'd be like, okay, that's enough. You better find something else to do that's gonna make me happy because you are better <laughs> not smack me with that again. <laughs> you get to be creative right now. Use your brain go back to basics because if you smack me with that again it's hot <laughs> i'm sorry and we might even finish up the session with you spanking me but know that when you go to sleep it's it's gonna something's gonna happen and it, um, <laughs> you're not waking up with a dollar in your pocket no <laughs> just like get, all bets are off after you, that go you away get, you get to being creative and thinking about something else to make me happy real quick because <laughs> and money is not the trick <laughs> yep i couldn't do it i don't know i couldn't do it i could not <laughs> no but you could you could you could use your husband to bring you whoppers and uh, super glue what? oh my glue. you gotta think about it oh it's like my. you wait until they're asleep you know very oh. calm and asleep and you get the super glue and you put it on and you like make sure you hold it in place so that it stays where it needs to and then let them wake up. Well, that would imply you got to touch them. Like, well, see, they we have tongs. Yeah. Use the tongs. <laughs> Toss like you didn't salad. want to scratch them, you use the tongs. <laughs> Toss like salad, sister. <laughs> Use those tongs that have the silicone on them. That way you don't scratch anybody anywhere. <laughs> Damn it. Toss Sorry. Like, toss like salad, sister. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> you realize Marcus is going to come in here and go, what the hell are you snickering about? It's like nothing. <laughs> We're snickering about, um, like nothing. What is it? Um, nothing. <laughs> Super glue. Nothing. Super glue. Gorilla glue. I was talking about using gorilla glue because you know gorilla makes a super glue. 
It does. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do. Gorilla Glue makes a super glue. So do Apparently we wanna really well. Do we wanna leave that white? Hang on, girl I gotta look here. A second. Yes, girl talk. Or do I wanna put I think I will <laughs> leave it white. Maybe just the tiniest little bit of ink around the outside edge of the white. No, I am going to ink around this like I did this. No, I mean on the white itself. Oh, well, if you ink on your on ink the, on the ephemera piece, yeah. On this, yes. But I need to rip this just a little more so it's got a little more. This I got a Charlie horse in my toe. You know what? Ow. I've been I've been on the verge of a freaking cramp in my toe all day when I was mowing. I was like, oh, you know, I got to tell you, I like that that push behind one. Um, it uh, it didn't drag you through the yard by itself. If I had some roller skates on, all I'd have to do is just hold on to it and, and on. engage it. <laughs> it's like, boom. Yes, yes. I wish I had. I I need some paper. Da, da, da. Oh, you know what I could do? I've got this mm. right here. Even though we're going to cover most of it up, this would work. Look at this. See, look. It just puts a little other than that stark white. What is this? You know what? I've evidently hmm. have now just upset somebody with what we're talking about because I uh -oh. just got a hateful little message from somebody. Oh. And the part that Piss makes off. me... off. I started it. The part that makes me mad is... Uh, um, why... Why... Um, they hide who it's from. It comes through as Facebook, Facebook user. Well, get a backbone. We were talking about a book. Boo. Who? Go. I could say that out loud, but I won't. I'll be no, nice. Don't do it. I'll don't. even say it the nice way. You can say it Boo. on Monday. Boo. The F who. Get over it. It'll be okay. There, how about that? Yes. See, I said it. I was nice. Yes. I was nice. Do you know what? How was that that she said in pink? Um, yeah. Uh, I can't remember. Shit. You guys, we are. Let me see here. We what are. What did we do? Wait, we're, we're 175 people from 166,000 followers. Look at my sweet baby. Good job. Look at all three of them. Elizabeth just looks so sour right there. Oh, look <laughs> at my sager. She steals the show on a good day. That's when we went to Montana right there. <clears throat> There's my baby again. Oh, look at her. So, mommy, mommy. We're not headed to Montana right now? Nope. Going to Laredo to get us a cook? By God. We're headed, yep. we're headed to Laredo. Yes, we are. <clears throat> we're going to California to put some flowers okay. in our hair. I'm not going nowhere. We've got a lot of work to do this year. Too much running <clears throat> last year. This year, this yard has a lot of... There's not a lot to do. It's just uh, maintenance that needs to be done. Um, mm -hmm. Damn it. There, I got to turn that down. Sorry. Um, yep. Okay, so I guess we can't talk nasty. Oh, my God. There wasn't any nasty talk. Oh, it was. Nobody said anything nasty. I'm a, I'm a... Okay. Don't. Don't cut it do out. it. Don't do it. Not she today. Did. We'll be nice. I'll be that nice. Nasty. You nasty. You're so nasty. I might nasty. be nice for about five minutes, but that's about it. I cannot. I can't. I can't do it longer than that. You can't? 
I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. No. I went to school. Remember, <sighs> uh, remember uh, John Blake? John Blake would always say, you, 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 can't, you can't do it. I even yep. stuttered the way he would do it. You, 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 you can't do <clears throat> it. You got to stutter when you say it. He came. He was a in. funny kid. I love. He was John a funny Blake. kid. He was a good kid. Ah. Okay, we're not gonna sit here and measure that on that paper. We're just gotta keep going. And if we mess up, oh well. It's like what you say in the morning. I got a fat ass, but I got a kind heart, and we're gonna get up and get this done today. So there it is. <laughs> oh, I cussed again. <sighs> Oops. They that did. lady always cracked me up. That's true, uh, Sandra. They were thinking nasty. They're nasty. That's right. It's yes. usually the eye of the beholder. And more often than not, the beholder's a whiner. So get over it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say okay. something else, like a twat. <laughs> and you know what? Twat is not a bad word. You want to know why? I learned that word from watching Willy Wonka. Mm -hmm. They say twat in Willy Wonka, where she says, Daddy, make those twats find my golden ticket. Remember? It's Baruka. Yep. Baruka Salts. No, it's not Baruka. It's uh, Baruka was the one that turned Violet, right? Yep. That's true. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember either. It's not worth remembering. Okay, we're going way down here. Yeah. And to be quite honest, I don't want to spank anybody. I don't want nobody spanking me. I was just thinking, you know, you get a little frustrated in life. They always say that that can help, you know, relieve some tension. <laughs> I'm thinking it would relieve a lot of tension for me if I was spanking somebody. But, you know what I'm saying, G? <laughs> Shall I tell you what mom would say? What? Here. <laughs> you know, sometimes. It would. That's what mom would say. Mom would say, here. Sometimes mom cracks me up because I'll be teasing and I'll tease her. And she'll say something out of the blue. The other one was Violet. See, Veruca. Yeah, you're right. I was talking about the right one. Yeah, yep. we're just joking. God, I was just playing. Just trying to have a little fun. My God. <laughs> Suck the fun out of everything. Um, Let's see, which edge do we, we want to do? I got to look at this. Okay, so we're going down this way. Oop. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of ink on that just in case. You know, I was cutting that cutting that paper kit out today, sitting there at the dining room table. Yeah. Mom looks at me and she says, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Did she? <laughs> she I, yeah, she's like, what the hell are you? It was just how she said it. Because she said it so fast. It was just like, um, and so I showed her what I was cutting, and she says, oh, she, she might, says it's one of those things. And I she, said, yeah, it's one of might those not, things. She might not been able to see what you were doing, sister. She did. She saw it. And then she says, oh, it's purple. And I was like, yes. Yes, that's and she says, favorite color. She tells me, when do I get something purple? Oh, did she? I was like, um, mother. Mama said that? Said, we have all kind. Yeah, she says, when do I get something purple? And I said, one of these hair days. And I almost told her about that one <clears throat> that you have that I just brought you. And I thought, no. Yeah, but that's not gonna for, tell her. um, that's for, uh. I know, I got to print another one. Yeah, that's for I'm going to print another one. But oh, she, my, uh, my ears are ringing so loud. It's not uh -oh. funny. But I told her, I said, uh, do you always get the purples? 
and she had her her fluffy purple robe that she likes and she kind of fluffed the collar at me and she says yes i know <laughs> but it was just the just how she said it but that whole when she did the collar she was like yes i know cuz i told her you always get the purple things <clears throat> Sorry, I so, forgot to arm the house. Okay. I was arming the casa. But that was comical. Just, what the hell are you doing? But it was the way I was like kind of cut and I had it like tipped at an angle so I could see where the line was at. And she just thought that it was peculiar how I was holding that while I was cutting it. Oh, that's nice. Well, I she was, usually when mom's sitting at the table and she's having her lunch, she doesn't mm -hmm. say much because she's playing her phone and she wants to be left alone. That's high blood pressure when your ears ring. Actually, I have very, very low blood pressure. Um, but yeah, I've heard that. Um, maybe my blood pressure did jump up a little bit. Um, I've been doing that all day. Like my ears will ring really, really loud. Loud, loud, loud. Okay. Maybe I should check my blood pressure. I doubt it. I usually, my blood pressure runs really low. So. Mm -hmm. See, it's Gigi's go. the one that's got the high blood pressure. My blood pressure used to be so stinking high, I always felt like I had a conch shell up to my ear listening to the ocean. Did you? But it was just, yep, it was just my blood pressure. Oh. Just the blood pressure. But it always sounded like a conch shell in my ear. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. Actually, That I'm... whole, like, weird swish, swish, swish thing, that, like, a, how a conch shell sounds. I'm really lucky yeah. because I am very healthy. I don't take medicine. I'm not diabetic. I don't have blood, high blood pressure. The only thing is, is just, I'll be the one that gets um, Alzheimer's because, uh, yeah. Not. No, not. I will. You watch. I'll be, I'll be that, I'll be that one. It'll be me. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Get out of line. It's not happening. Not doing it. Not. No, I do. I have really good blood pressure and... I don't have um, diabetes. I don't take any medicine, which is pretty good. You know, I'm 52, and I don't take any kind of medication. Don't claim that. I know I shouldn't say that. Uh, um, yeah. I know I know what Tammy means because they used to Silva used to have that problem sometimes. Her ears would ring really loud, and she would say that. Sister would say, my, my blood pressure must be up. Sure enough, it always was. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. You know what I did? I am so tired of this day. What'd you do? Nothing. I don't even want to say what I did. Uh-oh. Danger. Look out. Yes, Ethel. I did it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> there, I'm just going to come out and say it. Here. Watch this. I, I that that just really, oh, that irritates me. I'm so angry. I could scream right now. What'd Dang it! Do? Nothing. I don't even want to say what? what I did. I'm uh -oh. not. All right. I'm not saying not it. Not doing it. We're not, not doing it. Not doing it. No, Ethel, we're not. Watch <sighs> this though. I'm gonna go right in the middle and waste this whole piece of paper. Ta-da! Go for it. No, I stuck the this all the way to the edge and I, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Oh, I see. But I'm going to fix it right now. I see. What Watch did I this. do? I'm like, I got one out of line here. Dun, dun, dun. Look at Ta-da! It's a junk journal. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I lost it. Where'd it go? I just wonder um, if my mouse is okay. There it is. Because she keeps coming to my mind. My mouse. Well, she'll be talking to you in the middle of the night here before we're done. You know, <laughs> I don't know. 
So when these guys were younger, um, Mouse was uh, with mom and dad. And Wendy was hanging out at my house for a little while. Now, mind you, I lived in Oregon. Mom and dad were in Washington. And Wendy was just at my house for like the weekend. And I hear her talking in her sleep. And then I hear the other half of the conversation because she was carrying both sides of the conversation. But the strange part was mom and I were on the phone talking. And it was late, you know, in the evening. And because we'd watched a show together on the phone and it's news time and whatever. And Wendy was asleep in the bedroom that the girls usually slept in if they were at my house. And I hear, like I said, Wendy carrying on a conversation. Then I hear the other half the conversation. And the funny thing was I went in to check to make sure she was okay, like not, you know, falling out of the bed or doing anything weird like that. And I could hear Cindy talking in her sleep through the phone. And the girls were actually having a conversation with each other, sound asleep, but both of them were carrying the other's co half of the conversation while they were sleeping. And mom and I just chuckled to each other because it's one of those things that they used to do all the time. It was that weird little twin thing that they would do. And they, they would talk to each other in their sleep when... You know, they were away from each other, but the it was like you were hearing it in stereo because, you know, Wendy would say what she was saying. And then I would hear Cindy say like exactly what it was that Wendy was saying. But it was like I said, like hearing it in stereo because they would have conversation with each other <clears throat> from like across space and time as weird as that sounds but yeah they'd have conversation with each other and mom and I always used to just chuckle about it but yeah they all those weird little twin things that would go on but yeah that was always fun kind of freaky to start with but then once you figure out that was just their thing and that's what they would do but and then they always knew what they were talking about like the next day it would be like they were sitting in the same room having the conversation but yet they weren't they were asleep I always knew when Mouse was upset I could tell you when Mouse was upset I could tell by looking at Mouse she's upset Mouse is pissed mm -hmm. off but I'll tell you, like I used to tell the people that we worked up, give her five minutes. She'll be mad again. Get over it. Don't feel special. Go back to work. Um, <laughs> it's like, it'll be okay. Get over that it. That one guy we taught to sing, Little Bunny Foo Foo, your sister's mad. I'm like, that's not my sister. That's my twin. Don't feel special. She'll be mad again. Go back to work. And it's uh -huh. like, what are you going to do? Sit here and whine and cry? Go to work. <laughs> <laughs> who gives a shit if she's mad we got shit to do yep I'm the sister I'm Wendy's sister I'm Cindy's sister but Wendy is Cindy's twin and Cindy is Wendy's twin not Wendy's sister I'm the sister okay you sure yeah. about that you sure about that I'm 10 minutes positive. <laughs> I'm positive I'm just teasing. I'm sister. positive. But there, there's a lot of people you kind of say that to them and they just look at us funny like, what? It's like, no. Because even when anybody, someone will say, you know, they'll they'll be talking about Mouse. Yes. yes it is definitely an identical twin but thing. But Mouse and I are not just identical twins. We're identical mirror twins, which means her DNA runs to the left Mine runs to the right, and when you mesh them together, it makes one. I'm right-handed, she's left-handed. Or should have been. Well, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. But the strange thing is, is that, like, if you take Wendy's fingerprints, and, you know, you, they do the fingerprint, Cindy's fingerprints look like 
they're I did it. Like wait, wait, wait. Your fingerprints wait, on a mirror. Wait, I want to say it. I did it. Whatever's wrong with Cindy, I did it to her in the womb because my big ass smashed her for nine months. There. You smashed her for nine months. Yes, was that that's that well. Yeah, I'm just gonna come out and say that now. That way, there we get that out of the way because it's always mom will always say, <laughs> "Well, you were such a big baby, you smashed mouse." Okay. That's why it's Whatever. like. Fuck, you know how many years I've heard how I tortured my twin for nine months, and I wish to hell I would have. I wish I'd have got up on the top and shoved her down towards the pelvic floor and said, stay down there. Because <laughs> I have been accused of torturing oh. Mouse. Hey, everything. What If there's something wrong with Mouse's toe, oh, well, that's because you were the big baby. And it's like. <laughs> yeah, but the the funny part, the funny part is, is that. Mom had two babies and like less than five pounds worth of baby with two babies. Oh, yeah. And and let me guess. Let me guess. Let's let's say it. Shame the devil. Let's say it. Wendy was five pounds and a half. Cindy was only one ounce because I was the big fat baby. Nope. Nope, not oh, even. Oh, Cindy's got one little weird spaceman looking toe. Well, that's because you were the big baby and you weighed your weight on her. Yeah. You did not. The hell I didn't. I already know. If there's nope. something wrong with Cindy, it's because I was the fat baby. Whatever. You're a nope. fat baby, Wendy. And they, you know what? I've got fat baby syndrome now. Oh, is that it? <laughs> is that what you <laughs> Yes. I'm all locked it's, down inside. I can't go anywhere. I'm afraid. That, okay. I'm She's afraid. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like yeah, I'm a, like yeah, don't do I'm it. A, I'm afraid to leave the house for fear that I'll. Okay, step you're on yelling in the. You're yelling in your your thing. Stop oh, I'm, it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. No, you're fine. That was a joke, sister. Maybe it's just giving you crap. Maybe I. No. You did not. I'm the That's fat a star right there. I'm the fat baby. I'm the fat one. <laughs> when Nuh-uh. somebody asks me, instead of as always, it's me, Wendy. It should be a, as always. I'm the fat one. Stop it. I'm teasing. Just play it. Funny. See? Cut it out. When I try to have a little fun, it's like, yeah, yeah you were the everybody fat Everybody just one. pees on your parade. There's no fun having. It just is not happening. Nobody. <laughs> so, <laughs> ask That's him, funny. Ask him where in the hell have you been, Mr. Oh, out riding okay. your motorcycle? Mr. No, he was, he was in the picket. Mr. Motorcycle Man. Oh. It's like the motorcycle man came home. Did no, he, he was a motorcycle man earlier, but yeah. Did he bring you Whoppers? Uh, no, the Whoppers are on the counter over there. No. 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 Boy, I Sage is going to have to eat some of those because there's no way I was going to get them all eaten. In Actually, time. those, oops, those were on sale. That's why I got bought the, big, the bigger bag. Because Mark only put a little bit in there, and I'm like, um, hello. <laughs> that happens to be one of your wife's favorite candy. You best fill that up. <laughs> and he I just, just fill it to the top. That's what fill we did. Then yep. when we got home, we split the bag. I'm surprised Mark doesn't know that's one of your favorite candies. He does. He knows. I just, I haven't had, I got to tell you what, it's the, like, okay, eating a regular Reese's peanut butter cup is not the same. And anybody who's the Reese's peanut butter cup Shh. connoisseur, they know. They know that, like, the little mini ones, that you get the little minis that are the ones where they say it, they're unwrapped. Mm-hmm. They don't taste the same. No, as they a, don't. As a regular Reese's peanut butter cup. And then to boot, if you get, like, say, the eggs, the the One's shaped like an egg or the Mm -hmm. one shaped like a Christmas tree, Mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Those taste the best because they still taste different than a regular Reese's peanut butter cup, which is odd. What's Marcus doing back there? 
Oh, get nice out of the. Oh, I was gonna say it machine. sounds like Sorry. he's tearing. I completely... No, it's okay. I'm just like, wow, I... he's getting with it over there. He's tearing up the house. Um, I forgot about that. Sorry. No, yeah, I they, it's okay. Just, they, they just they taste different. They taste different. So when he finds the ones that have a shape, like mm-hmm. you know the eggs or the Christmas trees or whatever, mm-hmm. what's that other shape they have? Candy. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Candy no, the, shape. <laughs> the Reese's peanut butter cups. There's an egg. And then they had a Christmas tree. What's the other one? I don't know, sister. Is it a ghost? Yeah. Something they had like around Halloween or whatever. And But they they have the best taste. So every time I turned around, he's coming home from the store with like Reese's peanut butter cups mm-hmm. that were shaped. And it's like, oh, those are very snazzy, but, you know, kind of, it's like almost burnt out eating peanut butter cups. And when I said that, he looked at me and he laughed. He's like, whatever. <laughs> and yeah, he brought whatever. them home anyway. But uh-huh. Yeah, literally. It's like, yeah, whatever. But, of course, because he brought them home, you know you got to eat them. Well, yeah. Like, yeah I'm burnt out on Reese's peanut butter cups. It's like, you sure. Don't, you don't want to <laughs> be rude. Of course not. So you eat it anyway. But yeah. Of course. But that I, I, and I don't know. Um, like, uh, what's that other thing? Butterfingers. Mm. I love butterfingers. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. gotta quit talking about candy. I already ate my candy. And see, I usually. That's what I'm saying. It's like you kind of just just that's enough. See, Sandra. Enough, Sandra it. says she agrees with you about the the thing yep they don't really kind of taste the same the shape ones are way better Mm-hmm. there's only one way oh okay never mind there's only one way to eat a Reese's peanut butter cup and that is to um you not gotta, share yeah you gotta <laughs> eat all the chocolate off of it first it's like a mission Oh no! Did you eat them? Yeah. Um. You. You know. You kind of. You can't oh, help it. I didn't want to be hang rude. Hang on, sister. I... Gail went to bed. <laughs> Good night, Gail. Happy oh, Easter. Night, we'll Gail. see you tomorrow. Um. I am tired from today. Easter. Easter. It's just like any other holiday. All wore out already uh, now. All the big push for it, and you know we're ready and this and tomorrow we got to get up and mind our manners and yeah that's fine if you're being insistent <laughs> yeah see i have to think she, what says I... she puts them in the refrigerator <laughs> what she puts the peanut butter cups in the refrigerator you know my larry used to do that um, yeah, I can't do cold candy anymore. I just can't. But I uh, sometimes throughout the day I get to where I feel a little weak, and it's just that my body needs a little, I don't know, a little sugar, something sinful. 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 Just you know, once in a great while, one has to have some. It just it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I kind of like this brown. When you cut it up, it doesn't look that bad. <clears throat> a nice filler. It is. It is. Uh, but okay, I need moving across. Just got a one last color right there. One last thing. Um, exactly. And look at that. Boom. Ta-da. Mm-hmm. Dangerous. Ta-da. Now we are going to cover Uh-oh. this. Now what? we're going to start that crap again. It's oh, like sister. cut it out. Quit doing that. There, oh, sorry. Sister, sister. There we go. Put that back Some over there. Candy helps Thank Susan. You. Well, Susan, Yanni, you're so thin. A good big gust of wind to blow you away. You need to eat more candy. Just a little. You Just know, I'm not, not. I'm not a real big candy eater, but like. It's Easter, so we have the Easter candy, and I probably won't eat candy again until Halloween. 
when we go steelhead fishing. I love eating candy snicker bars when we go steelhead fishing. It's the only way. What do you guys think of that for a pocket? Ta-da. Nice. Are, are you there, sister? But wait uh -huh. for it. Oh, you know what? I should have printed that on the back. I was going to... think that I'm telling you that score tape we bought at Michael's I think it's old it doesn't stay down very well was that one the one that was from Michael's or is it the one that I got at like Dollar Tree no that was Michael's. Night, Susan Yanni. Good night, Susan. Happy Easter, my friend. <clears throat> yep. What the hell is he doing out there? Who? The neighbor. Oh, is, is that the loud one? Yeah. Oh. He's working on something out there. Well, I hope Susan's neighbors calm down and don't torture her all night. There is no way I would put up with that. That's ridiculous. No. <laughs> I would, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to be rude, but, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. Kind of that sort of a thing. It's like you want to stand and continue to play your loud music. Here, let me help you out with that. Told you about the neighbors that were out in the back, remember? That one year? Is that they were having neighbors? a birthday party. The ones back behind us. Uh huh. They're having a birthday party or something. And they would have the bouncy house. Now, mind you, there's a chain link fence about seven feet outside my bedroom window. And they would put this bouncy house up. And the, they'd have the, the fan part for the bouncy house. Mm -hmm. They'd put it up against the chain link fence and turn it on at like four o'clock in the morning. And then they'd leave the dang thing running all weekend long. They wouldn't shut it off at night. And then they'd have their loud music and their party where everybody's eating and all this lovely whatnot. And their loud music when people are trying to sleep and they'd take their picnic chairs or their camp chairs and lean their chairs up against the up against the fence and then they'd bounce back and forth on my chain link fence and after about two or three years I just kind of got tired of it so the last time they had a birthday party I told Marcus I said do me a favor I said, find me the loudest, nastiest, metal, death, screaming. Good night, Patty Baker. Good night, Happy Patty. Easter. Happy Easter. But I told Marcus, find me some music. And I put it on the Bose speaker and stuck that speaker in the window. Mm hmm and they'd had their food and they were, these ladies were trying to, you know, they still had loud music playing and whatnot, but they're uh, out there sitting, trying to have conversation after they had their party and had been loud all weekend long. And I put that Bose speaker up in the window and I warned the neighbor lady because the neighbors on the other side were gone. And I warned the other neighbor lady that I was going to turn that on. And I said, if you got your earbuds, you might want to put them in. I said, cause I'm, I'm going to share. And she oh. says, okay. <laughs> so she went upstairs and just looked out the window. She was watching out the window. And she had her earbuds in. So I didn't deafen her with the Bose speaker. And I turned that screaming loud metal death, want to eat your parents kind of music on. Uh. And the one lady told the other one, well, that's just rude. We should call the cops. Oh. We no. shouldn't have to hear that. 
you know what? I'm oh, not that's terrible. And you know what's funny is I only let that go for probably about 20 minutes. And they actually got up. Good night, Gina. Good night, Gina. Happy Easter, oh. my friend. And James comes skating right back in as on, on his long drive home. Oh, but hi, now, James. <laughs> I only let that music go for about 20 minutes, but the one lady, she said, no, no, because she told the other one, no, we're not calling the cops. She says, let's just go in. There so they you go. picked up all their stuff and went in, and when they went in, um, I turned the music off. Oh, well, that was nice. And, you know, ever since then, now mind you, that was probably six, seven years of listening to their loud-ass music and their freaking bouncy house up against the bedroom window every year for like six or seven years at every stinking opportunity all summer long hmm. and whatnot but she finally like now when they put the bouncy house up she puts it on the other side away from the window well that's nice and then they've got their table and doing what they're doing they put it over on the other side and they don't they don't lean up and bounce on our chain link fence anymore, and they don't have the bouncy house running 24-7 for, like, all weekend long. She actually shuts it off, and they don't, they're not loud over by the bedroom windows anymore. Well, you know what, though? Um, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't like calling the cops. I just don't. It's well, I don't I don't either at that point. But the strange thing was there were there were moments there were moments when even Zach, when he would go out and he'd say, you know, very nicely, you know, excuse me. He's like, at one point I I was sick for something. And I I don't know. He's he says, you know, my my mom is sick. And he said in that window right there is her bedroom. And these screaming kids aren't really helping. And he said, I know that kids need to play and laugh and do what they're doing, but, you know, can you, can you turn the music down and, like, move your party away from the chain link fence that literally was right, like I said, seven feet away from the window. Hmm. And even with the air conditioner and the TV on, you could still hear them playing as day in the summer, just like the window was hanging right open. But she would just say, well, we're having a birthday party or this or that or the other. And I just said, bitch, get some me some point. cake. Oh. <laughs> but it was it was just one of those weird things. She was always just very, 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 very rude. And but after <laughs> after I shared my music with her because she shared her music with me, um, they decided they didn't want to be loud like that anymore. And I thought, well, there you go. And I. I felt bad for about two seconds. But yeah, for about two seconds. That was it. Exactly. You know what? And I, I just my neighbors it's it's usually quiet here in in our <laughs> neighborhood and they do have birthday parties, but I don't say anything. I just yeah, sometimes they can be loud and just like these people in this over here, I don't want to call the cops. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a snitch. I don't call the cops. Only time well, some you... folks just seriously, I just think personally, personally, I feel like some folks just don't understand a situation unless they're literally standing in someone else's shoes. And to put it quite literally, I put her in my shoes because she just wouldn't see it when we tried to say, you know, that like you're being way louder than you theoretically should and we have decibel ordinance in town and cops will literally come sit in front of your house and they can hear your music and if you're over the decibels even during the daytime they'll mm. tell you to turn it down but their answer is these folks don't understand our laws mm. because they're from another country and that having been said it's like well we that's do know why... that ignorance of the law is no excuse that's why I don't mess with it. That's why I don't call. Yeah. I don't say anything. You know, that's people will say, oh, that's against the law. Well, yes, it is. But you got to find somebody that will impose the law. So there is no sense in complaining. Just mm -hmm. go back in the house. Nature will take its course someday. And mm -hmm. just like I said, I'm going to watch my yard. And if it comes in my yard, I'm going to bite its head off. But I don't believe in calling 
the police. I just don't. Mm -hmm. There is a time and a place to call the po police, and I love saying police. There is a time and a place mm -hmm. to call them, but I don't know. When they come, what are, you, what are they going to say? Exactly what you just said. Oh, they don't understand. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. Go leave. That's You're fine. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. They don't. And heaven forbid that you educate anybody while you're standing there. So you're absolutely right. Go ahead. Get on down the road. Um, yeah, well, that's, that see, Sandra, much. that's, that's the big mm -hmm. one right there. I remember, I remember trying to sleep and work at the same time. My neighbor over here, it puts the lotion on just to the east of me. Um, he works at night and sleeps during the day. And that's why I'm, I'm real big about Weenie and them going outside and barking I don't let them stand outside and bark. Now, I have asked Brian, you know, do they bother you? If they are bothering you, you need to, you know, when I see you, don't be afraid to tell me. But I do really hard. We we all do. Try to be quiet because mm -hmm. Brian does work at night. I shouldn't call him it puts the lotion on because he is a nice guy. He's uh, <laughs> he's not as weird as he used to be. I wonder what he calls me. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I never thought We're of that, touching, sister. We're not touching that with a dead book. No, I, I, I never thought of that. Maybe he calls me some weird name. We don't know. I doubt uh, it, though. I doubt it. He's just too nice. He's too nice. Poo but Brian? It, it, yeah, Brian is he a is, nice guy. Nice. But the 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 strange thing was is that for the first like I said about 6 or 7 years we were here that lady was just forever with the it was somebody's birthday, it was a, a somebody's quinceañera, somebody was getting married. There was just always something and then sometimes even just for you know, shits and giggles during the summer, it was like, okay, the kids are bored. We're going to bring in the bouncy house and they're going to have music and they're going to do and everybody got together and big picnics. See, and Sandra, Sandra says she turns on a fan to drown out the noise. That is amazing. Yeah. Well, and, you know, we tried, we always tried to be really polite. You know, I just kick the volume up on the TV a little bit, but it was the, it was one of the other neighbors. Um, <laughs> I remember one night about three o'clock in the morning, I called the non-emergency number and I told the lady that, uh, I was tired of listening to these people's dog. I'd been listening to it for about three days. Mm -hmm. And she says, ma'am, I need you to go back in the house because she couldn't hear me because of the barking dog. I said, that's why I'm calling. And she says, well, I need you to go back in the house. I said, I'm in my house. I hate and this. Says, well, can I... you can you please make your dog quit barking because she couldn't hear me? And I'm like, that's not my dog. I don't have a dog. I'm like, it's the neighbor's dog. And I said, can you please send an officer? And it was strange, but it's like we had the TV. You know that, like I said, it's it's summertime. The air conditioner was running, but the windows are closed because the air conditioner's running. And I had the TV turned up really, really loud. Well, at that point, because I was on the phone, I kind of muted the TV down so I could talk to the lady. And I told her, I said, I said, I don't know if maybe they're not home or something. But I said, this dog has been barking nonstop for three days. And it sounded very, very hoarse. Like it had barked for so long that it's, you know, maybe throat was getting dry or whatever. And so they did send an officer and come to find out these folks had left their dog outside and they were gone. Oh. And uh, they'd left the dog outside. So they brought in the Humane Society to get the dog and they took the dog to the Humane Society. Now, mind you, this is a no-kill shelter, so it's not like they were doing anything horrible. But they left a note for these people and said, you know, your dog had no food and no water and looked like it hadn't had for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And so they got in a little bit of trouble because they left their dog outside mm -hmm. in the heat in the summer. I mean, 
it had some shade, but yeah. Bucket but people. they left that poor dog out there, and that poor just bark, 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 bark for like three days. Poor little thing. Some a bitch. But yeah. It's those kind of people you want to take out in the middle of nowhere and just leave them. Say bye. Yep. Drive well, off with their go. dog. But yeah, those kinds of things that were what used to happen. But I mean, but that's how loud that poor dog was. That the lady she thought it was our dog, and. Uh, that I needed to go back in the house because she couldn't hear me. And I'm like, but that's the neighbor's dog <laughs> that we've been listening to for three days. But yeah, those were the, that's the kind of things that we deal with here sometimes. But yeah. Or the lady with the cat that was like clawing at the window because it wanted my cat. That was always good. I said, let me in. <laughs> James exactly. is going to stop and eat something. I hope you, you as well, James. Thank you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. We love you too. What are we having? Oh, he, he's not taking us oh. to go and eat. He's just going to hang up gonna the say, video. Gonna he eat? he like, could care less eat? if what we're want wanting something to eat. Dang it. Thanks a lot, James. My feelings are hurt. <laughs> okay don't make my sister cry she gets cranky when she cries i've mm. been i tell you what i have been one cranky jerk i i cannot burger ooh, king ooh yeah. i want some cheesy tots please <laughs> i want cheesy tots and some fries and a hamburger and if they're on sale only I want the chicken fry. And believe me, I'm going to eat it all. I'm not you sharing. You would not. <laughs> no. You probably... would not. No, I can't. You should eat the cheesy tots maybe. but I would. And speaking you of, would. I need the rest of my. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Sound like we are going to. That's like a song that we would sing. Kind of sounded like it a little bit. Yeah. The only I just place open, hair days. if oh. you were here, I would get, oh, I know you would, James. Thank you. When he wants <laughs> a Whopper. Like, want Whopper. Not really. I, you know what? I've got the other side of my Italian sandwich in there, and I just don't know any better. <laughs> I'm craving that olive oil taste. Are you like heartburn be damned you're going to eat it anyway? Probably when I go to bed. going to happen. Pile up in that bed and eat the rest of my sandwich. I see how it is. What time is it? Oh my god, it's it is night quarter after 9. 15. Nine. Yep. It happened already. It's been it a did. long day. Yep. Oh, Joyce, if you were here, we would, um, uh, I would take you to have Chinese food with us. You know, I really, I really wish, and uh, we got to wait and see, but I would love for us all to meet someplace and just sit down and eat, have a meal together. Wouldn't that be fun, sister? Do nice. some karaoke, yeah. have a few little shots, and see what happens. Let's tear the town up. <laughs> <laughs> Show them what savages can do. I want to go in and dance. I like to dance with the locals. Okay. You know, where they think that you are they're going to make you the belle of the ball, but you make them the belle of the ball. Is that how that works? It's what me and Mouse do. Okay. Make them feel check. real special. I'm just teasing. Oops. I'm like throwing like little beads everywhere. Big trouble. It would be big trouble, Sandra. I would love to go. Uh, I think it would be neat. What would be even more cool is if we could rent like a place that has a big barbecue. If James was there. Hang on a second, sister. Mama just went in the bathroom. Gourmet barbecue. Bring the chef.
Who's on hiatus this weekend? You. The chef for the gourmet barbecue. Okay. All right. I'll tell her what you said. What, sister? Marcus said he's on hiatus this weekend. We were talking about the gourmet chef. He said he's on hiatus this weekend. Well, he was supposed to make that brisket. Oh, snap. Yeah, that's true. Well, we opted to not, so. Did you guys even do that ham? Uh, no. That's because okay. Because I can do it tomorrow. No. There's no sense in doing it today. No, to be honest with you, I'm tired of cooking. I, I, uh. I'm tired well, of my own cooking. I That's all I've done. I want to go out and eat. I, well, we are going to go out and thank eat. Thank you. I'm going to scream I was if just, I don't I get was gonna, to. I was going to cook it for later, but I wasn't cooking it until, like, tomorrow. I don't mean that to sound horrible. It's just I'm tired of cooking. I, I know that sounds terrible because I love to cook a meal, but I just... I don't know. For Easter this year, let's just be. Just let it be. We're going to get up and do what we need to do. And then we're going to go and eat. What, what is, is it, Dee Dee? You are not the only one working. She's going to make James work, too. Yep. What am I going to make Dee Dee do? Are they talking... Are you talking about me, Sandra, or somebody else? You know what? If you guys came here, I would wait on you guys like you were kings and queens. You wouldn't have to do a damn thing. When you come to visit, we treat we treat our visitors well, don't we, sister? Yes. And the problem is, is you're only a visitor the first time you come in the door. After that, it's all bets are off. Just don't leave a mess in the kitchen. Yeah, but company is like fish. After three days, you stink and you got to go. Taking care of the babies. Oh, my babies take care of everybody. And you couldn't resist Mr. Weenie or Elizabeth. Elizabeth would lay down on her side and play weak and meek. Like, oh, look at me. I can't make it. She loves mm -hmm. to do that, doesn't she, sister? I think she's talking because I'm the community man. Yes. Yes, you are, Dee Dee. Now get in there and get those dishes done. I'm just teasing. I wouldn't make Dee Dee work. Nope. That's really nice of you. I was kidding. That's okay, Sandra. I am too. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> I'm teasing, Sandra. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not welcome to the red room. I'm just teasing Sandra. <laughs> Look at Sandra's like, I'm not going over there. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and then you crack the whip. Surprise, surprise. I'm just teasing. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh mouse okay i'm all done finally jeez how much freaking food did you guys buy do you want in here mouse i'll have toady just join with your voice just be the voice mouse i do voices mm. Mm -hmm. i'll be joining you guys in a minute here she comes with wicked intentions look out Yep, Whoop. that's oh, Mouse. I'm throwing things. That's our Mousy. Mousy. Okay, sister, I want to leave these together. So I want to actually stack them this, but nope, this way. Mm hmm. And I just want to put this on here. And I thought, I don't know what I'm thinking. I, I want to make a little... We are about to have a moose loose in the hoose. <clears throat> what did Sorry. I miss? She I missed know. it. Did I miss something? No, oh. that's not Mousy. Did I miss something, Sandra? I'm sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying to craft, Sandra. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Sandra. Shh. Um, hmm. No. 
I want to leave this together, but I'm thinking I'll cut this one off. Or we could go like this. Did you hit the wrong one? Who? What? What are we on? Mouse. Are you just a blonde? That. Well, not, not, I don't know. Do I got to prove it? I could say yes, but. No. <laughs> no, I'm not a blonde. Goldie, call me. I mean, oh, you're, yeah, supposed to, you're supposed to call the mouse. Mouse, uh, sure. <clears throat> hang on. I got to go over here. Tell her, keep her britches on. Keep your panties on, Mousy. Uh, oh, it's because you're in the other one. You didn't do this. I know. I'm sorry. It, well, the reason I didn't do it is because I didn't want it Tell to her, keep hang calm. On. Please hold. No, it's it's okay, Sandra. I was just trying. I'm looking back to see if I missed something because I was sitting I here. To do that, not I to was, pop out. I was crafting. I was crafting. One second. One second. Tell her to hang on a minute. Well, she can hear you. you okay. Add. Even though Toad just said, hang on a minute. I'm supposed to tell you, there. Mouse. Hang on a minute. Oh. Nope. Already have a group with these people. Are you sure? No, we're not creating a new one. What the hell? I just need to add the mouse. Where's add the mouse? Add. Uh, hang on. Just give really? me a second. Give me a second. Don't Darn touch it. nothing. Hang on. Just hang on, mouse. Remember, we did this last time and we lost. And then I was I like, it. holy shit, Batman. We could have did X, Y, and Z. I know it. Give me, like one, I'm to give me, give me to... one second. Just a minute. I think I have to do it because Ooh. I called you. Um, I think so. Oh. Here, that right here. Sweet. Incoming. I just joined the call. Son of a bitch. See, there we messed everything up. Okay, wait. I'm joining with the camera yeah. join camera hang on they're seeing us what we're doing are you there mouse uh, i don't know mouse did we get her well mouse i just or... i just screwed up the video so i hope we got her okay. um, um where's the pop out return to app right here pop it out and where is it mouse Oops. Mouser. So we got to leave this other call. Cindy's over here. Come, uh, go and look. Cindy's over. Mouse, are you there? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Hang on a second. Give me a second, you guys. They're seeing everything. Shit that we're not supposed to. We're still on here, you guys. Let me call Mouse real quick. <clears throat> Give me a minute. No, there's, we're like in two calls. No, I'm in two calls. Mouse, answer one of them. Go to the one that's got the three of us. There, yes. You're in there, but we're not hearing you. Okay. So I'm going to pop that screen out. Are you coming in with your... Uh, no, just the voice. Well, then shut your camera off. And just do the voice. I got the. Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, wow. I got this really screwed up. Give me a second. I got to. Shit. I got to pop this out. Okay, so we're in this one. Whoops. I can't do that. So they can hear you. They can hear you, but you're a little low. Whip. Mouse, okay. they, they can hear Hang you. Hang on, and I'll, I'll put my earbuds in because I'm calling on the phone. I'm on my phone because my internet is uh, sketchy tonight. I don't know why, but it is. Okay. Shit. How do I make when the... If you go to those three dots up on the top, I can get rid of Cindy, right? Yeah, and uncheck the one that says show non-video. There it is. Okay, we're there back. Go. Got there it. Go. I knew it was there. I just couldn't find it. Ta-da. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everybody's saying hi, Mouse. 
She'll be in here in a second. Did she leave? Mm-mm. Okay. Well, she was on her TV. On her TV. Mouse was on her TV. <laughs> Where'd you go, Mouse? <laughs> Whoop. She must have bounced out. Get back in here, Mouse. I'm back. Jack. Okay. Um, Did I make there it? She is. Yep. Okay. Can you guys hear me now? Mm hmm. Can I mean, I'm good to go, right? Yep. Okay. What about now? You're fine. Okay. How Just about now? <laughs> and now. Mm -hmm. okay. Wendy, are you muted? I think she is. I did when for a second. Day. There you we, go. We got See? Mad Mouse in the house. Yes. Yeah. See, it's that thing I said. There's a moose loose in the hoose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come here, Pepper. Oh, God. Now no. she's going to scream at the cat. Don't scream nope. at your cat. <laughs> did, did I scream? I said, come here, Pepper. Oh, Peppa. I know. She's did been you... upset with her mommy all day because mommy's been busy all day. Poor Pepper. I know. She's looking she's at me there like. abandoning that poor cat. Oh, she's Dang sitting it. over. She's sitting over by the, where the internet kicks out the puck. She's like, I'm going to chew on this right here. Have you seen those videos where the cat, like, shoves the stuff off onto the floor? Yeah, that's Pepper. That's what she's doing. She's over there plotting. She's like, I'm going to figure out how to kick this thing over here so it'll quit working. That way you cannot be on the internet. I love yeah. it. So what you get you at Costco, Mouse? Give me two seconds, guys. Hold on. Okay. Voila. Voila. Ta-da. Ta-da. Mm -hmm. You know what? I can see what that lady means by you can waste a whole day just making one page in one of these because, <laughs> no, it's actually, it's kind of soothing. Now, if I had some paper that I really liked, which I don't really care for this paper, but... It is kind of just, you just kind of lose yourself in it. It's kind of nice. I like it a yeah, lot. Nice. Whoops. I feel like I'm, my sticky stuff is like I will having say, a problem. I will say one thing. I can see why those ladies use these envelopes. Do you see how much <laughs> cardstock I actually saved by using, um, the envelopes. Mm -hmm. She is a beautiful cat. My niece has three black cats. You know, I want. I wished. I wished I would have gotten a kitty for Mama when we brought Mr. Weenie home. I just don't think that Weenie and Sage would take to a kitty. I think Elizabeth. Oh, not would. now. No. No. Weenie. They might have in the very get go, but not now. No. Weenie'd be like snack. <laughs> Just want to lick it for a minute. He's like, we got snacks now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tom. Just succulent snackies. Is making barbecued pork. Oh, nice. It's going to be spicy, so oh, we probably won't like it. But I think he's just making it. He can take that and the sticky rice to work for his lunch. Sticky rice. So, Sticky. What did we get at Costco? Yeah, Sticky. I'd always like seven hundred and twenty dollars worth. 
Jesus, <laughs> were you guys out of food or what? No, we just, it's just the shopping that we normally do for the year. Yeah, I do that too. And then Tom told me, he's like, I'm going to be gone, so why don't you just buy yourself some meals? So frozen, guess, you know. guess what I discovered today? What? I looked at the camera, the that pipe out there for the irrigation. Mm-hmm. Somebody tried it, to somebody tried pick it up and run off with it. Mm, and it did it the, break? Yep, the whole side of it, it is broken, busted. But you could well, see someone in the camera at night, like was over there. We think it's that dude from across the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, let me tell you that pipe, Loretta, was here when we bought this property. And how long have we lived here? No, but my point, my point to all of that is, uh, you uh, want it dry? Go ahead, Gwen. My point is, is I got to go get a pipe one way or another when it comes time to turn irrigation on. Either that or I'm going to set the pipe, set the pump right in front of it until I get something figured out. Well, don't forget, Tom said, if we look up there, there's probably two-inch pipe, but it just depends. That run, I want to say, was uh, 53 feet or some shit. How how far is it from the street to the shed? Hello? Um, I'm thinking. Oh, oh, I thought I lost you. No, no. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm concentrating on on this. You've been in your house since Mother's Day weekend of 2011. Yeah. It's in the concrete. Yeah, we got it on Cinco de... It was the holiday house, remember? We got the property on Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. And Sarah got the septic. I got the well on my birthday. And then we moved in on Cinco de Mayo because we had tacos that night. And Tom's like, I just spent all that money and now we're eating out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. You put a turkey in the oven and when it comes out, you go out to eat. I know. I told Tom in Costco, I said, I'm hungry. And he goes, me too. I said, would you throw a fit? And we hadn't got to the cash to the line to cash out yet so would you throw a bit if i asked if we could eat out and i was joking because we had all that freezer sh- stuff mm-hmm. but um he's like yeah and he kind of laughed but we because tom and i always like to bet how much is in the cart right and we both said a thousand at the same time and so when it came in under it it was like oh that's a relief What do you think of that, Mouse? Hold on a minute, when I gotta open. I haven't. I've got you checked. No, under no, my I'm head. not worried. I'm not worried about it. What oh. I'm saying is, is I'm not worried about going and getting a p a pipe. I, uh-huh. I that's immaterial. I'm just I'm upset that somebody did that. Try to steal it. I know. It's like if you needed something that bad, why didn't you just come ask? I give it to you, but don't. Don't uh-huh. steal. Don't steal. What people don't realize is I curse all my shit. So if you steal <laughs> from me, you're gonna you're gonna suffer a horrible death. Do not steal <laughs> from me, cause I curse my own shit. Ooh, <laughs> okay. It's like yeah. uh, that can be that can be hazardous are, to one's health. You know, it is nice, Sandra, that Tom's home, but come Monday. Who knows where they're going to send him. Yes. I know he's working in Desperado. Dayton. He's Why got I like a hundred loads. <laughs> mouse. And so he'll be done probably by Wednesday or Thursday. I do know they are sending him way back east. Like Virginia or some shit. Uh, here real soon. Virginia. Thank he's... you, Dee Dee. I'm glad you can hear me. Or that, you know. Yeah. Um that. Yes. And that stuff too. Let's see, what else did I get? I got um 
I got, uh... Did you get anything? What did I buy? Any goodies or anything? I know, don't buy the lemon blueberry cake, or it's like a bread. I have got heartburn. I mean, it was good. Oh, no. But I think sorry. it's got, like, bacon soda in it or something. Because mm -hmm. I have got heartburn. It's just like, I don't know, I just, don't eat the lemon blueberry cake. <laughs> I'm probably going to send that all to work and tell Tom, here, let them wormy puppies at work eat this because I can't take that heartburn. Now, wait a minute, you guys. She's not really feeding dogs. She's talking no. about the boys that work at, Cindy calls them wormy puppies because you can't fill <laughs> up those boys. No, you can't. The young ones that Tom <clears throat> works with, I could send sandwiches all day long and they, or I made a, remember when I made stuffed uh, manicotti? Mm, yes. Four big lasagna pans full of stuffed manicotti with a meat sauce, bread, and a salad and cheesecake. Tom brought it all home. It was all gone and they were still hungry. Huh. So, yeah, they're very wormy. I've told Josh before, I'm going to worm you. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse, you silly. Mm -hmm. Things um, happen. But there. I can't think of one thing that we... Oh, I did buy... <laughs> I found did some, you get uh, toilet paper or anything like yeah, that? The only thing okay. we got was one thing of, of water, because I was going to bring you water home. No, I'm but fine. They were they I'm were fine. only letting you take one water. No, so it's it, fine. I'm fine. Um, So I got toilet paper, water. Yeah. I got enough. I got five of those big dishwasher liquid dishwasher things because that's yeah. what I use in a year is five. Nice. Matter of fact, I just finished the fifth one from yeah. last year today. Okay, cut it out, sir. And then I got three big things of fabric uh, bounce sheets because three will carry us all the way through the year. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking there's like what is it, a hundred and whatever? It comes to like four hundred and some. So, so did I you buy any that. like non-food items or anything like that? I bought. Uh, let's see. Yes, I, I did. She bought dryer sheets. That's a non-food item unless yes. you're yes. really freaking and hungry. We got. Um, <laughs> kind of suck on one of those. <laughs> <laughs> we got butt soap. <laughs> and um, oh, and Tom bought me a new food. Uh, it sucks the air out and it sucks. That. Tom bought you yeah. the new it sucks. <laughs> yeah, he bought That's me nice one of those. <laughs> he bought me the new one because right. my other one died on me. It just it went. <laughs> it was it was it gone. Was. But in my defense, Tom and I have been together over thirty years, and then this is the third one. So about every ten years, we buy one. Well, and that's they only three. They do save money. I, I will say that because I can buy that big brick of cheese and cut them into slot, you know, into hand manageable pieces. Mouse, and you are so resourceful. You know what? I don't want to do it anymore, Faye. I want I want to fail. I, I, I want to eat junk food. I want a I, bean fest. <laughs> I want to <laughs> You want a bean fest. <laughs> <laughs> best i love it no i don't want to be i don't want to i don't want to be june cleaver anymore i'm yeah, tired of being stuck and leave it to beaver fucking land i i i don't want to, i don't want to preserve i don't i, I know wanna, I don't want to do it, but that's really good, Mouse. That's good. I know where now I can come and get some stuff to freeze. Okay. Okay. What's he want? Hold on. Oh, where Tom's gonna um he's marinating this pork loin and he's gonna put it in the, the fruit food of your loin. <laughs> yes, your mom wants a cheese sandwich and I wanna be the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I can't get this to come out of here. That's um, funny, Mouse. 
me what else oh and i got some white extra sharp white cheddar oh that's nice it was a very good price um I, I believe it was uh nine ninety nine. Did you buy did you four. buy coffee creamer? Yeah, I bought four of them. I bought as many as they would let me have. Because you know that don't go bad. Coffee creamer? Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh, I thought it's it not, did. No, it's believe not, it or not, at some point Mouse is gonna figure out how to can that coffee <laughs> creamer. And when she gets it figured out. <laughs> Watch out, I'm gonna have a whole nother house full. Yeah. She's going to be like creamer. that lady that figured out how to can the mi can milk. Yeah. Yuck. I need a whole new wardrobe because I'm a new woman now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll be, hold on. I'll, I'll, be one right, other thing. I'll be right back. I got to go check on mama. I hear wrestling okay. back there. I'll be I right back. Hear... Okay. Hold on. Okay. Hey, can you guys hear me now? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, because I, I put my earbuds in because unless I hold it up under my chin you guys can't hear me and Pepper oh under Pepper hates chin, the new chin? food sucker she does not like the new food saver she's well, like maybe she thinks you're going to use it on her not, I don't know it almost sounds like, like a I don't growling know. I can't. she uh, she doesn't know what to do with herself she's like this is scary <laughs> it's okay baby here all right, so I changed okay. my other mind. I have to put you back on speaker. Hang okay. On. Mom was covering Weenie up in his cradle. I knew I could uh, hear uh, something. Weenie. Look at, I have spent how many hours? Four and a half hours making this one little thing right here. Has it been fun? No. No. I've, I have <laughs> Well, yes. So, for my savages that are online tonight in Elizabeth Savage Den, Monday we'll be starting the paper. Paper. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Toad. <laughs> there. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, it was a busy day. Got all my laundry done. Oh, no. <laughs> and put away. Imagine that. What happened? Nothing. I'm just thinking. Oh. I'm thinking out loud. Oh. Uh oh. Watch out, savages. I'm thinking I'm going to lay this right here and finish on down the cascade. And then mm -hmm. I want to put something different right here. Do you think that's too much, Toady? Look at this. No, it's no. never too much. Look, look at to go here. Okay, ignore this. Because I might stick some paper right here. This paper right here. Hang on a second. I got to find it. Wait for it. I'll print some more of this. See this lined paper? Nice. And then I'll get one of those things. She's that saying, you... just ignore this over here. We don't, that's nothing. Just ignore this. And just put some paper right here, and I'll put one of those two-prong things there. But look at this. So if we went here, here, here's another one, here's another one. And then I want to put these little, these right here. Susan's telling you Happy Easter, Mouse. Or, because see there. Happy Easter, Susan. Susan, I've got you guys muted because I'm messing with this crinkly paper. Hold on. It's all right, Mousy. Okay. Actually, if you've got your headset on, it's not the same as having. An no, ear I pod. have my ear. I have my earbuds on. So guess what, you guys? Earpod. We're going to be able to successfully succeed a five-hour stream. Toadie and I did a five-hour stream with Dee Dee and Susan and Sandra, and I ended the video one minute before we succeeded with that five hour stream i was so uh -huh. mad so have you been taking your um what is that when men can't pee no you know they did they get the prostate you've been taking your prostate medicine because your stream lasted strong <laughs> and i'm not a and man full <laughs> and no but the 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 prostate of the stream was strong <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't burn or it or does that happen? 
And then it petered out at the end. <laughs> you guys Sorry. Are nasty. You know what? I You're love the, it. Over you, there. You guys are He sits nasty. over there in his chair playing the video game and looks at me like I'm nuts. Well, give you another 10 years. And so, sister, when you're, out. when you're talking about nasty mm -hmm. stuff and he's got his headset on, do you smile and wave at him like he doesn't even know <laughs> what you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just that's all. No, she's, sabot <laughs> she's sabotaging him to bring her some Whoppers later. So, oh, yeah, that was, that's what Toad did. Easter Whoppers. She I she love made it. Marcus feel like a piece of shit for not bringing any Whoppers up into the bedroom. I'm so, like, what the <laughs> hell? There's no freaking Whoppers in here. <laughs> Thank you. That's so then he funny. goes and gets them, and she tries to piss him off to make her to force her to and then eat promptly them. told him, don't bring those in here. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't stay in a five a five star hotel. <laughs> Something like that. It's like it Daphne's dad. Happen. Daphne's uh -huh. dad when Niles was paying for um whoops. Gosh, I keep doing it. What? Oh, I just but we will get one tonight. Yes, you guys are gonna get a strong thorough stream. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oop. Yep. Okay. Well, we're not uh, streaming very far behind tonight. No, um, I actually. Hooked, it's actually running good. I hooked those pucks up. There's five of them. Uh huh. Yeah. So, uh, those are five dollars, four ninety nine a puck, and I nice. spread them out through the house, and I've got full bars sitting here where I normally don't. Well, it is. It's 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 not behind at all. Because I, I thought, why am I hearing myself? And it's because I had forgotten. Because I'm back looking at the oh. chat now. Because you're um, hearing things? Is this what happening? Yeah. Like I'm hearing you, things. Things are going to sit these cans. Stay away from the cans. He hates these cans. I have so on this when, we get, when we get off here, I will... Um, I'll schedule the good morning post. I didn't want to try to do it because last time it kicked you, it kicked you off the, your, it ended your stream. Yeah, don't. <laughs> so I will, um, I will schedule that to go up in the morning. I've actually and, enjoyed sitting here just thinking with this. And then Tom and I have to, me too. Organize and go through the freezer, the other freezer. You know what? That's something I need to tomorrow. do. Tomorrow. I got to I gotta go through that. Uh, it's coming up two and a half years. The, right. Those steaks need to be eaten. And I've got well, that, that brisket needs to be cooked. And maybe I've we'll... got four briskets in my... Uh, well, that in cow, one of my freezers. That cow wasn't a very big cow when it went to the freezer, when it went to, to kill. But this right. bitch had a huge brisket. I got the whole brisket. Mm -hmm. I didn't um, want the brisket. Well, I normally, the rib roast. in the summertime when it's hot, I always lift the lids on the freezers when I go out to start the irrigation water. And it's just it's a good thing we went to the store today because I haven't even thought to go out there and check, you know, just look at, look at what's going on out there. Well, and it's like that year we lost that whole pig in the freezer. Oh my God. I opened that or in, in the fridge, it was the freezer part. And I opened that up and the blood just ran. It was like I bet that stung. the shining. <laughs> You guys know how to make sure that your freaking freezer has not thawed out and then frozen back over again, right? Yes, I do. No. That I, I do. I don't. I'm, I know nothing of that. I do, sister. 
I I do. It's just like I said, it was just in the bottom, but um My freezer's in the house. You can't miss it. I go in there every day. Plus Elizabeth's in there if something was wrong. I'm telling you, my little girl, if there's something wrong, she'll she she'll let you know. He sits up in the middle of the night and then in the morning when she stretches, she sticks that first leg out, she lifts her head up and she goes, There's something screwy going on in my town. <laughs> you know <laughs> you're screwy <laughs> no it's elizabeth knows like if something's wrong with sage or weenie mm -hmm. it, all i gotta do is take my cue from that baby are you like somebody else i know it's that learned amazing. everything that they know now they learned from elizabeth from the dog huh? shut, <laughs> up. <laughs> shut up mouth <laughs> Don't. 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 Mm -hmm. Sing, oh, happy day. Don't. Don't. Because Warner, what? you sound like me. Warner will think you're singing. It'll violate the stream. And oh, then be that's right. Again. Sorry. Hey, oh, my stream is steady and strong. Song. I dare him try to violate it my stream. I'll you... pee on him. Your stream is steady and strong. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> steady and strong. No, baby. Come right. here. My puppy. She goes, my mom's been away all day. So for those of you jumping in and out of the video, if you're looking for Elizabeth Sage or Mr. Weenie, we will Good be night, live Joyce. with them again at my, on Monday where we will mm -hmm. resume our normal posting and live videos. Good morning. Mm -hmm. I mean, good morning. Yep. Good morning, Joyce. <laughs> good night, Joyce. Joyce. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter, Joyce. Enjoy your Easter. Okay, so yeah. Look, Look what I have here. So, what are you watching? That? Yes, I like, is that red that I'm seeing on that? It's mahogany. Come so here, there, Bobo. There's this, and then this one flips this way, this way, and then that one flips up, and this one flips down. And I think I'll stick one big long one. Um, we love you, Joyce. That's what I, I've been meaning to say. Love you too, Joyce. I think I'll stick I'm just this tired. one. This one here. Or we'll go. That this. looks good, Gwen. Okay. I'm actually going to, once I get my paper made or in to soak, soak the pulp, I'm going to do some. Um, You're going to soak uh, what? You got to soak the, soak the pulp a little bit. Oh. Um. Anyway, I'm going to sort out the paper and finish up these albums that were supposed to be Christmas present two years ago. Ten, ten years ago? Yeah, and get that done, and then I'm going to start my monographs. And um, I'll be yeah, making what? monographs. I'm going to make the trunk and everything. What's um, that? What is it's that? just a monograph is a smaller album, uh, like a photo folio, that holds maybe, oh, 10 to 15 pictures. Mm -hmm. And and it's just like, you know, when you have pictures and you've got extra pictures that don't really go with anything. They kind of go into what's called a monograph. And then I'm going to make the trunk that holds them all and they'll be like, 16, seven, maybe 20 little monographs that are all different with all different little flips. And they're just a tiny little photo folio. You guys will like it. Okay. And I'm going to make that one. And then. But what if I don't? <laughs> well, then <laughs> I'll make you like it. But no. And then Sorry. I want to make Give my me. generation. I'm going to start on my, you know, the one. That I made that year that it started with the great grandma and then it goes to the grandma and it goes to the daughter and then or to the mother and then the daughter it's like a generation book with the family tree and everything on it mm -hmm. where um I'm gonna and I'll be making two of everything when I make it so but I'm gonna make it in a monograph I'll show you what I'm talking about You'll like it. 
And but I'm gonna make Fine, a little be steamer like that. trunk. I'm sure we will like it, Mousy. Everything. Well, do you, you remember make when I had Goldie order me that chocolate? Um, what's that called, Toad? Craft that text. stone craft text. The chocolate cover covered track craft text is for my monogram steamer trunk, and um. I finally found the little schematic that I drew to build the trunk. Mm -hmm. um, I finally found that today. I was, I was, I tore everything up looking for it. It's like, I don't want to have to start over on that because what I did it 10 years ago. Oh, look at yeah, Diana Paisley it. is coming in. Who? Diana Paisley. We usually are ending our stream when Diana comes in, but we're oh, not yet. Nice. I, I understand why everybody's going to bed because it is late and mm -hmm. tomorrow is Easter. But guess what? I'm not cooking tomorrow, so I'm going to stay up. I was going to ask. Tom asked again. Yeah. Um, he was good with us eating lunch. Hi, Diana. Yes. I are we still eating around lunchtime? Yes. Okay. Well, I just need to know because I Mama, won't make breakfast. Mama actually wasn't feeling really good today. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I was thinking that we would eat around uh, one thirty. Mom usually has lunch bet anywhere between 12.30 and one thirty. So okay. I was thinking if we did lunch right Happy now. Happy Easter, then, Diana. Yes. Happy Easter, my friend. Thank you. Um. um Good, and we are ordering in because we're not cooking this year. I absolutely love that. It just depends that, on how mom feels in the morning. That we're what, gonna, I will let you know. I would rather, I'm not actually kind of hoping that we do eat in just mainly it, just the hubbub of all of it. And, um, because I'm gonna load up my, I'm gonna. Um, put my kit together to come over and um, I'll most likely spend the night tomorrow oh, night. Oh, nice. I'm going to sleep and in on Monday. I know. <laughs> I meant I was coming over there tonight, mm -hmm. but Whatever. I had that little fubo. She, she won't stay, you guys. Yes, I will, because no, Tom won't. will be home and Pepper won't have to be here by herself. Oh, so, okay. So, um, and then I'll just come home during the day and I'll go over and stay at your house so that you can sleep. In. I'll get up and let the wiener out. It'll be a wiener sitter. <laughs> Do you guys, you guys want to know something? Mouse will say hey. that, but you watch when Weenie comes in, Cindy will say, Mouse, she'll say, Wank. Because Weenie's sitting there smacking the side of the bed with his tail like, I'll ask, what's that noise? <laughs> no, I'll get up because I I'm back into the old waking up at three. Oh, you ain't neither. And She'll come over here. You got coffee, creamer? Cindy? Cindy's coming over here so she can sleep in. That's you what it betcha. Is. I gotta go to bed at four thirty. She'll wake me up oh. at four and say, "Can I have breakfast?" <laughs> Do you have coffee, creamer? Me. No, we don't yeah. drink. No. Okay. I like my well, coffee. Wendy's famous. Strong yeah, I got coffee and creamer. And I get over there and there's just like a little slosh in the bottom. Well, I didn't know. And it's like, Wendy. I don't eat. I don't drink coffee creamer. I do not ask for You're much. Big. And all I want is a little coffee with my creamer in the morning. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, still we're still on, on James. Nope, I'm in imagination. Yeah. You need to go to sleep. <laughs> You're you are, in, in, yeah, imagination. You are imagining me on here. Mm -hmm. How was your Whopper? How was the Whopper that you ate without hey, me? You know what I had the other night after we left the gym? Tom's like, I want a, I want a chicken burger because Wendy's is over there by the gym. Oh, I love He's it. Like, he goes, would you get real upset if we ate out tonight? And it's like, well, hell no, I wouldn't be upset. <laughs> he goes, what do you want? I said, where are we going? Because there's the Louisiana KSC 
is over there. There's mm-hmm. one over there. Or there's something faux tea uh, Korean food, which I absolutely love their food. But um, he uh, he goes, let's have Wendy's. My sister. Who? I don't, there's something about Korean food. I we, can't. We brought, we brought her home from the freaking cabbage patch. <laughs> no, it's I because. Love. No, you got to blame this on me. It's because I oh, smashed oh, her in the womb. Oh, it's you hogged the womb. Yeah, Is that it? this big yeah. fat baby. I, I poor little Cindy Spaceman. Okay. That's because you laid <laughs> on her. Smashed her, you smashed her freaking little pinky toe. He's man too. <laughs> no, he says, what do you want? And I thought, and uh, I couldn't say it. It was good. Now home and shower to get all the dirt and dust off. Good job, James. Good job. Um, do a good job. Don't be messy. Mm-hmm. You get in trouble. Um, huh? he, I said, oh, I want a baked potato. Ooh. And he goes, they don't serve baked potatoes at Wendy's. I said, oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I thought, oh, that shoot, we just kinda... left the gym. Should I have all the fixings? And I thought, why not? <laughs> <laughs> so... Double time I tomorrow, had, Mouse. That's what it I is. I had everything except bacon. Oh, I didn't have any chili. But Tom's like, I didn't know you could get. I said, hello, Wendy's. You're not going to have some chili? And he goes, I am. And he ordered a spicy chicken sandwich of some kind. Nice. And then we got home. He goes, you want a soda pop? I said, no. And then I drank all of his. Right. And... <laughs> um, I love Sprite at night. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a sip of yours. So then like that orange get... juice commercial. Oh, speaking of orange juice, guess what I bought? A Did you buy orange level. juice? I bought, I'll bring you one, and I'll bring one for Mama. You know uh, that cheap probably. orange juice? What's that shit called? It's like, Sunny drinking, Kool, like drinking Kool-Aid. Tropicana or whatever. Oh, it's yeah. It's not really even orange juice. Uh-huh. I love that stuff. I do. No, I bought myself. I love salad. Um, a little, and it's weird because I don't usually waste my money on the conveniences of life. Like these are eleven point three ounces, the little Sunny D orange juices, uh-huh. and I got the tangy original. Tommy, even he's like, "Did I bring another person with me to Costco?" And it's like, what? He goes, I've never seen you buy little, like when I bought the sticky rice this time, mm-hmm. I didn't buy it. I bought it cooked and in, in the yeah, little uh... vigil. Yes, I did. Everything I bought, I bought. Uh, I, yeah, and he's like, who are you? He goes, you never let me shop this way. And it's like, well, I can put it back. And he goes, no. Because all these years, he goes, I could understand when we were first together, we were poor as church mice. Wait, 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 poor wait, wait, anymore. wait, wait. There's new levels of poor now. Mm. You mm. are not yeah. poor. You are not even upper You're lower class. middle class. You're we're not lower... even middle middle class. We're not we're... upper middle class. No. We're lower middle no, class. No. no. So back then, you were dirt poor, Mouse. There's different yep. levels of, of upper class, middle class, we and were. lower class. And you know what I found the other day? What? I found the original can of Spam and the sardines in Yuck. the you tomato. Know. I know. I threw it out in the tomato you sauce. You know what? I always and have do a you can remember, of Spam. Wait, hold on. What? And do you remember that case of pork and beans that Tom bought? Yuck. When we were first together, I found a can and where it was at, it's like, I'm going to throw this out because it was from back in like ni- uh, 1992. <laughs> wow. 92? And Tom said, you're actually going to throw out the last can of pork and beans? And it's like, well, I don't think we should keep it. I don't even know where this has been hiding. Hmm. And, but no, he did. He told me, he said, I can't believe you're going to buy that Sunny D like that. Because normally I'd buy the great big jugs of it and I just pour out of it because you can buy two more jugs. Like you're supposed to, do <laughs> And, and uh, 
he said, uh, I can't believe you're going to buy that. And then I threw the rice in. And then uh, what else did I get? But I thought Wendy would just be amazed. Um, I am oh, the mouse. holy guacamole, the little oh, tiny containers those. of them. Yeah. I know I'm going to bring you some. I like But the I didn't buy the big, I, that's what I got. Can't, the can't, individual servings. You can't overeat that way, Mel. Yeah, I got the, I got the individual servings and I thought I'll bring Wayne, Wayne some for um, Wang. Easter. Are you going to call me yes. Wang? Mm-hmm. I'm Wang. Is that your Wang? Oh, and then, <laughs> and then, no. and I was just going to tell you, hold on. There was something name? else. <laughs> hold on. There was something else I just, oh, you know, the baby bells of cheese that yeah. Larry used to buy us? Yeah. I got a whole big sack of baby bells. Dang it, you're living it. dangerous, Mouse. I am. I just... I you know had what? so much fun in Costco. Once we because... do truly go poor and we, we're living in the streets, then you can tell mm-hmm. us how, you know what, kids? One day <laughs> I bought the baby bells. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know, and then we didn't have to all, like, drink out of the same bottle for orange juice. Welfare water. We each had our, our, oh, our, our water. Water. Stop it. Yes. <laughs> Welfare but, water. Um, no, it uh, it was fun today. I because he told me he goes now when we get in here, buy yourself some stuff that you don't because you know I don't like to cook when Tom's gone and he's like buy stuff that you can put in the microwave or you know already made meals then that way you'll eat while I'm gone and it's like you know what um, you're they right call that an MRE yeah <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> But, um, sorry, those are gross. They are gross. They are. No, he was saying, you know, something already ready to eat. And I, I don't know, know why my head suddenly went, <laughs> MRE, meals ready to eat. It's like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. So, and I found, um, and I'm going to bring them over. I want us all to try them. chicken burgers yeah. with, um, nope, I won't eat it. That's Cicuda. fake. It's fake meat. It's not. Fake meat. The hell it is. If it don't have a bone in it, I'm not eating it. <laughs> really? Okay. If the, if the, I, I'm going to run an advertisement. <laughs> you got a bone in it, Wendy will eat it. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> ah, you nasty. <laughs> no. Haven't you seen No, we that already had that conversation haven't earlier. You have a, haven't you seen that? that, that no. If it don't have bones in it, I'm not eating it. No. Huh. No. Well, mice have bones in them. He wants some mouse meat. I'll eat mouse meat before uh. I eat that grown thing. <laughs> mouse meat. No, Wendy, this is okay. Unless they lied on the package. Probably. I do look at that. I do. Probably. Now, stop it. The first time I stretch out there and I don't bring it all home where I got to cook it from scratch. Don't do that to me now. This is uncharted it's okay, territory. Mouse. I'll eat it with you. I'll eat it. Okay. Shh. Well, it's got smoked Gouda. And I tasted them because, you know, the lady was cooking them and stuff. And it, it tasted good because I did ask her, you know, has this been made in some kind of laboratory somewhere? And she looked at me really I'm weird. Like not go in there. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't want to eat nothing that somebody, you know, Frankenstein's, never mind, I won't say what I said. Mm-hmm. Frankenstein's mm-hmm. Corey. <laughs> you made me snort. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> what she was going to say before she even said it. <laughs> okay. Is Mal still with us? Hello? Toad, hello. Wonderful. Oh, dang it. Okay, There's I don't. Your screen. There it is. Your we... screen. Yeah. We... Did we your went... screen fade on you? Yeah, just Reach a little bit. And pump it a little bit. Pinch it. It's It'll okay. squirt out. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 
up that, you nasty. I know this to be true because I used to peek into the boys' locker room all the time. Um, peeker. Cut it, it down. I was peeker. Uh oh. It's well, still there. Yeah, see, James lost us. We're here, James. James asked where we went. We We're went somewhere. Right here. We're still here, James. The wind's coming up, you guys. They'll just hang on. It'll come back around. Can you hear us? And if you don't say yes, I'm going to drive over there and slap you. Will you stop uh -oh. it? You, I didn't can hear you. you. Hear me? I can oh, now me. while you're being a jackass. I hear uh -oh. you. S come and slap me. Oh. No, Stop how it. many times do you got to say, hey, can you hear me? And because then she I gets couldn't irritated. hear you. Can you hear that? Because I couldn't hear you. I just heard you say, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm going to sit over here. What? You're fucking lying. Watch me fucking lie to you. I was not lying. Um, okay, so here's a question. <laughs> Let's see what? This is. Yes. Have you guys seen, uh, Tom and I watched it early this morning it was a hell of a movie for early viewing but we watched the whale with brendan fraser nope the oh. you know the dude from what was his movie uh you know uh he was in a bomb a fallout shelter with his parents uh Oh, mm -hmm. Blast from the Past? Yes, Brendan Fraser, that guy. And yeah. then his, um, those other movies. Hold on, Dad, I'll Mummy. give it. Mummy movie. Um, yes, The Mummy. Um, that was a sad movie. It it really was. It's, uh, and what I'm asking is, Toad, is, did he really gain all that weight? Because I think that was no. the controversy. No. He's he's got he has gained weight. He's way heavier than he's ever been. But to do the movie, they actually mm -hmm. put they put like uh, stuff on. That oh, so they did add a little bit to him. Yeah, because yeah. he he's not that big, no. But he's he has but gained he a lot did, of weight. He did gain weight. Yep. Where's the the one up there, Daddy. This one up there in the back, the little one that's got our original key from Chinatown back there yeah, in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I was just wondering, uh, if you, uh, yeah, no, not that one. That's just got hotel tea. Hotel tea, uh, what's the difference? Yes. Else? It's come from the hotel. I he wants the tea we got in Chinatown. Oh, the gosh, oolong. Do you? Oh well, you don't want to drink that oolong. Hold on a minute, and I'll make you some. Hang on. I don't have caffeine, so I stay up on fucking. I want you to stay up. Oh, be um, careful, oh Danny boy. Boy, the pipe. The pipe. The pipes are calling, are calling. <laughs> yeah. from Glen to Glen. Na, 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 na. You're going to be awake, Thomas Troy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he said. And he shall be. Oh, <laughs> wink him, blink him, and nod. Right here, Dad. I got it. I got you. Got you like that. Hang on, we're going to have some ceremonial tea here. Hold on, guys. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Toad? We're having tea. <laughs> Getting out the crackers. We're never having crackers again. I'll throw in a little bit of rose hip here. A little bit of that. Hang on, it's, it's a special blend. Three teaspoons of Winkum, Blinkum, and Nod. Steep five full minutes. Hang on. That remember the lady that gave me the winkum and blinkum. I've got something you can wink and then blink. Em. Yeah, I bet you do, Coachy. Not we can blink right here. It'll wink. We can blink. <laughs> It'll wink. wink at you. Just, just bow. It'll say. <laughs> do it. Just bow, it'll save time. 
then when you go, okay. when you bow, it'll weaken. Turn your, turn your, hey, Damn turn it. your pot on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I can't. You guys are nasty. Already got a, yeah, no, no, don't. Don't tell her. Well. Shh. <laughs> no. <laughs> we go Okay. <laughs> no, that's what that lady from Chinatown called this. I bet she did. With blink em and blink em. Okay, you want to wash that? Yeah, we know. Okay. There's your lid. Keep it for five minutes, Dad. Do you want the honey? Yeah. Honey. Do you no. want some honey? I got some sugar. I haven't had any Pepsi. I'm sleepy. I got up early Wake this up. morning. Wake up. We need to go and see if we can find that little store again. Oh my gosh. That's got me. What? Nothing. I stretched that. This, uh, oh. you this, go, Dad? this tape is, it's weird. Mm. Weird. It's, that's... it's like they stretched it, putting it on the roll. Which one are you using? The, the red or the? No, it's the it's not the first one you brought. It's the second one. Mm. Hibiscus right here, honey. You guys got it's any second. yarrow over there? Yes, yeah, a matter of fact, I do. Oh, see, as heard on as always, it's me, Wendy. Yarrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you can't, I got when you can't get going, time. it's yarrow today and yarrow tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yarrow tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No, remember, I get that. I I belong to the Tea of the Month Club. Oh, that's right. Your tea. Yeah, from the tea spot. Sandra says and... we got in trouble. We did for being nasty. <laughs> Tom said not the G spot, but the tea spot. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Oh my god, you guys. It's a very X rated show. Now it's just well, the way it, it is. X rated. It, we were just we were being <laughs> nice, but it's it is nice. Sometimes it's nice to be X rated. Just chill. Who's if it's moist and you don't like that, wipe it off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yes. yes. Alrighty then. I know, James, but I've been very, very busy. Dang it, that it's, was right It's there. yard time. That's the hell of it. I have mm -hmm. to go out and do time in the yard. It's like being in prison. If I'm it's not like outside. Tom asked me. Tom asked me the other day. We both went in. He went into the locker room. I went into the women's locker room. And I come out. He's like, did you get lost? And I said, no, I had to join it. A gang while I was in there. <laughs> Did they initiate <laughs> I... you? Yeah. Uh -huh. They initiate you while you were in the bathroom? Yeah, they did. Nasty they bitches. Did. Was proving myself in the yard and shit. <laughs> That's what I do every morning out here with the savages. <laughs> I have to prove myself with sage. <laughs> do you know what? Every time I walk into that women's locker room there, Planet Fitness, mm -hmm. I laugh because it reminds me of on 16 candles when uh uh he's in the bathroom with her panties <laughs> and the kid asks what grade they're in and okay. he goes give me a buck <laughs> <laughs> give me a buck so what are you showing yes. tom's underwear in the bathroom <laughs> getting there showing I, think I, I i am for 50 cents showing i tom's ran out of money i couldn't get them all to come in there Instead of me getting 50 cents from them, it's like, here, here's 50 cents. Go on and look at my old man from the web. Do it. Right now. Do it. Go on. Okay. Those pantalones have made a lot of money. Sweaty sometimes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, what was really nice, um, when we went yesterday, uh, um, Yellowstone was on on one of the TVs they have up there and uh, Tom and I uh, 
I walked like a mile and a half before I even realized it was because I was all enthralled in the TV. It's like this is what was like right on. Let's see here. Um, okay. So, uh, do you want me to ride with you, Wendy? To uh, why am I calling you, Wendy? Um. I don't know, but you call me Wendy again, I'll beat the shit out of you, because you never call me Wendy. Stop it. I know it. Who am I? What am I? I'm a walrus. <laughs> um, that's what he says when he's got that fan in his nose. Um, <gasps> we're going to, if we don't go to town no, to eat, we're going to call the back. order in. Okay, it's down. I messed up. That's on the wrong side. Damn it. I'm sorry. God bless it. No, it's not. Hey, did it's you right did you try that snap maker? And you didn't answer me. No. Okay, let's see. I haven't tried anything, Mouse. I, I, I mowed the lawn today. My landscaper came out Friday. Nice, and done James. Everything in yeah. my yard, and even got the garden right. Very nice, James. Now send nice. him over here. Red mm -hmm. Rover, Red Rover, send the guard landscapers right over. Send James's landscapers yes, right oh, over. Oh, you have to be specific when you're asking You do. Things. You're so specific. Send the landscapers right over. I like that. I like how that <laughs> came out. Yep, yep. Yes. Well, we're going to ink that up right there. Check this yeah. out. Ooh. <laughs> Woo. Woo. You got to make the sound. Woo. Wee. Woo. Okay. Uh -huh. I just need a so did you, paper. you haven't used the button thingy yet? No, no, sir. I haven't. I oh. will let you know. I will tell I'm you. I'm anxious what, to see how that works. I will tell you what I have surmised once I do. Mm. Um. No, I did look at it though. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I will. I well, the know. colors are a little, um, I don't know, they're like crayon colors and they're very bright. So I thought maybe if you took like the ink mm -hmm. and take um, a nail file and scratch the top of it up real good, rough that, the button, the top of the button up, and then like dry brush over the top of it you may be able to mute the colors down Hang on a second but where is aloha oregon james i need somebody i want somebody to come and do the underground sprinklers i mean tom sprinkle tom, tom would do it but it's just it'd be so much nicer just to have somebody come and get it done um where is aloha oregon Else. Tom, where is Aloha, Oregon? Thomas, ask your ask your Alexa down below, Nelson. just south of Portland. He said, "Oh wow, that's oh, it's near Beaverton. Well, that's not far. That's yeah. what three, four hours." From Over here? by to Wallaton. I yeah. didn't know that. Wow, huh. I did not know that. Aloha. Aloha. Mm -hmm. Wow, so, I've been all um, over down there. Why didn't I know that? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's see. That one goes no, honey, there. thank you. you don't forget what? to have some of that new honey that we got. That's oh, from this area. I want to try some of that, Mouse. Yeah. You know, the other day well, I felt like I was going to, um, like, have a little bit of a cold. Mm -hmm. And um, I think there's something new this year that I'm allergic to. It's The pollen is very high this year. But also, honey is very good for arthritis. Is and it? um yes, and if you throw a couple of cherries in there and eat those two, even frozen cherries, um cherries help with circulation, they help with gout. What's they have yard? to be the sugarless kind. What does yarrow um, do? 
yarrow. Mm -hmm. Tart cherry. Do you um, know anything okay, about yarrow? <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, I don't, but I have some. Oh, um, yeah. Yes, I have yarrow. Uh, you should have, you should, if you consume about four tablespoons, how many tablespoons is it, sister, that you get a third of a cup? Or there's a fourth of a cup? God bless it. I want to say it's like five tablespoons and you get a fourth of a cup. But Same. who are you asking me? Um, ask your Alexis. No, I would no, ask, no. but I don't want to wake that thing is sitting in there. Uh, that thing would be outside, tied up. Astro is in there, and yeah, Sage hasn't attacked him yet. I don't think she realized. Well, did you plug it in bad. yet? Um, I did, but it started making that weird noise again, so I shut it off. Um. Hmm. Just because... No, about a fourth of a cup of honey every day, which is easy to do because when you look at it in tablespoons, mm -hmm. um, it helps with arthritis and any kind of arthritis in the body. So, and tell oh, me guess no what I bought? Years. What? What? Hold on for a second. Now? Tom wants me to taste say, this tea. I was going to say Ooh, soda it smells uh, wonderful. gold capsules. Did you put alcohol? <laughs> oh, it's those roses. My tea bag. I think you Oh, my oh, God. Here. I want to watch you do that yeah, with this hot tea. And then it's quiet over there. <laughs> it's almost like it's happening. <laughs> oh, that's good. Do you like it? Yeah. What did you do to it? You spit in this? Because I didn't want to dip my sack in your hot soup. <laughs> mm. Um. Yeah, that's good. That's um. That's also got mustard seed in it. Mustard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're nasty. Go away. <laughs> Put some clothes on. Right around naked in my kitchen. It's not sanitary. Mm. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> Pepper always puffs up real big. She's like, why does this fucker never have any clothes on? Not right. Did I put tape on that already and I've just forgotten? No. Maybe. Oh my gosh. I'm sitting here. I've been awake almost. How long have you guys been at this? 18 almost hours. Almost five hours? I, Holy I, shit, I got. Well, no. I got up really early this morning. Mm -hmm. Weenie was doing the, Mommy, I gotta go. Wait, I see it. You got two choices. Well, three. Mm -hmm. We got all the weed sprayed over here. Nice, Mouse. I've got the big sprayer out. We even did down all four sides in the field, between the field, or between the fields. Won't have to weed eat at all. I watched the first season of the Brady Bunch this morning. You did? Yeah. Oh, where she got married? Yep, that was, that was all that was on. When I got up to take Weenie out to go potty. Oh, man. And it was like, really? It's not too bad being up this early if there was something decent. So what do you think of this, Mouse? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Um, hold on. I got to see if I can turn my screen here. It won't let me. Go ahead. Nice. I like it. I like the spread itself. It no, looks good. This. What do you think of? This and I stuck. I love that, that little bus. I stuck this, um, it's good to match nice. that paper, and I tipped this on its side on purpose. Susan loves it. I love that. I Thank do, you, Susan. You, Timus, you know what that looks that bus looks like? It's like you should have some little stickers of the minions. Mm -hmm. There should be minions in that little bus. 
That's what that little bus looks like. Mm. Well, it got real quiet all of a sudden. Well, it's because I'm concentrating. Oh, okay. Shit. Holding. I almost messed what? up. What? What are you doing? I want this, I'm... this punch. Diamond painting. Mm, wake up. My okay. nose is just about resting on top of this magnifying. Well, then go to bed. Oh. Go Light. to bed. Go get in bed and stay there. Mm. Don't sass me. You know, when it gets mm. to a certain time of the day, it's just like, and I'm real tired. I just you just got to you know, give up, Faye. Don't just screw it. Just stay awake. I get yeah, angry. that's true. I get that's very what angry I do. about it. When I wake up at like 11.30 in the, at night, mm -hmm. I think the damn bars aren't even closed yet. And I'm wide awake. And I went to bed at 9 because I've been making myself stay up later because mm -hmm. I was ready for bed when it got dark. And Tom's like, well, don't you want to sleep in? It's like, I went to bed at 10 o'clock yesterday and got up at 3. Mm -hmm. And but all last week I was up at like midnight, and it's like okay, try to go back to sleep, lay there, couldn't. So it's like all right, get Son up, finally have a cup of coffee, and just I just said screw it, I'm just gonna stay up until it's time to go to bed. Well, there and you then go, Mouse. I don't, the I very don't... and then that that night I was back up at eleven. It's like oh my god, I can't uh, this bullshit. It went from being four to two thirty to one thirty to now I'm it's the same day. It's not even the next day yet. My ass is up. You know what? Go get I'm, me uh, a graveyard job. I huh? just I just can't. I don't know what it is. I don't know if mm. it's me, Weenie, what the hell it is. But it's you is it just you and me or is it you and everybody? Probably me and everybody. <laughs> I like the yeah. way that came out. What do you guys think of this? Right. What do you think of I that, like it. that nice. little page? I like the mm -hmm. way it looks like it's tipping off the page. A safe weed killer for pets is vinegar, Epsom salt, and Dawn dish soap. Actually, yes, it um, is. Yes, it is, but I have... It's uh, very safe, but Elizabeth would have the screaming shits because nosy girl would have to taste it. <laughs> and then James could, James could come clean it up. She'd have to taste it. She'd be like, well, um, yeah, that works great for the weeds, but I kind of really don't like it. But she'd still have to taste it because she's nosy girl. She'd be screaming, mm -hmm. my bowels are moving. Tom and I never bring our Thank cows you, home until after we spray weeds. And it's been the proper amount of time. And if you really knew me, James, I never use anything that isn't organic anyway. I don't even throw away a damn butter bowl. I use everything. I don't, uh, if it's not good for the earth, we don't use it. So, um, and then two, pepper don't go outside. So I don't have to worry about her um, getting into the spray. And I do not... Um, spray in the house for any kind of bugs or anything like By that. By God, if I don't, because if I get a spider on me, everybody's going to know it. I'm one of them people <laughs> that take the raid, a case of raid when we go <laughs> camping. And yeah, she I, does. I just start spraying everything. Yeah. So if you does. like bugs and you want to go camping, don't take me because I'm going to spray everything. I'm sorry. It is what it is, and it's how I am. I love everything organic. Yes. You like poop, but do you, I do. James? <laughs> I don't like organic nothing. No, no. No, no, no. Hold on a minute. Because I've always worked in the food industry. Have you? I know how they do organic. If it's my organic from my house, then yes. I will. I like organic. But if it's organic from the store, it's okay, I would James. suggest that you stop eating that. <laughs> because, and let me tell you why, when I worked for Dole, and uh, what was that other company, Wendy? 
the one with the corn and the mixed vegetables that were organic. Racers. Um, Racers. The organic stuff that came, that it all came from the same field, James. They'd put the organic on one row and then the stuff that got sprayed on the other row. And, you know, I happen to know they didn't hold up any little shields or anything like that. But the organic stuff always set for weeks on the dock before they got to it. And that meant the mice and the gaps and anything else. So wait, I want to tell you frogs. guys a little story. Now listen to a story about a man named Jed. Named Jed. Okay, now listen. Out there, baby, kept family we dead. took we oh. took frozen meat from back east. In fact, uh-huh. it was a little town in Arkansas. So you boys are from Arkansas. I'm just teasing. Mm-hmm. No, we did. Little Rock was We took pleasure. we took um um chicken ribeyes and it, it all came from back there, and we went to. And Tom probably knows where I'm talking about. We went down to uh, uh, the other side of East L.A. to this great big building where they store the meat for Outback, mm-hmm. uh, Applebee's, all the main food. Bass, uh, Freddy's, onions. Yep. Anyways, nope. Listen. So as we're going around this great big block, I mean, that building was so big. The closer you got to this building, there was nothing. And mind you, this is all organic. All organic specialty meat. These cows had never been touched with any chemical. Oh, God. All they ate was grass. They no lived bangs. In a, no, they, they didn't lived, even have their bangs Okay, shot. so listen. No. And they lived in this world that was just perfect. That's this beef and chicken. And the chickens huh. were never caged up. They were free, free chicken, Yuck. free. But yet we're gonna skin you and eat you they later. Starved, so no, wait, they listen. Them to now death listen, no, person. no, no, listen. So the closer we get to this building where we're supposed to unload, there's all this garbage, and I'm seeing like what looks like house cats. And I'm like, look at mm-hmm. that freaking cat. Look at all these cats. They were in the garbage. So mm. then we finally get to the get to the gate. Because you had to go into the street and back in to bump the dock. So we actually had to kind of come back around the building. And he had to swing into the street. And then we had to cross four lanes of traffic to back in to bump the dock here. So I jump out. I'm holding traffic. Those were freaking rats. Mm. Those were They weren't cats. They were rats. And when we bumped the dock, they had meat that was sitting that was marked organic with the blood just dripping out the sides. And before we oh, left, God, before we left, they actually picked it up and took it in. I will never eat. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Nope. Well, no. And, and the organic it thing. It was hot. It is, she was on, it is a, like. She videoed and showed us. It yeah. was I still, hot. I still do have it, the video of those big nasty rats and stuff. So you know what? It doesn't matter. No chemicals. No nothing. I live next to a, next to a cherry orchard that supposedly no sprays, no nothing. And, and you know what that means? Just they sprayed the, them all year just, long. Just across the other side of the street was apples. And the wind mm-hmm. blew that way, and they used to spray those. But oh no, those Rainier cherries were well, never sprayed. Well, and the sprayed. bad thing about not spraying, and 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 I do agree with the organic, and it is a big movement now. But the people that have never actually seen where what? your food comes from, what does organic really mean? What's it mean? It's James just wrote it down. No chemicals, no antibiotics, no sprays, no hormones. Okay, hey, I gotta tell you. Here's the so, thing. So people wait. who say people who say they prefer, they want free range chickens. They want yeah. eggs that you have what, not been elite? like. Go for it if you want to eat a chicken that grew up eating chicken shit yeah. and dead chickens that they've been walking on because they're not caged. Yeah. It's nope. Like I don't think so, Scooter. I'd no, rather but, eat no, an egg no, that I somebody just, put no, in a I cage. No, I really, I really want to know 
what it, obviously organic is shit it comes out of somebody's orifice something no so, that organic doesn't just mean that it, they fertilize it with poop that is not the organic side well, how do you of get it. away from you got it well because i'm trying to tell you because you forget i used to do quality control for for dole and that big jolly green giant i worked for all the big companies okay let's hear yeah. it there and i'm trying to tell you let's when you it. have organic and you've got a crop of let's say green beans and they're out there cutting it in the field when it comes in because it is organic it does not go through the proper washers which means when you then it goes through the snippers and then on through the blancher and then into a big tote and then they send that tote off to be canned never once after it gets washed a little bit with just water now let me tell you about the water in a processing plant it's all recycled so it did have a little bit in there but the one thing that you didn't know is all the mice that got chopped up in the snippers, all the snakes and frogs and crickets. We even found a badger in there one time, and we weren't allowed to take it out. All it did was ran back through the snippers, and then we stuck it in a tote and marked it hot and sent yeah, it on. Yeah, yeah. The one kind of vegetable you want to eat out of a can is generic, the, the off-brand. Because that's been worked and reworked and yeah, never organic. Never organic because those are all what they call unfinished tote and those are worked back through and ran through the blancher again. But anything organic is never washed and properly cleaned and shook because everything usually goes on a shaker table. Hmm. Carrots, car oh my God, I would not eat a carrot. Nah, uh. Nothing organic, even if it's just laying there. Because you got to remember when this shit goes through the snippers, we're talking millimeters, tiny micrometer, whatever they call that, particles. Okay, now wait. Of other organic, dead shit just in a the second. Field. Organic fertilizers come from broken down leaves, grass, food, etc. Oh. Oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying organic isn't bad. I'm just saying having... That it is bad is what you're saying. No, 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 you can eat what you want. I, 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 I fully... Having saw it, like sugar, let's take sugar. I worked over there in the sugar plant back east. Where haven't you worked? Um, no, um, generic sugar. It doesn't come from, like, say, sugar cane. From a generic sugar cane? No. <laughs> they, they, those companies, and the only reason why it's generic is because it's not A or B grade. Okay? So the generic sugar, at the end of our shift, we would, we would sweep the floors and it all went into this floor grate and it got sucked back up through and sent back down the the shaker table and they figured with shaking it it got rid of the hair and all this shit that we've walked on all day long mm -hmm. so if you're gonna spend your money there's certain things that you don't want to eat generic and there's other things that you would want to eat generic now most people don't know how the process is of when the food comes from the field and believe me they don't have a little field that says generic corn or good no, that's, corn that's okay true. I, 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 it's all graded it's all been graded a b c like a corn graded a corn is when it goes through the corn cutter it cuts just the top it takes uh -huh. you don't even want it's, the heart it's of the kernel off the niblet. yes yes and yes. then when like you get so many pulled pulled kernels like if your cutters are running too deep that's that is generic corn and it all gets stuck in a tote but see you got to remember there's a percentage in the can when it comes through as long as it hits like a 35 percent there's only 35 percent in the handful that you had when i checked it 35 percent 
of what I'm looking at, then I could market whatever it was. And I could make or break the corn, um, the farmers by just grabbing one hand and looking at it. Well, that's good, but, um, there's nothing wrong with organic as long as here, let's just restress this. Go home and wash it really good. Really, really, really good. And then make sure you listen for the recalls because Listeria. Well, there's list there's that. There is that. And that's how processing plants get listeria and botulism. Because they're running this crap through that hasn't been ran through the sanitizers before it comes in. Well, and then the what do they is, do? Do you remember back the in the day when the people were were uh, peeing and shitting in the fields? In the, in the lettuce. In the lettuce. That's uh -huh. why we were, once upon a time, we were afraid of lettuce and tomatoes. You know, so there's nothing bad about organic, I guess. If you got the stomach of a billy goat and you don't mind shitting like a goose, have at it. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, yeah, they graded, they graded like it like A, B, C, and D. The C's or the D's is the shape and not the best quality, which is, yes, exactly, James. Exactly. Now, the, the but, one thing that everybody seems to forget is that those lovely... Washington grown apples, apples that people back <laughs> east just absolutely <laughs> love, and they want the ones that say organically grown. The only right. the difference between an organically grown Washington apple and a Washington apple that is not organically grown is the ones that are organically grown, they fertilize at the ground level. They don't spray uh -huh. the whole thing, but they fertilize they at the ground the level because you can't grow a freaking apple without some freaking fertilizer. But well, you can grow fertilize at the ground level. And you can walk right in and actually go through the tour in one of these places, in these lovely Washington-grown apple places. And because we've all been here our entire lives and our family has always worked in the industry... This is why we know these things. And people who mm. swear and be damned, they're getting their organic Washington-grown apples because they don't have this and they don't have that. It's like, go on a tour. Go see it a for one yourself. A one-day tour. Well, Just you know, when I right when back I and you'll in... hear a tale. tale. Exactly. Dog, but that's the only I... difference between an organically grown Washington apple and a Washington apple that was not organically grown. When... It's where when the fertilizer Wendy, hits the plant. Why is it when, when Wendy, James brings listen, his, What? When Wendy and I worked the dock there at Stemel, when we took over that, we had to fire the whole crew because they were running everything through the chiller, uh -huh. including the organic. Uh-huh, they did. That whole year, everything got ran through the chiller. All the cherries that year got ran through the chiller. Which in the chiller has hermaldified in it, and uh, that crap that they embalm people with. Yes, because so it's all all the yeah, it stops the maturity. It stops the maturity. Yes, of it the does. Fruit. All those cherries that they sold that year that said organic on it. You betcha. I love yeah, my so ass. Yeah, so just said it's the same. And like I said, we're not bashing organic because if you come here to my piece of property. I do not. I use um, Prithians. I, when I spray for bugs, I use Prithians. I don't. Which is... I'll, I'll be okay, honest. I know you don't, but listen. I... The only shots my cows get are what they have to have. And that's the mad cow and that bang shot. Nope, but, I want my cow to have everything. Everything. That way they... I know I'm not getting mad cow disease, no hoof and rot. You watch it. And you know what? Give them a few hormones, too. That way there they'll beef up and be nice and fat. Because at the end of the day, all the fat on that cow is going to kill you anyways. And if something that's not grown organically doesn't get you, how about the shit falling out of the sky that's falling on your food? Ah. Oh, that's so. true. Well, is the sky falling, Chicken Little? 
Yes, it is. <laughs> because if that don't it get might. you, something else will. And Uncle Sam is coming for you. Well, no, it's I the, I I something I never did. Your bed. I never <laughs> did understand that whole people screaming they wanted to eat free range chickens. They wanted yeah. free range chickens. They want the eggs that are free range have eggs. Have you ever looked at and how I have to free tell range you, chicken is? They're, well, they're no, that's not, that wasn't they're it. Not it was like well. my, my brain just like rolled over in my head and I went, ew, because, you know, the free range chickens, the ones they, they, the ones they, they, they're cage free. They don't lock them up mm -hmm. in a cage. Well, they walk around, and if you've ever seen them, ask Wendy. She knows. She's been there. They they walk around in these ginormous, big, covered pens, fields, like fields. But there's thousands and thousands and thousands of chickens walking in mm -hmm. this thing. So they're not pinned up in an, in an actual pen, but, you know, you got to keep the damn thing from wandering off to somebody else's field. And the chickens get to the point where they walk on top of the other chickens and they peck the dead chickens that they're walking on. Nice. There is a pecking and they order. Eat the, they, eat the, they eat the eggs that might happen to be laid right out there in the middle of nowhere. Savage. They eat and they each eat other. That, and then they, 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 yeah, that. Ask me. It's like, it's gross. I would rather have a caged chicken any day of the week because they're right there. They're locked in the cage. They're eating only what is put in front it's of them. It's not a cage. It's not a tiny cage either. I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. They're not. They're not eating other chickens that are dead and that they've walked oh. all over. And anybody who says that doesn't happen needs smacked in the back of the head. And it doesn't happen. Walk through. Come mm -hmm. and slap me. Well, and it's here's like one thing nasty. for you. Okay, so. When you, when I always say, ooh, I wouldn't want, and I feel bad for a chicken that has not been given the things that it needs. Because, like, here in the Tri-Cities, we have to provide copper and this other mineral, I don't remember which one it is, the block or the mineral that you put out for your chickens, it's uh, orange or brown, okay? If you have sheep, you don't want to put the mineral out that is orange because sheep are not supposed to have copper. But in the process of not giving their chickens the proper thing that they think is not organic, mm -hmm. they get this little thing that a selenium shot will not even take care of because their muscles atrophy. And that's very painful. Okay, can we stop? We're going to make people miserable to even want to eat. You know what, people? Mm. Eat what you mm. want. It's in God's hands anyways. Whether you live, breathe, or move on from this world, eat what you want. Oh, Wendy. It's true. It's all in it's all in the good Lord's hands. Whether you're gonna live, die, get up in the morning, if you're gonna be in pain, eat what you want. Don't be afraid of your food. If you believe <laughs> <laughs> Are if, you understanding the words? If you believe, if you believe that the, whatever <laughs> organic is to be, then by God, that's what it is. If you don't believe it, don't eat it. If that's you, right. It's, Sometimes I, I'm serious. the clown has no, <laughs> no penis. penis. That's Just true. roll with it. That's true. <laughs> Stop scaring people about their food. We've seen Dang a it. lot. You, just, of, I you know what? Blew that out my you, nose. You want to know what's funny? I. Right. Me and Tom worked in a plant where all oh, those French fries plant. came out of. Tom used to stand Tom and spit, spit his chew in it. Tom used to spit <laughs> his chew in there. I wonder how many people back in the in the nineties ate those hash browns that went to McDonald's. From that, McDonald's. That yeah. Tom spit his chew in. <laughs> so you know what? Don't be afraid of your food, people. It don't matter. You can consume this piece of paper, if God wants you to live, you're going to live. If not, you're done, baby, because he'll call yeah, you home. Yeah, but now see. He'll call you home see, when you're ready, whether you've eaten shit <laughs> on a shingle, literally, or hey, whatever. Hey, that's good stuff right there. Shit on a shingle, I like that. I don't want to be that's afraid of my food. On toast. No, see, James says his chickens, they live in a roost. See, and that's good. 
That is. That is Shame wonderful. on you, Kate. I shut want, up. What's wrong I with you? Want, I want to be one of uh, James's chickens, but I don't want to be in a pie because I don't like gravy. I don't like gravy. I don't want to be in a pie. I know, chicken run. I'm Mom and Sarah love that, it. Maybe. You know what? I, I want to vomit when I hear people talk about that. It's like, shut up. Just shut what? up. Shut up about I the food. I thought we were moving. No, I... I'm not. <laughs> I I do. I want to stand up and scream. You need to make a t-shirt. That you says, just shut your face. About the food. No, <laughs> shut up about the food. Matter of fact, on the front, I want it to say, Mad Mouse says, and then on the back, it says, Shut up about the food. <laughs> I, I do. That. I just, I just want. It's to a movement. It. Hey, wait. We could start a new food movement. Soylent Green Shut is people. Shut up about the food. <laughs> Soylent Green is people. Don't That's be afraid of your food, people. <laughs> stop it. Just stop it. Eventually, there won't be shit to eat. So, there you go. Hmm. Have a fingernail. I'll bet that sucker's organic. You want to taste that? Okay, are you Just being nice? Or are you moving them <laughs> no, forward? No, I'm irritated. I'm what you're I doing. am so irritated because I hate talk politics and how the food is made. And food talk? Yeah, okay. I, I do. I've cause, had enough of you know what, ir- what, what irritates me is because how I can many different... five minutes into the future now. <laughs> James says that's a good shirt. Get her how, done. How many, mm-hmm. how many food processing yeah. plants? And anybody that's actually this sounds one, like a bunch of crazy fruit talk. Shut your face. I'm talking. How many hmm. plants places have we worked, Mouse? We've seen it. That's why it's like you know I, I God love her, but I'm not gonna say her. Name. I only worked as many places as I did is because I was too expensive to keep on staff. So when they needed me, oh, I would go. Snap. Oh. I'm here and that is the God I'm honest here to truth. make your food organic. <laughs> here, I'm going to be orgasmic. What touch, look at it, what touch okay. of the hand? I'll it's make. 11 o'clock. <laughs> I need to <laughs> Listen, go to bed. One Goodbye, touch, Goldie. One touch I'm going to be orgasmic. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Love you. Bye. One touch of the hand, I'll make the farmer. Oh, my God. Good night, Toad. <laughs> Damn you. I'm going. I'm going. You're very orgasmic with your <laughs> <laughs> night, everyone. Uh, yeah, oh, wait. It was organic. Wait. Say it when. Mint flavored uh, blood drop. Night, Gigi. Oh. Everybody say night, good Goldie. night, Gigi. I know what a politics you like, Wendy, so I don't talk about it. No, you know, when know. it's all right. No, no. What I just get tired of it. It's like pretty soon. If we just keep pit, bitching, pissing, and moaning, it, mm-hmm. there's nothing, you know. Is this like a midnight talk show now? It we'll call is. it bitching, pissing, and moaning. <laughs> <laughs> like wink em, blink em, and nod. <laughs> <laughs> really, pals. I like it. It's like I on Casino it. when he goes, you can ask me anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to ask. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I am tired. What's wrong with him? He knows we're friends with all those guys. He's up right. bitching all night. <laughs> <laughs> a... <laughs> Ow, I just made my elbow. Ow. Okay, you know what? what? I, did... I think we embarrassed Gigi. That's why she left. I don't care. She'll get over it. It'll be fine. We embarrass everybody. It'll be fine. No, I, uh, Yes, we do talk politics, James, and James knows how I feel about almost all of it. We do. You're right. What? Politics. But we can't yeah, don't, go there. Don't bring that up, because Tom made me watch Gutfeld before I got to get up and, and call you. He's like, watch Gutfeld with me tonight. And it's like, I've got it recorded. I like to watch it in the morning. And uh, there were... I saw a few four-letter words in there the other day. Um, <laughs> I uh, I don't know. I just, it irritates me when you go in and you look at the price of food anyways. Uh-huh. Son of a bitches. You know what? They probably got some 
Oh, I can't. Okay. Don't. Just change subject. I'm excited. We're going to get out of line. And, and we're what? not going to to cook a meal. How many years has it been? We've never not made a holiday meal, I Wendy. Know, and from scratch. I, I love that we are going to have Chinese food yes. for Easter. Yes. I absolutely, I have looked forward to it Me ever too. since you said, I Mom need wants to learn, Chinese food I need for to Easter. Learn how to say, Thank you for welcoming me to your house in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I am very excited. I, I don't I know, know why. Even but... Tom was like, what should I order tomorrow? I said, honey, order it all. Oh, I'm having General You're paying Sells. for it. <laughs> <laughs> You're buying, you eat what you want. <laughs> Get you an extra mm. plate there, Clark. <laughs> mm -hmm. Save me the net. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I am, I'm, I'm excited. I'm not really sure what I want to have. I think I just want a bite. Ooh, I feel like. Look at that. That looks good. That's top ramen. Damn it. What? Who's wait, it's, eating it's, what? It's got top ramen and um, hamburger and vegetable stir fry in it. That Ooh, looks good. James nice. made that. Yes. Very I nice. I love that. Living savage, you guys. Oh, That's right. I don't know what I'm mainly bed. excited about is, is because so when we get up, Tom wants to clean the silo, and I need his help to do that because there's a lot of stuff in there that yeah. needs that I can't lift. And okay. then I'm going to spray it for um, spiders because that hasn't been sprayed since Brad got sick. So how many, what was that, a year and a half ago? Yeah. So the spiders in there are probably big enough to ride on. I um, do. I love Chinese food, James. Oh, I love any kind of food but from the Orient. Wait, I, I could want, live I on Thai or, food. I want organic Chinese food. No, you don't neither. Anyway, um, and then, like I said, first things first, and it'll only take about 20 minutes. Um, I have to redo the, the other big freezer and then we're going to make a spot for your freezer. You're still bringing that over, right? When? Sorry, Mouse. I was I'm talking, I was talking to, uh, Mama. Um, oh, mom's not gone Mama's to bed still yet. Up? Yeah. That's why I haven't gone to bed. There's no sense oh. in getting off here. I can't go to bed till mom goes to bed. Oh, okay. Um, are you still bringing your freezer over? Yes, I told you you okay. could. You guys can put that deer meat and stuff in there. Yes, because uh, when Tom gets done up there in Dayton, we're gonna grind that other pork butt up want, and make you to bring me a couple makes pieces. that deer steak or wanna, grind that deer. I want a couple pieces of salmon. Please. You can have it. Oh. Did you still want um, trout? Yes. Okay. So, and did you want tuna? No. You want me to bring you some tuna? No. Okay. No, no, I have Just salmon. Do you want the loin or do you want the steak? I don't care what you bring. Just bring me some okay. salmon. I've got this new recipe I want to try with the salmon. But, uh, okay. I'm hoping I'll find some more hamburger. I want some trout. I'm tired of not any having that, any hamburger. Do you have any that still has the skin on it? Yes, it all has the skin. Well, that's what I want. But I want a okay. piece of that um, salmon, the big king salmon that you guys caught last year. Yes. I, no, I'm going to bring you a couple packages of steak, salmon steak. Nice. That's what I want. Oh, I love Chinese and Vietnamese. Oh, Oh no! Or Japanese. A uh, Japanese and Thai are my favorite. I don't Vietnamese nothing. Sorry, I can't stand. Oh, I the, do. I cannot stand kimchi. the smell of that. I crap. love their no. kimchi. Why Matter of fact, Tom and I eat no. a daily diet of kimchi. Yuck! I love cabbage, but no kimchi, please. Sometimes I open the fridge and I get a whiff of it. And it's like, oh, my refrigerator stinks. You know I got to clean it. <laughs> when I worked in that at Lamb Weston, you could just go mm -hmm. in the 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 in the um, 
um, break room. Kitchen in the, Before yeah. you even hit the break room, it just stunk like kimchi. It's like, stinks like a giant I asshole love in this. here. That's gross. I love the smell of kimchi. I'm sorry, but I do. But Tom and I like cabbage. Oh, I love cabbage, but no kimchi. And I don't eat I mean, anything red dot. I'm sorry. I just don't. Nope. Oh, I love it. Nope. I cannot Heroes. stand the smell of curry. curry. I love smell... curry. Don't you like squirrel, Patsy? No. Go stay <laughs> in a motel. You'll smell curry all night. I don't know. <laughs> no. Stop that curry hole. <laughs> <laughs> Your pot holder vest about ready to take fire. Take fire. <laughs> I know. It was a look on her face. <laughs> oh, and it's the way she touches it like you. It hurt her that he insulted her best. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a little obnoxious. Your pop Where, which best. way is Mecca? <laughs> <laughs> bad words. We're talking about bad words. I, You know, I don't have words. nothing against any of that. I just, no thank you. I, Some people don't like. No, when I you, worked, you can't help. Not everybody likes the same worked, kind of food. I worked around that for too many years and smelled it. And it's like. Oh, for heaven's sakes, buy a hamburger, people. That shit stinks. I'll buy you a hamburger. <laughs> Don't eat that. I want to sit here and eat my stuff and not smell something that smells like it's already been ate. No. Dead. Dead is the word, when. No, ate, as in it smells like shit. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, I see. Turmeric. Just... Yes, I love turmeric. Turmeric is Tom very I good consume. for you, but I just... Ugh. A very high volume of ginger, honey, and turmeric. Don't eat that. I feel like what? Patsy Klein when he's sitting there eating and she says, please, I know. please don't eat Fred, that. Please. I know she had morning sickness. He did take one last bite and pushed it away. I used to tell that girl, I will buy you a hamburger. I'll buy you a big ass pizza. Don't eat that. Please don't heat that up. I just want to sit here today and enjoy a meal where I didn't got to smell know. that stinking shit. Well, you know, we were the bosses. We didn't have to sit with them. That's what I don't understand why we did. We just... had our own lounge, but we always sat in there. Because well, that's where the microwave was. However, I know. But I like to watch TV when I was eating. Um, I just know. listen to it anyways, because wasn't it? Which which uh, which uh, um, I can't think of it. Was Days of Our Lives. Days of Our Lives was on. Yes. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna glue this one completely down. Yeah. Maybe. Days of Our Lives. So um, Wendy, I will have to come and. If cook. you don't quit calling me Wendy, I'm gonna kick you in the ass. Wait. I'm reading what James oh. wrote. Oh, I'm sorry. I would you mean love asshole? Some, I would there, love that's some, what I'll just call you from now on. I would love some, I don't know why, but all of a sudden I'm very angry and cranky. Not you. Shut no. up. Shut up. <laughs> really? My God. See, the talk of food, I hate when people bitch about their food. Shut up and eat it and be thankful that you have it or can afford it. Nobody just, was bitching but you. I You're know. the one that was complaining. I was complaining. I was. Silly. It was me. I've been trying to change the subject. I've tried three times to change the subject. You keep coming back to the food. Okay. My gosh. Patsy. You know what? I'm this thing just keeps going on and on and on. It's kind of like the what way thing? I talk. This. Look at all of this. I've added. We're expanding out. Look at that. But um, this yes. actually has to go in here. Look at ta da. Ta da ta da. Did you watch Joseph today? Actually, I, I watched, did. I've been, he's been on TV in the living room. He's, it's come on oh. again. Um, I recorded the Ten Commandments. I own the movie. Let's see. I will have to come up with a different name <laughs> for Wendy. 
I need to come up with an ex- yeah because she doesn't like when you call her Wendy. I never call my twin Wendy. I don't know why I've been doing it lately. It's weird. Yeah, but, it is, and it feels awkward. Tom called me Wendy the other day, and it's like I know. Shut up! Who are you talking to? I'm not a stranger. Stop calling me Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> dress me as your highness <laughs> yes there you go <laughs> your highness <laughs> find ass I'm just teasing I don't That's know why funny. but it just irritates me when you call me Wendy okay Cindy I know I don't don't call me Cindy I'm mouse I'm mm-hmm. gonna be a 90 year old wrinkled up old woman you'll still be calling me mouse Pooh Bear Come on, we can do better bear. than Pooh Bear. No, not Pooh Bear. Not Pooh Bear. Um, um, <laughs> we did that at the same time, Mouse. Um, call her Scarlet or Roxanne. No, I don't want no, to call her. Um, um, <laughs> we did that at the same time, Mouse. Um, hey, look, oh, it's a big, oh. nice, sleep deep pocket. And I like this. What, baby? Come here. Pepper's in here. So we have a pocket here, and but I need to put slide something Come in. Come here, little bug. Come here to mommy. Come on. Oh my baby. Tom's gonna build her a run Is for he? outside. Yeah, where so and it'll nice. hook into the bedroom window, Actually. so she can. Um, when I'm out in the garden, she can go out like a doggy door out the bedroom window. And it'll be a run, and then it'll circle around the garden. And um, if he's got time, he'll put in a full-length run down, like, two or three of the rows. So that she don't have to be in the house um, when I'm outside. Because she, she's been crying at the windows. Uh, did I tell you my baby's going to be two years old on Monday? Are you listening to me? I'm sorry, Cindy. My mom was... See, I called you Cindy. Oh. What the hell? Somebody has given us the moppy because I never call you oh. by your name. Somebody's oh, running. Lord. Listen, listen. What? Shh, Listen. That was me knocking my diamonds back into the into the container. Come on. Oh. <laughs> what is it? When? Elizabeth was sitting at my bedroom door growling. Where's your purse? Let me let me off here. I just went and got it. Don't hang up. No, I'll call you on the cell phone.